Get ready to match the stars from the Tony Randall Show, Hans Conry, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Sarah Kennedy, from Family Feud, Richard Dawson, from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty White, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game, PM! And now here's the star of the Match Game, PM, Gene Rabbit! Thank you, friends. Nice that you join us. <laughs> for Matt's Game PM, you are a beautiful sight. Oh, wow. you're lovely. I'm delighted to see you. And now let's say hello to Sandy Herzer and Ken Thomas over here. <laughs> I greet both of you. These people would like to find out a little bit about each of you, so Ken will uh, begin with you, sir. Well, obviously, I'm a Marine, but I'm a pilot, which goes with her. She's a stewardess, but anyway. Um, I'm presently... <laughs> now, wait a minute. No. <laughs> Don't tell my wife We'll that. do the matchmaking here. Oh, okay. yeah. Leave that to us, Ken. You're a Marine pilot. Yes, sir. I'm Shh. presently flying out of Cherry Point, North Carolina. I have a beautiful wife, Laura, and I have a son, Matthew, and a daughter who was born on the last Marine Corps birthday. Now, wait a minute. A birthday... 10th daughter. of November. 10th of November. She has good timing. She's that born. was when the Marines were created. Yes, sir. Right. I did not name her Marina Cora. No. <laughs> Justina. What's her name? Rachel Lee. Rachel Lee. Okay. Yes, good luck to you, Ken. Thank you. Now let's find out about this pretty lady Dean, how are who's you? going with Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Until his wife finds out. Right. Uh, I'm originally from Ohio. I now live in Palos Verdes, California. And I'm a flight attendant with a major airline. And I'm single. Uh huh. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> now listen, I have, uh, by the rules here, I have to tell you that each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of them as you possibly can. Now the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. will go on to play that big money super match. Now that can pay off over $10,000. Yeah, let's go. Let's push the button here and ask Ken Thomas to make a selection. As I fly the A-6, I'll take a... A. A-6, is that your aircraft? The intruder. Yes, that's a big, powerful airplane. Here we go. Harry said, what is green and scaly and 10 feet tall? And Bill said, I don't know. And Harry said, I don't know either. But it's blanking your wife. <laughs> Green and scaly. All right, here we go. Harry said, what is green and scaly and 10 feet tall? And Bill says, I don't know. Harry says, I don't know either, but it's blanking your wife. I would say abducting. Abducting? Abducting. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> That's their way of expressing their love for you. <laughs> They're saying I'm green and scaly. No. They said, don't make marine pilots like they used to. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not at all. <laughs> what did you say to this? I said breathing fire on. Breathing fire on. <laughs> Employing a euphemism. Was breathing you fire on your <laughs> wife. Yes, that is a euphemistic way of putting it. I said he was crawling over. Crawling <laughs> over. <laughs> But well, isn't that what people do with no, green and scaly no, and 10 no. feet tall? Maybe Charles can help you. Charles, can you help us? Well, I said making whoopee. Making whoopee with. <laughs> now, there, now, you're gonna, now you've got it. Henry said, what's green and scaly 10 feet tall? And I says, I don't know. He says, I don't know either, but it's blanking your wife. Well, another version is making love. Making love. Yeah. All right. That would seem to be the response, Kim. And you, sir? No, I thought... Uh... Eating your wife. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, back out of the big yeah. dragon big, or something. Big, scaly, yeah. green, ten feet tall thing. Kermit the Frog gone bananas. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you explained that. What do you say? And he's so good on Family Feud. I don't yeah. know how a man can change just because it's after seven o'clock. <laughs> Kissing! <laughs> Here we go. Ken, you win some, you lose some. You lost that one, Ken. <laughs> Well, not yet. Now, well, we'll find out what Sandy has to say here. Hey, did you hear about the mad scientist? No, no. He crossed a chicken with a construction worker. Can you imagine that? 
Now no. he has a chicken that lays blanks. <laughs> Mad science crossed a chicken with a construction worker. Think about that, Hans. All right, Sandy, I'll give it to you one more time. Hey, this mad scientist crossed a chicken with a construction worker. Now he has a chicken that lays blanks. You know that dumb Dora you're always talking about in this show? Yes. I feel dumber than she is. <laughs> really? Now think about this. A construction worker and a chicken. Tools. Uh... Well, not... at least you can say we got a matched pair, haven't we? <laughs> Uh, now her answer is tools. Mine is brick eggs. Brick eggs. <laughs> Wouldn't that hurt? <laughs> oh, what did you say? Boggles the buns. <laughs> yes, <it does>. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I said hard hat eggs. Hard hat yeah. eggs is good. Oh, thank That's right, you. Because they're white and they look they were, like eggs. They're like big ostrich eggs. Well, can st- well yeah. respond. Just bricks. They don't know. Bricks. Bricks. Charles says bricks. Is that the answer you like, audience? Brick? That's not good Just want to know what would please you, what kind of a crowd you are, right? (laughs) Now he has a construction, now he has a chicken that lays bricks. Now, according to them, but according to her, tools. What do you say? Well, I just passed all the little things, you know, the bricks and all that, and just the big building, you know. Now he has a chicken that lays buildings. Right to the point. What did she say? Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hi. You do, this is not your, you don't depend on us for a living, do you? <laughs> okay, just want to get that straight. Well. What do you say? I thought they had a chicken that lays uh, steel bars. Steel bars. Yeah. Yeah. High beams or something like that. It was a beautiful courtship, though. Yes. I tell you, now they can build their own chicken coop. I said hot rivets. Hot rivets. <laughs> I think that would be more painful than building bricks, wouldn't it? Yes. No one said foundation. <laughs> oh, no. Now, before we go to round two, we got to do a little business with America. Hurry back right after this. Hello there, shall we? Go to round two. Now, Ken went first last time, and the score is tied zero to zero. <laughs> So, Sandy, we'll ask you to go first this time. A or B? A. A it is. Everybody plays again. Dumb Donald is in the hospital because when a fly landed on Dumb Donald's lap, he tried to kill it with a blank. (laughs) 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 Are you thinking about this, Sandy? Not good. (laughs) (laughs) Dumb Donald is in the hospital because when a fly landed on Dumb Donald's lap, he tried to kill it with a blank. All right. Sandy, are you ready for us? I think We're so. ready for you. Dumb Donald is in the hospital because when a fly landed on Dumb Donald's lap, he tried to kill it with a blank. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> By Joe, I beginning there. I believe they're beginning to get the, <laughs> the hang of the whole thing there. Oh yes. <laughs> Taking a leaf from my friend's notebook, I'm going to copy what Betty said. Hot rivet. Hot rivet. <laughs> Had you frightened for a moment. Yes. <laughs> That's your answer. That's my answer. Okay. And you, you know what I said because I thought it would be very painful if it was on his lap. Yes. You know, but, and I. Yes. I wish I were dead. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta show your answer. <laughs> Fly swatter. Fly swatter. Fly swatter. <laughs> Uh, see, it's a little That's play on you. A little play on words uh, Hello, Chuck For you people who have been sleeping on the lights and buzzers Stand by <laughs> Hammer Hammer <laughs> That's what you like Sandy gets one Sarah? Yes Well, dumb Donald was so dumb I don't even know how he's still alive Because he... With a gun. Oh. Yes. Well, that would put an end to things. Don't It'll you think? sting quite a bit too. Oh, it's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Latest report. <Gun. laughs> right. What was that? <laughs> he tried to kill it with a zipper. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 
Now, Tim, this is yours. Here we go. Everybody plays in this round. Yes, yes, yes. Horrible Hannah said. Horrible Hannah. Oh, God. Today is my lucky day. I just found a four-leaf clover. I found it growing out of my blank. <laughs> Hannah. I guess they didn't clover. care for that play on words, huh? Horrible Hannah said, today is my lucky day. I just found a four-leaf clover. I found it growing out of my blank. Toss between two. Uh, I'll say nose. Nose. What was your second choice? Armpit. Oh. I don't think they liked either one of them. What did you say? He said nose. Forehead. Forehead, yes. Just found it, I found it growing out of my forehead. What do you say? Well, why, is for, uh, why is nose such a terrible answer? I don't know. I don't think it's so bad. It's just it's a weird audience. Oh. <laughs> it's our usual run of the mill, right? See how weird they are? El Noza. No. There it is. I said growing out of her mole. Out of her mole. <laughs> Like that. Oh, yes, there it is, you see. Yeah, that's right. Yes. It was attractive. Look uh, like a piece of jewelry. Just found a four leaf clover, found it growing out of my. Well, I was, I should have, I was going to say nose and I said hair. Growing out of my hair. Hair in the nose, maybe? Oh, yes. Uh, out of her, the middle of her head, yes, of course. <laughs> I was going to say uh, hair, I said ear. Ear. Yes, I suppose any orifice would be acceptable. What do you say to that? I was going to say nose, and I did. Uh -huh. So, there we go. Now we go to round three. Ken, you're ahead, so you go first, A or B? I'll stick with A. A it is, and this is it. Brett does not play, and Betty does not play. Out at the home, they call 97-year-old Mrs. Perkins a collector. She doesn't really do anything. She just sits there and collects blank. <laughs> She's a collector. She doesn't do anything. Doesn't really do anything. She just sits there and collects blank. Out at the home. Out at the home. She's 97, you know. Quickly. I know right, sweet. Here we go. Out at the home, they call 97-year-old Mrs. Perkins a collector. She doesn't really do anything. She just sits there and collects blank. I got two again. Um, I'll say dust. Yeah! Dust is good. I think you picked the right one. Hans, what do you say? Well, from dust to dust, but social security. Social security. <laughs> Very good. Chuck? I'm not the one to let down a marine pilot. Dust. Dust it is. <laughs> I've got three. What do you say? So. I, I think I'm finally catching on. Yeah. for him. <laughs> El Dusto. Dusto. Now, Sandy, got you've got a job. You've got a match four to tie and five to win. Charles okay. does not play. He's the only one. Sir Lancelot's wife said, My husband is strange. <laughs> how kind of you to ask. <laughs> I'll tell you how strange he is. Every night he comes to bed with his blank. <laughs> Sir Lancelot's wife is speaking. My husband is strange. Every night he comes to bed with his blank. All right, here we go, Sandy. Sir Lancelot's wife said, My husband is strange. Every night he comes to bed with his blank. Sword. Sword. All right. She said sword. In his nightgown. In his... Oh! In his K-N-I-G-H-T gown. Now you got to match the remaining five to stay in the game and achieve a tie. No, I, 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 th I think this is def your definite match. So don't get, don't leap to the buzzer. I said spear, which is like a sword. No, that means Ken Thomas wins the game. What the rest of you have here? So run, spear, and a boy. Sandy, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I enjoyed it. And I hope I fly with you sometime. We've got lots of gifts for you. Sandy Herzer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And while Bye -bye. we're spinning her off, we're going to spin some messages just for you. Hurry back and see how he does with the big money. Now, here we are. 
This fella has a chance at the big money. If you're here in this big money super match, I want to point out to you, we're going to do it for you twice. And whatever you win here, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. That'll be the final dollar figure you will be playing for when you try to match one of the celebrities. Here we go. We polled a studio audience not too long ago, and we said, write down your best answer to this. A night blank. You get $500 if you match the answer they gave us most frequently, and for matching their second most popular, $250, and $100 for matching the third. Ken, now three of the six celebrities are permitted to assist. Brett. Well, it's the uh, well. It actually it has to do with Jean when what? we went to Encino. Shh. A night to remember. A night to remember. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank. Oh yes. Oh, Charles. Chuck. Which was there one and only a night of love. <laughs> A night of love? Yes. Why well, look so surprised? A night Wasn't of it? love. Yes. Yes. Oh, I just appeared to be surprised because I thought, well, nothing. And Richard. And Richard. Marx Brothers film, A Night at the Opera. A Night at the Opera, yes. Well, there you go. A Night of Love, A Night at the Opera, and A Night to Remember. Those are your three choices. However, you have a fourth. You can reject all of those and give us one of your own. What is your pleasure? A uh, Night to Remember. A Night to Remember. What was your second choice? A knight in Shining Armor. We just went through them. Oh, A Knight in Shining Armor. Well, that would be different, you see. Although the audience, they might have been, they could have done that. Yeah. You know, the audiences we get. Not you. You're okay. Sometimes they're weird. Yeah. All right, let's begin down at the bottom and see if we've got A Knight to Remember under the $100 response. A Knight at the Opera is Richard's answer. So that may be a good sign, Ken. Here we go with a $250 response. A Night on the Town. Well, that's a good one. Did you have that? Yeah. All right, here's the last chance for a night to remember. Slide it, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they do make marine products like they used to. At ease. Listen, Brett, when you, when you kiss, it's better to take your glasses off. He could have oh. hurt himself. I won't be able to see him. Oh, I see. Now, <laughs> Ken, <laughs> you won the $500. That means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Let's see how well you do now with your second audience match. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Blank Sam. All right. Do we need to ask? Oh, sir. Uncle Sam. Sure. Uncle Sam is one. <laughs> Betty. Betty? Uh, after Uncle Aunt Sam? No, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, uh, Say uh, Uncle Sam again. Uh, Uncle Sam again. <laughs> no, uh, uh, play, it again. Uh, play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sam. That was quick of you, uh, good of you to think of that of that here. way. Wasn't that clever of her? Yeah. And a friend from Flagship Fickers. Fractured flickers, Hans Conrad. All I've got is uncle. Nothing else occurs. Nothing else occurs to you? Oh, well, I, no. uh, good Something may come out of the oh, air. Oh, a friend of mine has suggested good neighbor Sam. <laughs> good neighbor yeah. Sam. All right. So those are the three. Good neighbor Sam, Uncle Sam, and play it again, Sam. Again, you have a choice of choosing one of those or giving us one of your own. Well, it would be remiss of me not to say Uncle Sam. Yeah. yeah. You know what we do? We'd have to rip off all your buttons and do all that just the way they did in Beaugest. Yeah. You want to help? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's find out. Here we go with the $100 response. Play it again, Sam. All right, we're looking for Uncle. May we see the $250 number? Yosemite Sam. That's a cartoon that character that we all know and love. Um, now, may we see the last response? Go, Uncle Sam. Well, <laughs> all right, very good for you. You must take your glasses off next time, Sarah. Get... Now, you want another 500, multiply that by uh, 10, gives you 5,000, add it to the previous thousand, uh, 5,000. You got a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. We'll give you the money. If you'll match one celebrity exactly, you have to pick one now. Richard, please. Okay, here we go. This is worth $10,000 to Ken Thomas, and it goes like this. Blank, boiled, B-O-I-L-E-D. 
blank boiled. All right, he's finished. Now, Ken, give us the answer that he's written on his card. We give you $10,000. Blank boiled. Hard boiled. Hard boiled. Okay. Richard, he says hard boiled will match you for the $10,000. I wish it was very hard. Oh, I did. Join us again next week for Match Game PM when we'll have a lot more money to give away and more engaging celebrities like these here. Gene Rayburn here, Tally Ho! <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Chapman production. Get ready to match the stars from Charlie's Angels, David Doyle, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Raleigh, from Ladies Band, Betty Kennedy, from Walker and Mindy, Robert Downer, and Marshall Wallace, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now, here's the star of Match Game PM, Gene Rayburn. Thank you, friends. Why? Thank you for showing up. Oh. It would be difficult to do it alone. <laughs> That's what now, the bishop said. Now, would you uh, join me in greeting Mary Beth Wood and Paul Von Wellenetz? Hi. Welcome to the two of you. Uh, we'd like to find out a little bit about each of you. Paul, to please tell us about yourself. All right. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for pronouncing my name right. I practiced that till I was 10 years old. Is there a, yeah. is, there's a more Prussian way of saying it, isn't there? I wouldn't try it. All right. Uh, I won't either. I was born in Michigan. Yes. I ricocheted around the world for an education. In Hong Kong, on November 2nd, 815 in the morning, I came off the elevator at the Ambassador Hotel, and I met the most beautiful woman I've ever met in my whole life. I married her. So she married me. Yes. I'm not certain. And... Uh, we came back to California, where her home is. I also found out she's a great cook, and since that time, in this order, we produced a beautiful daughter named Lisa, and three cookbooks that are bestsellers and award winners. How about that? Gee, that's oh, marvelous. Good right. oh, boy. Mm. More rich life, right? Oh. I, so I, the question I is, a... does she do windows? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I've never asked her. Good luck to you, Paul. Thank Mary you. Beth, how about you? Well, I'm a full-time salesperson and a part-time nurse. I am originally from Port Byron, Illinois, where we have lots of cows, pigs, and chickens. <laughs> and I'm new to Los Angeles. I love it, and I think the people are wonderful, and the weather is the best. Well, uh, that enthusiasm is terrific. Good. Now, here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three opportunities to match as many of our stars as you possibly can. And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner and go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $20,000. Wow, here we go. Paul, here we go. Paul says he wants to be. We're off and running. Joseph, this T-shirt craze is really wild. I just saw a girl with the entire Mojave Desert on her front. She had the biggest blanks I ever saw. <laughs> This t-shirt craze is really wild. I just saw a girl with the entire Mojave Desert on her front. She had the biggest blanks I ever saw. <laughs> sand dunes. I knew you were like Sand dunes. Very good. That's a good answer. 
That's a marvelous answer, Paul. Mm. What do you got there? Yes, I always thought of them as oases, really, but they are Dunes, yeah. yeah. One for Paul. I those think who dunes. <laughs> those who do. Yeah. Those who can't teach, those who can't teach, teach Jim, thanks to Woody Allen. Uh, sand dunes. That's two oh. for him. <laughs> I said humps, like a camel has humps. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Share the biggest... Uh, 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 Mojave Desert, I see, as in a camel. I mean, I think of dunes as Malibu, where we have one of our four right. homes. Right, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Kennedy. I said she had the biggest oasis I ever did see. Biggest oasis. You say it yeah. so nicely, too. Robert? <laughs> I said... Palm, lovely, because palm, <laughs> lovely. Yes. yes, yes. Play on words. Right? Of course, naturally. Bad yes. play. We understand it, Rob. Definite error. <laughs> yes, Marcia. Gene. Save him. Oh, I don't think I can barely save myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect this to do any better than it did when Charles said it. Humps. Humps. All right. And I was so, right. Paul, you pick up two. <laughs> Thank now, you. Now, Mary Beth, we have this for you. Okay. Marty said, I think the mayor of this town used to be a doctor. The street signs don't say walk, don't walk. They say blank, don't blank. <laughs> All right, here we go. Martha said, I think the mayor of this town used to be a doctor. The street signs don't say walk, don't walk. They say blank, don't blank. Pay, don't charge. What? <laughs> Pay, don't charge. All right, David. Pay, don't pay. I suppose it wouldn't matter what he was saying if he was feeling where he has to feel to say, cough, don't cough. Uh-huh. Oh, that's Cough, it. don't cough. That's a good one. Yes, of course. Probably. The audience apparently does not understand it. You've never been to a doctor in your life, have you? <laughs> you guys especially have never been to a doctor. Okay. I believe it's an old army expression. Cough, don't cough. Right. Turn your head and cough. Go. Oh, cough, don't cough. That seems to be it. Where were you, sweetness? You don't know that, do you? Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Didn't you say you were a nurse? Part-time nurse. Part-time. Well, a part-time well, nurse person. would certainly know more than someone no, who's least, never nursed. They'd rather be paid. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, Betty. <laughs> I said, run, don't walk. <laughs> Stinks, Betty. She's charming, isn't she? Give me uh -huh. a break. You know, I'm doing that's and all you can do. Right. <laughs> She's quoting Dr. Freud directly. I'm doing <laughs> the best I, I can. Know. All right, Sure. <laughs> Get him on here then, if you like him so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dead? Oh. This Keep talking. It. Take this, don't take this. You take don't this, take don't this. take no. this. <laughs> take two aspirin, don't take two aspirin. That's uh, the idea there. Marsha? Is that the idea, Gene? I have Jean? to explain some of these. They're a little out of left field. Oh, uh, I'm so glad so you did, but you got your booze out of your system. She's yeah. weeping over there. It's worse than yours? Are Wait you a minute. Are you grading them? Are you grading these? Now, listen, you I'm must. Sorry. You? sorry. Oh, hon, that's okay. I wasn't saying anything important. Believe oh, all right. me. All right. I said go. Take two aspirin. Don't take two aspirin. Oh, I said it. You oh, said I'm it for me, so yeah, I didn't right. mean to. Excellent. Didn't mean to That's do that. right. Blow the joke for the poor kid who's sitting on the end. That's right. Woo! Did that inadvertently. I rarely do that. Maybe <laughs> once every two years. Let me repeat. Two to that. nothing. Favor of Paul here. Round two coming up in a moment or so. Right now, this for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Round two coming up. Paul, your ahead. We'll ask you to go first. B. Oh, we're B. We're back. B for back. All right. Okay. Paul von Wellenitz. Who does not play? David and Brett do not play. The rest of you, please respond to this. Well, Elsie has been working at the laundry too long. Yesterday, after she washed her face, she tried to blanket. <laughs> <laughs> working at the laundry too long. Laundry. Elsie has been working at the laundry too long. Yesterday, after she washed her face, she tried to blanket. Spin dry it. Spin dry. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, they turn on you, don't they? Yeah, they do, really, Paul. Yeah. I think you got a little too complicated there. Spin dry is well, a very... I said just starch it. Starch. Simple, straightforward starch. I What'd thought you... you'd simply press it. 
press it after you wash it. <laughs> Robert, let's either play the game or not play the game. <laughs> Dry it. Oh. oh. One for Paul. See how I mean, testy you get? Look what happened. It gets one right answer and turns bing. on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would be especially helpful if Elsie had a mustache. Bleach it. <laughs> bleach it. Yeah. You wash your face, you try to bleach it. All right, Mary Beth, you got a little catching up to do. He has three. You have an ought, as they say. Rick said. Rick. I just went to a bachelor party at Weight Watchers. <laughs> it was strange. A naked girl jumped out of a giant dish of blank. <laughs> Bachelor party at Weight Watchers. Now we're ready. Rick said, I just went to a bachelor party at Weight Watchers. It was strange. A naked girl jumped out of a giant dish of... Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Turn up your hearing aid, hon. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. That's what she uh, said. No, I went for yogurt. Yogurt? <laughs> Ounce for ounce, I suppose there are fewer calories in cottage cheese than in yogurt. Is that correct? That's yes, correct. that's probably true. Not what do you say? I correct. say I right. wish I could shimmy like my sister Kate. <laughs> Jello. Jello. <laughs> Dietetic Jello. Jello. Two Jellos <laughs> and one yogurt. Don't a jam make. <laughs> what do you got for us here, Betty? Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. <laughs> A little cottage cheese for the lady? Nothing yogurt. For yogurt for the lady. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Locale yogurt. Well, as you know, I was a former chubbette. And yes. had a lot more action when I was fat, if you want the truth. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> but now, and uh, actually, uh, yogurt has quite a few calories, honey. Yes, it, it does. does. Yeah. So does Even if you may really? make it with skim milk? Well, now, if you use your plain yogurt and add your own fresh fruit, you should pardon the expression. Oh, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> no, no. no. But, uh, and actually, this is not all that, but I love the image of her coming out of the jello. Yes, that would you be You see, Weight Watchers, you can have spaghetti and potatoes. Weight Watchers is not what people think. You can eat plenty. Really? It's sure. just carefully He's arranged. A shiny example. I used to almost marry the woman that, that founded it. And oh, I'm very yes. close to this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you eat potatoes and spaghetti it. and all that? You can. It, it is legal. It is legal. Yes, it is. <laughs> not on my block. Where are we? We've got to round three here. This is the last round. Paul, you're still ahead. Three to one, you go first. Son of a gun. Eight. I never Eight. Gonna Ready. Don't write. David, Brett, and match. Robert, do not play. The others, please respond to this. Did you hear what happened to Unlucky Louie? No. I shall tell you what happened to Unlucky Louie. The poor guy got a tube of crazy glue mixed up with a tube of blank. <laughs> Unlucky Louie. All right, Paul. Did you hear what happened, uh, happened to Unlucky Louie? The poor guy got a tube of crazy glue mixed up with a tube of... Toothpaste. Yeah! Toothpaste. He says toothpaste, Charles. How's that grab you? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you have now four. Betty? Toothpaste. You now have five. And Marsha. Between Vaseline and toothpaste. Nice. Right. <laughs> now, Mary Beth, the best you can do is achieve a tie. You can do that, however, by matching all five who you have not already matched. Everyone except Betty. Weird Willie was so weird. How weird. When the jeweler told him a new watch cost an arm and a leg, Weird Willie asked him if he could leave a blank as a deposit. <laughs> That's excellent. He's cheerful, but he's not smart. Whoever <laughs> said All right, everybody saw set. Okay. okay. Very good. Weird Willie was so weird. When the jeweler told him a new watch cost an arm and a leg, Weird Willie asked him if he could leave a blank as a deposit. An arm. Oh. Oh, oh no. I'm and in he here. Said, he said it cost I, an arm and a leg. I, I, and he said, can I leave a blank as a deposit? I know. I don't Talk think you quick. see arm over here. It means you have to match everyone, and we'll see what happens. But I thought to, you know he wanted to keep the arm intact, but he might leave a finger. A finger toe. and or toe. So Paul wins the game. What the rest of you have? Finger, finger, finger. finger. Come on, Paul. I 
right there on a little blue dot, if you would, please. We're going to say goodbye to Mary Beth Woods. Pleasure to meet you, my dear. Thank you very much. We're going to send some gifts your way from Mac right. Game PM, Mary Thank Beth Woods. I will spin her off and spin a message or two for you. Hurry back. Now, if you're ready, we're ready. All set. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two audience matches with you. And I want to point out to you, whatever you win in these audience matches will be multiplied by 10. And that'll be the least amount you could play for. However, after that, you'll get the chance to spin the star wheel, and you could double it. You could win over $20,000 here. Do I get to keep it? $20,000. Wow. 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 Well, it depends on what tax bracket you're in. It depends on how much you keep. You can keep it. Oh, all right. Paul, we polled the studio audience not too long ago, and we said, please write down your best answer to this. Blank oh. of the earth. Oh, I won. You got it. You got it already in your head. Oh, good. He married her. I just want to point out, if you match the answer that that audience wrote down most often, we'll give you $500 for matching the second most popular answer, $250, and then for matching the third, $100. Now, swing around here. Three of the six stars are permitted to help, but only call on the ones me. who appear to have an answer. Trust me. I trust you, Brett. Okay. Salt of the earth. Oh. <laughs> Salt of the earth is one. Oh, I'll try the smiling girl on our far left. Marcia. Come on, Marcia. Uh, ends of the earth. Or end of the earth. End of the earth. All right. We got two now. Now they're all looking away. You see, when you get to three, it's tough. It's very tough. To find David to apparently has happy. one. David, you're on. Well, I, <clears throat> well, I, I would say the center. Sydney. What was that, Sydney? Where that funny little water comes from, the very center of the earth. <laughs> or the center, center of the earth. earth. Yeah. That's good, David. <laughs> center of the earth. So now they've given you center of the earth salt of the earth and end of the earth now you have the option at this time to choose one of those or think up one of your own what is your pleasure i would choose sir salt of the earth yeah. salt of the earth <laughs> all right let's find out if we've got a little salt of the earth up there may we see the 100 hundred dollar response end of the earth that's the answer that marcia gave you right and now we'll take a look at the 250 and fifty dollar response Journey to the center is the one that David gave you? Oh, well, not exactly. Oh, close enough. Close enough for jazz. And the last one is... Yay! Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Now, Paul, you have $500 multiplied by 10 is $5,000. Now, that's the least you can play for. If I went home now, I could take that with me. No, no you, you'd have to earn that. If you went home now, the most you could take with you is $500. But $5,000 is what you can play for in the second half coming up a little later. But right now, we want to do another audience match and give you another shot at it and see what happens. Here we go. Orville Blank. Orville Blank. All right. Any ideas from any... <laughs> I can't pass a winner. <laughs> Brett, what do you have? Orville Wright! Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, Brett, that's right. Yeah. Aren't you? Good luck. That guy that really gets on my nerves, Orville Rettenbacher. Yeah. <laughs> he makes wonderful popcorn. I'm sure he does. What do you got? Oh, Charles. Uh, and try to tell me this isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to tell me it's not true. Orville, Tennessee. <laughs> Is that true? Come on, That's tell me. That's not true. How do you know? And you wouldn't want to bet right now. I just happened to send a letter there. <laughs> Three days ago, I wrote to Center Street in Orville, Tennessee. Sure you did. Zip 207527. <laughs> of course, oh, it'll never get there, but I wrote the envelope. Are. Right. Orville, Tennessee is famous for its lovely flowers. <laughs> <laughs> lovely silk screen process. Oh, look at this, Paul. Just pull this out of the watch it's box. Made in Hong Kong. No. Oh. Inspected by number four. <laughs> you know they let him go? They yes, they did. Him. <laughs> now, here's the way it is. They, you have Orville Wright, Orville, Tennessee, and Orville Redenbacher. You may choose one of those or, again, give us one of your own. All right. Orville... Right. Yeah. Oh, right. Got it. Got All right. Let's find out if Orville Wright is up there. Maybe you see the one hundred dollar response. Orville Roberts. That's Orville Roberts. Orville Roberts. Orville Roberts. That's Orville Roberts. 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 Orville Roberts.
you know it. I hope you're smarter than those dingbats who were here back then who wrote Orville Roberts instead of Oral Roberts. I say unto you, amen. I say unto you, why would you say Orville Roberts when you could say Oral Roberts? I say unto you. That's as bad as cuckoo friend and Ollie. Yeah, one day we had... Huh, how, what, what was the thing up there? It was cuckoo, cuckoo. for cuckoo clock. Cuckoo for cuckoo blank. And this lady said, <coughs> it was a lady, wasn't it? Right. She said, oh, yeah, I got she that pick one. pick on us. Cuckoo Fran and Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> she said, cuckoo Frank, didn't she? Cuckoo Frank. I know, it was all mixed up. Anyway, let's see what we've got in the $250 response. Orville Redenbacher. Yeah, That's the one that I'm going to beat out. Now, last chance for all to write, slide the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you won another $500. Yes. Multiplied by 10 is another 5,000. Added to the previous 5,000 gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. But if you spin the star wheel and double up on it, you will be playing for $20,000. Get up there and pull that peg and have a go at it, and we'll all root for a double. Let's wish him the very best of luck. Go. Go. Me? <laughs> Not yet. Oh, okay. It's only twenty thousand oh, dollars, David. Stop that! <laughs> Here we go. Blank. No help now. Blank mountains. Blank mountains. Put it in a slot, and away we go. Mm -hmm. If you give us the answer he's got, you get $20,000. What do you say? Rocky Mountain. Yeah! Rocky Mountain. Yeah! 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 All right, let's find out what David has. Rocky Mountains, he says David will match it for $20,000. Wouldn't you know? Yeah! Yeah! $21,000 for this fella. Join us next week for Match Game PM. Gene Rayburn, thank you all. Goodbye. Some contestants will receive Serta's perfect sleeper signature one mattress and exclusive Serta Lock Foundation. We'll add both top covered with firm deep support. Perfect signature one by Serta. And a Caravelle wash from Boulevard. The stunning ladies wash all the sports sack. We've seen every needs one. The Caravelle by Boulevard, the inexpensive wash line store sale. And for Mr. Coffee, a gift pack featuring America's number one coffee maker and genuine Mr. Coffee accessories, including an extra decanter and Mr. Coffee filters. And a seven-piece performer gourmet cutlery set with extra sharp chrome stainless steel blades and ebony fleetwood handles, just wash the safe from washing and forward. And Polygar Coat Texas Sealant, miracle stain with felon, invisibly protects waterproof, utilizes the car's interior, available at new car dealers. And loose side brushes and rollers from DuPont. Premium quality tools to ensure professional painting results inside or outside your home. And a polish shell system from Turtle Wax. Space age protection for your cars, but it's three layers deep, 24 months long. The polish shell system. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production.
Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Hart, Lynn Deerfield, Richard Dawson, and Betty Watts as we play the star-studded big money match game, P.M. And now, here's the star of match game, P.M. Do not whistle, please. Please don't whistle. Thank you for joining us. Would you greet me? Uh, or have Join a word me. of greeting. Join me well, as we I greet, greet uh, the celebrities here. Yes. Uh, Brett Summers and Charles Nelson Riley, two of our regulars. They're an yeah, item, okay, as you yeah, probably good, good know. Yes. <laughs> and Richard Dawson is known as the hot ticket. And um, we couldn't do it without little old Miss Warm. Betty Lukewarm of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And this gay, witty, amusing fellow is known as the smiling Irishman, Joey Bishop. <laughs> this is the thrill of my life, the nighttime version. I yeah. can't believe oh, I Oh, you it. didn't? This, you've done it before, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, but oh, I didn't sure. think I would ever do it again. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> now, Lynn Deerfield's face is familiar to you because you see her on The Guiding Light. And some of you may remember that she appeared as a contestant on Match Game, the older version, several years ago. 1969. My, you've held up well, haven't you? <laughs> She was a contestant, won $450. I was 10. You were how much? 10. Then. You were 10 in 1969. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. And so they said, who, so after the show, somebody said to her, who was your team captain? She says, some guy I never heard of. What was his name? Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, yeah. Never heard of them. Who was the other guy you never heard of? Uh, Don Meredith? Don Meredith, yeah. Whoever heard of him? He was only captain of the Dallas Cowboys then. You figured out since then who they are, right? Yeah. All right, now would you join I, I me in a round of applause to John Anderson and Lynn Mann? <laughs> Welcome. Now we'd like to find out a little bit about each of these people. We'll begin with you, Lynn. Please tell us where you're from. Well, I was born in St. Louis. Uh -huh. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> Lynn Deerfield's hometown. Yes, right. I know. And I live in Memphis now, and I'm moving to Chicago when I get home. You sound as if you're happy about that Oh, prospect. I love to move. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes. All right. Move over there. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you, Lynn. Let's find out about John Anderson. Well, I've lived in Los Angeles all my life. I spent a short time with the Peace Corps in the Marshall Islands, and presently I'm employed as a tax auditor with the Internal Revenue Service. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's not fair, Gene. No, it's not fair. <laughs> There's all of you out there. And You're a nice only guy. Yourself yes. in the U.S. government. That's right. <laughs> you only got the government on your side, That's right. eh? Okay, good luck to both of you. May I point out that here on Match Game PM, we'll give each of you three chances to match as many of our celebrities as you can. The one who has scored the most matches at the end of the third round will be the winner and will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. Now, Lynn, you may have A or B. A. Lynn Mann wants A, and this is it. On Ugly Edna's wedding night, as Ugly Edna started to undress, her new husband said, Boy, I'm sure glad I brought along a blank. I got that one. Now, can I ask you a... Oh, well! That's terrific. Put that can I ask you a question? Shh, yes. If she was so ugly, yes. how did she get a new husband? You know the trouble Brett is having? You're, tr you're taking this program too seriously. Beauty. Yes, you are. I love the way you're doing your hair. Thank you, Don. You like it even better when it falls down later tonight and then seen off. Hello, Lynn. On Ugly Edna's wedding night, as Ugly Edna started to undress, her new husband said, Boy, I'm sure glad I brought along a... Blindfold? A blindfold. <laughs> All right. She said a blindfold. What do you say to that? Well, you know, a, a, a mask yeah. can make even an ugly person look attractive. Oh, yeah, gym. that's right. So I put a full mask. A full mask. That's a blindfold, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a full mask would cover the whole face. Yeah. A blindfold would just cover the eyes. Yes. Yes, okay. Well, it's not All right. my fault. No, Lynn I, I know. see your logic now. That is absolutely correct. I agree with that. What do you say? 
You know that old joke, shall I get the mask? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> now, that is a match, because that could be just an eye match. What do you say to that? What did he say? First, he said a full mask which would cover the entire face, which is different from a blindfold which just covers the eyes. <laughs> I said mask. That matches. That's okay. Just put a bag in there and don't be upset for oh, you. <laughs> Oh, uh, hello, Lynn Deerfield. I when Uncle Leah started to undress her new husband, I said, boy, I'm sure glad I brought along a mask, according to Lynn Mann. She said blindfold. Blindfold or mask. And I couldn't yeah. think of the word. I'm sitting here going crazy, so I put blinders mask, and you know what it means? Blinders I mask. I was thinking of yeah. right. right. I couldn't think. Uh, okay. Right. Very good. That's three for her. I don't know why, he, you know, he, I figured he must have married her. For money, she must have money if she's so ugly. Why suddenly would he put on a blindfold? I don't right? know. I mean, it's ridiculous. He knew she was ugly before she undressed. Yeah. He just hedged his bet and brought along a girlfriend. A girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Saving your bet. Right. That is good logic. Good you logic. Can't quarrel with that. I have just another one of those half mask answers. Half mask <laughs> answers, yeah. Good All right. So that's four for a little man. Now, John Anderson. Ready to go to work, John? Here we go. Now, listen. Everybody, you all know the, uh, the Marx Brothers. Groucho, Harpo, Chico, Zeppo, and Gummo. Carl. Uh, Carl. No, not Carl Marx. <laughs> Groucho, Harpo, Chico, Gummo, and Zeppo. Well, when Dumb Dora went on a quiz show and they asked her to name one of the Marx Brothers, she said, Blanco. <laughs> A... Blanco. Well, I think I get it. It's not that hard. No, of course it is. Okay, here we go. John, the Marx Brothers. You know who they are? Groucho, Harpo, Chico, Gummo, and Zeppel. Well, when Dumb Door went on a quiz show and they asked her to name one of the Marx Brothers, she said, Blanco. Dumbo? Dumbo is one. Very good. He's a is dumb, good, is dumb a good? Well, anything that ends in O would be good. Oh, what I do you got say? It. Would Zorro be good? Zorro would be good. Really? Yes. You know something? What? I thought your answer was absolutely perfect. What? Blanco. So I put down Blanco. <laughs> you didn't. That's right. Think about it. You did not know who it was, right? Yeah. But you know what it is? Excuse me, folks. <laughs> <laughs> What did you think of? Honey, I... Go ahead and ask Charles. No, come on. No, no. You didn't understand it. I tried no, to explain well, it to you. You see, I was... I thought she just had come from the fourth grade and had gotten her report card. Yeah. So I said, Bado. And Bado. Like, Bado. Is that good? Uh, Bado. Uh, no, sh the boo. Uh, oh, dear me. I think I've had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> you will any moment. Take off the whole rug, you might feel a little better. <laughs> Mexican mod uh, jumping yeah. suit. You wish. Yeah. <laughs> I said Brillo. Brillo. <laughs> okay. I think they all Lynn Deerfield, say. what did you think of that ends in O in well, the way you, of a proper noun? Well, the last name was Zeppo, so if you're a little yeah. messed up in the head, I don't was careful what I said. Yes, a... I said Zippo. Zippo is another good answer. <laughs> A very good possibility. Even hippo would have been fine. Hippo would have been good. But I said zippo. Zippo is good. Have you got one, a good one that ends I had old? a little trouble coming up with an answer, so I copied from Richard this time. And then he told me a lot of other good ones. Boffo and hippo and all yeah. those. But I would, didn't have any what are some of the other good ones? Jello? Brillo was good. I mean, there are anything. Hello. Hello. Okay, so there's round one. Scores four to nothing. Favor Lynn Mann. Round two coming up later, but first this. Here we go. Round two coming up. There it is. A or B, Lynn, your head, so you go first. B. B it is. Joey, you play. Thank you. Richard, you play. Yeah, I'm going to play so Joey won't feel bad. Okay. Will you accuse me, but I did get the last one Shh. right. Just the two of us playing? Just the two of us. Oh, is this? Sure, sir. Nanukla, the Eskimo girl, said to her boyfriend, she said, I can't rub noses with you now because my nose is busy. I'm blanking it. Honey. Right. Okay, Lynn Mann. Nanukla, the Eskimo girl, said to her boyfriend, I can't rub noses with you now because my nose is busy. I'm blanking it. Blowing? Blowing it. Okay. <laughs>
You know, the pain. Well, Eskimos. Eskimos. They rub noses. They rub right? noses. She said, so, I can't rub noses with you now because I... Knowing, knowing the yes. philosophy of this particular show, yeah. I said, rubbing, rubbing. She won't say rubbing. What? She'll say blowing. So I said, blow. That's what she did. Okay. So you're up to five now, Lynn. What do you say to that, Richard? Well, knowing the way the show works, yes. I copied Joey, blowing. I said blowing. Okay. Now, John, you're going to have two shots at it. Ready to go to work? Ready. Listen to this. Okay. The Goodyear Company named Bernie Man of the Year because Bernie's blank looks like a blimp. <laughs> Bernie's blank looks like a blimp. I'm going to be better no. by you this time, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready, Joey? Put it in a slot. Okay. Yes. Now, John, the Goodyear Company named Bernie Man of the Year because Bernie's blank looks like a blimp. I say his nose. Nose is a good one. Don't you think that's good? I think that's good. You are hard to please. You're an impossible bunch. What do you say, Joe? Well, from the Latin, tushi, tushat, tushant, tushama, tushat is tushant, I said tushy, behind. Show it. Tushy. Okay. All right. He was large. You kids are gonna love this. You're gonna forgive me for that last answer, which we won't mention. Yes. I said wife. Wife said is good. Wife. wife is good. Charles? I also said wife. Two wives wife. there. And one tissue. Okay, Lynn. Show and tell time. I'm so proud. Another wife. But John's looking for a nose. Good your company named Bernie Man of the Year because Bernie's nose looks like a blimp. That's no blimp. That's my wife. That's no blimp. That's my wife. John got mixed up with the last question when he said no. That's where the rub comes in. Oh. You see, he said oh. wife. My wife. That's beneath you, Betty. All right. Nothing is beneath me. Coming down to the wire here, John. You ready? All right. Now, you're going to have a shot at it here, and then you can choose A or B. She's matched all six celebrities. So what do you say? I'll have to go with A. You'll have to go with A? You don't have to. You want to go with B? A. A. Okay. All right. I hope you, you do say. our assessments better than you play this game, John. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be audited at the end of the year. Never you mind, John. Uh, here it is now. It's very important to John. Listen carefully. When the farmer's daughter jumped onto the haystack, she got a big surprise because the haystack had a blank in it. <laughs> haystack. I want this to be... Uh, when well, the farmer's daughter jumped out of the haystack, she got a big surprise because this haystack had a blank in it. Haystack. I get it, but I... You got it, you got it. No, 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 Joe. Well, of course. You see, see that? You didn't see that. Okay. Shh. Well, there, there's the, the, the... Well, gee whiz, That's curse. it. Well, I think it's a silly... All righty. Okay, here we go. All right, John, we're ready for you. When the farmer's daughter jumped onto the haystack, she got a big surprise because the haystack had a blank in it. I'll say salesman. Yeah! <laughs> I, I realize there is a traditional connection between the farmer's daughter and the salesman, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think these people think that way, John. There's another traditional connection between a haystack and... Based upon the old proverb, yeah. like looking for a needle in a haystack, yeah. I wrote needle. May we see it? Needle, so that means Lin Man wins the game. What the rest of you have? Okay. Congratulations. Are uh, you around here for a moment or so while we say goodbye to John Anderson? Listen, it was a pleasure to meet you, John. And I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. And I hope you, uh, the fact that you didn't win will not mean anything as far as the IRS and we are concerned here. <laughs> but uh, we've got some gifts for you together with our thanks for being here on Match Game PM. John Anderson, ladies and gentlemen, there he goes. I was spinning him off. We're spinning these messages just for you. Ready? 
Here we go. Ready? Are you ready? Well, I'm ready. It's time now for the Big Money Super Match here, where you can win over $10,000. Now, to do that, we're going to have two audience matches for you. And I want to point out to you, whatever you win here, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10, okay? Okay. All right. Let's be off and running. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank dressing. D-R-E-S-S-I-N-G. Blank dressing. Now, if you match the answer they gave most often, you get $500. The second most frequent response gives you two fifty. dollars Then if you hook up with that bottom one, you get $100. And three of our six celebrities are permitted to assist by suggesting answers. Lynn, salad. Salad dressing is one. Richard? Richard. French dressing. French dressing. Mm, Brett? Brett, have you got one? Sure, I have one. You got more than I one. No, I have more than one. I'm just debating. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible answer. I'll say Roquefort dressing. Roquefort. Oh, I hate it. You have Roquefort, French, and salad. Those are the three. Do any of those look good, or do you want to dream one up out of your own head? I think I'll go with salad. Salad dressing. That was Lynn's answer, right? I find out if it's up there. If it is there, where is it? That is the question. Is it under the $100 response? <laughs> Undressing. <laughs> I don't mind if we do. <laughs> the time. Okay. It's not undressing, it's UN. No, it's undressing. That's what they're doing back there. Well, let's see if uh, we get uh, under the salad dressing of the $250 response. <laughs> well, we're really striking out here, aren't we, Dan? I know that's I'm confident thing. she's going to be all right. You think she's going to be all right? Oh, Audience, good. I think she picked the right one. Yeah. Okay. Don't they make you feel good? Oh. Great. Yeah, all right. Here's the last chance for salad dressing. May we see the $500 number? Yeah, you got it. Very good. <laughs> so now you got $500, which means that the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000, right? Right. Now I can fly home. Oh. <laughs> She had planned to walk home to St. Louis, but now she's going to fly. Okay, now let's see how much more you're going to move with our second audience match, and here we go. Slide it, old bean. Blank Richard. Blank Richard. Blank. All right. It's not Richard. It's uh, what? I can't see that. R-I-C-H-A-R-D. A Good. proper noun. Blank Richard. Now, you can call him out one at a time. Richard? King Richard. King Richard. Uh, Charles? Have you got oh, one, Charles? Poor Richard. Poor Richard. All right. Lynn? Lynn, have you got one? <laughs> Third position is very difficult, so don't feel too bad if you can't think of one. Uh, one may come to you out of, like, as if magic. It will appear out of space. Just say it. Just say it? Yeah, tr trust me. Trust you? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. All right, Rich. Rich? 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 I don't know. He's pulling your leg. You can't think of one. He's doing that. Cyril oh. Richard! Cyril Richard! That's Cyril Richard, there. Okay, she drew a blank on that. It was hard. Uh, so you got poor Richard and King Richard. Do you want one of those? King. King Richard is one she chooses. All right, King Richard all day. Where are you? Are you under the $100 number? Poor Richard is there. Naturally, a king wouldn't be under the $100 response, would he? Oh, king's got to go a little higher than that, doesn't he? All right, Kevin Jeff. All right, I bet anything he's not going to be under the $250, but we've got to check it anyway. So Richard. slide it. Oh. Little Richard. Oh, yeah. Little Richard. Oh, yeah. Did you have that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, last chance for King Richard. Here is the $500 number. Yeah! Very good. Hey. Well, look at you. Yes, now listen. You've won another $500. We multiply by that by 10, gives you 5,000. Add that to the previous 5,000 you won. You have a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. How to collect? We've got to choose one celebrity and match that celebrity exactly. Richard. All right. Surprise, surprise. King Richard is going to play with you here now. Here we go. Just stand on the tape facing Mecca over here. And I'll get the $5,000 question. $10,000. $10,000 question. Here it is. Blank and soul. Blank and soul. All right, now he's finished. Now, Lynn Mann, what answer do you want to give us that will lead to the same answer that Richard has already written on that card? Blank and soul. Body. Body and soul. Some of you in the audience 
Ay, güey. Oh, de, oh, oh. Ooh. What? Shh. Wait a minute now. Richard, she says body and soul will get you for $10,000. I was thinking of that song. You've got to have body. Oh. body. We're all very happy for Lynn Mann here, who has won a grand total of eleven thousand dollars. How do you feel about that? Stunned. Yeah, you're stunned. Yeah. Joey Bishop uh, has something to say. Joey. She said she wanted to make enough money to fly home. And right. She found out during the commercial break. She's got ten thousand dollars and she lives in Burbank. Yes. <laughs> you can't fly to Burbank. No. But we're no, very, very happy not. for you. Now we hope you'll watch uh, King Richard here on Family Feud and that you'll join us next week for another session of Match Game PM when we're going to have another bundle of money and more thrilling celebrities very similar to the ones you see here. Gene Rayburn here. Join us next week. Goodbye. <laughs> Ready to match the stars from Shannara Bowser, Greg Summers, Charles Nelson Raleigh from Dallas, Charlene Swoman, Bill Daly, and Patty Dugaskin as we play the star studded big money match game PM. And now, here's the star of match game PM, Gene Raymond. Thank you for joining us here on Match Game PM. You're going to have a good time. Yeah. I dare say the sequins were unnecessary. Yes. <laughs> and which sequins I did was it that? for you. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Would you all lilies. join me in greeting Tom oh, Nail and yeah. Terry yes. Keller? Hi, Tom. Hello. Hi. Welcome to both of you. If you want to get acquainted, find out who you are and where you're from. Terry, tell us about yourself, please. Okay. I'm a second generation San Diegan. And I work in La Jolla as a cocktail waitress, and I'm also hey. working part-time as a travel agent. Well, you're a busy lady. Yeah. Have a Lucky couple of here, belts Terry. and she'll send you anywhere. <laughs> uh, no orders, please. Pardon? Very nice. <laughs> Tom, what about you? Where are you from? I'm from down south, a computer programmer for uh, airlines in Atlanta. Okay. My hobbies are snow skiing and just having a good time out here visiting some relatives. Right. There's not much snow around Atlanta, though, is there? No, we have to go elsewhere for it. But Where do you go? It's a great city, though. Uh, a lot of time in Utah. We've been to Utah a couple of times. <gasps> yes, the we Western jump, skiing. Yeah. yeah, about a mile away. <laughs> yes. what, is a, what is a Peter programmer? Computer programmer. Computer programmer. <laughs> As 
we have pointed out many times on the program, older people like Brett have trouble with their vision, with their hearing, and all that. Now, here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three opportunities to match as many of those creatures as you possibly can. And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round, that person will be the winner and will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $20,000. Here we go. Terry says she wants A. The Surgeon General has announced he's going to put a warning on all TV sets that says, Caution! Watching blank may make you sick. Are you drinking again? The Surgeon General has announced he's going to put a warning on all TV sets that says, Caution! Watching blank may make you sick. General Hospital. Oh. General Hospital. On kind of the, the blood and the gore Your and the surgery the and, and all like the, the bedpans and all. I see. Okay. Your sister didn't She like says General you. Hospital. And how beautifully this opening segment led into the definitive answer of what's going to make you sick on television, a match game. Yeah. No. It Oh, okay. I right. was influenced by... Excuse me. Excuse me. He don't get don't out Don't talk much. with a mouthful. I was influenced by... by uh, Shannon. No, 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 no. I also... He said that this is a winning answer. He said he matched uh, it. I believe it. We can do without both of you. I, I was going to say Reuben Brothers three-piece suit. <laughs> 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 So I said match game AM and PM. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can all PM. be eliminated, you know. I guess we'll all be going. Yes, you will. <laughs> Before I go, I'll give my answer. <laughs> you can be eliminated, too. All I don't you're you're too just leave the dress. <laughs> yes, and the... No. No. Well, <laughs> What did you Can say? I put the uh, Bob Newhart show, I Dream of Jeannie, and Match Game. Any one of those are rock. <laughs> well, that's fine, people. We're not going to have back on this program. Good, yay! What then do you, you say? Then have a program. Now, I don't want anyone on this show to be upset. Not this show. The, the one that I said on my little card here. Because I think it's a very good show. But it goes on and on and on and on. The price is right. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> my favorite show. Well, your favorite show? Do yeah. I get to stay here? You're I okay. certainly can't go to You're the prices okay. right now. We can uh, build a whole new uh, panel of celebrities uh, with Patty Duke Ashton as the basis for the whole thing. Right. That's right. I can play all the parts. Right. Tonto. Schizo that I am. Tonto. Tonto. Who? Tonto. Yes, dear. I didn't say who. She said who. <laughs> well, I knew you had a hearing problem. <laughs> so does Thelma Ritter down there yeah. in the sixth scene. Tanto left the Lone Ranger. Oh, that! Oh, yeah. you're no, I can't never work again. You didn't hear about it, did you? He, op he opened an Indian restaurant. When the Lone <laughs> Ranger came to the door, Tanto said, oh, "Sorry, Kimo Sabi, but to get in here, you need blank." <laughs> They stink. That stinks. That? Patty? No. You waiting for me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Your stink. Right, here we go. Mine's a defense. Tano answer. left the Lone Ranger and opened an okay. Indian restaurant. When the Lone Ranger came to the door, Tano said, Mmm, sorry, Kimozabe, but to get in here, you need a squaw. Oh. A squaw. Oh. A squaw. <laughs> That's all right. He matches the others who really didn't understand it either. <laughs> Obviously. No one understands Patty, the question. did you like that answer? answer? You got it? I understand the answer. Okay, we'll call on you last. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Call we'll call on, on Charles last. What okay, do you say? Okay, right on. Terrific. Huh? Show us your card. Baby, baby. Oh, I have to definitely the definitive answer. War paint. War paint. Yeah. Okay. Don't come back till we call you, dingbat. He's had the flu. He hasn't been He wet. has the green apple quick step. He's just pretending. Oh, I see. Well, that was scalp. And there was tried... And there was feathers, yeah, those no better. and there was mask, no and there better. was horse. But what I chose was squaw. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's one for time. Oh, we're going to call on you last. Uh -huh. And we'll come down here to you. What have oh, you got? Oh, I've here? heard that one before. He'll never get back to you. 
Yes. I like it, Charlene. What? He said a peace pipe. If not that, a bong or something, you know. With a peace pipe. <laughs> What's a bong? <laughs> it's like bing bong. I was going to say... Uh, get the door? I don't know what this means. I was going to say doorknobs or master charge, so I took master charge. Master oh, charge. Nice. Yeah. Doorknobs are very you think you have the definitive answer? Okay, you ready for mine? Go. I said an American Pony Express card with a silver bullet, or uh, I was going to say Playboy Bunny card, and none of them are oh, any good. That's interesting. The but there is no I've match there because yeah, the question that's bad. Now Charles thinks he had turn. the definitive no, answer. I have the definitive answer. All right, I'll read, the question. Charles. I'll read the question one more time for you. Uh, Tano left Stinks. the Lone Ranger and opened an Indian restaurant. When the Lone Ranger came to the door, Tano said, oh, Sorry, Kimo Sabe, but to get in here, you need wampum. Oh. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's not the Hold it. Wait a minute, America. Does anybody in the audience know what the difference That's it. Reservation. Oh. Yes, oh, boy, one. that's good. All right, we'll get the round Did two in the moment or so. Yeah. No, I didn't think of that. Look at that. Watch it. Everybody. <laughs> okay, now we'll go to round two. Tom, your head, you may go first. I'll take A. A. Everyone a. except Brett. Reservation. Hey, listen. <laughs> that's because she matched. That right. was Other good. Really said, that, got that was good, audience. That was yes. very good. Squaw, squaw, now listen squaw. to this. Very good. Are you ready? Boy, that was so good, everybody. I'll tell you. Are you ready? I'm sorry. Boy, you are really a wonderful boy. Yeah. Boy, that's a good audience. He's got a better angle. He's got a much boy. better angle. Oh. He has his dress chains on for the late show, I think. It's only rubble. Now listen. Rubble wear. You know the terrible rash you get from touching poison ivy? No. no. Yeah, you know about the terrible oh, no, you get. Wait, this is the question. All that. This I is the question. I'm talking to you. This is a, you got to write something. Okay, I wrote it. Well, the answer is wait a minute. Reservation. Wait a minute. Reservation. I have a minute. The question. Yet. <laughs> well, what I love is how you keep complete control <laughs> of the situation. Harvey, this guy Harvey We're has an even worse letters. rash. He got it from blanking poison ivy. Well, <laughs> What's the whole question? Why didn't you listen? I didn't mean what I was doing. Hey, 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 hey. Is it okay? It's okay, as you said. Go ahead and hit me again, though. I don't like it. I want the girls around. We don't need anybody with cleavage. Right? What's your question? Oh, yes, uh, one more time, the question is, oh, shut up, we are ready, are your faces. I'm being very quiet. <laughs> You know the terrible rash you get from touching poison yeah. ivy? This guy Harvey has an even worse rash. He got it from blanking poison ivy. Did he do that? I told him that. These are the nighttime questions, huh? Right. Ah! Look, I'll be back in the morning. Tom, you're familiar with the terrible rash you get from uh, touching poison ivy? Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, this guy Harvey has an even worse rash. He got it from blanking poison ivy. Wearing poison ivy. Wearing poison ivy. Oh, what a, I like it. Oh, Don't put that down. I'm going to take it back over there. Tom. Okay. <laughs> Let's take good care of it. Oh, uh. What do you got? For well, him? I figured he went to the Indian restaurant and he got it from eating poison ivy. Eating poison ivy. Uh, person ivy, though. Right. Should be person ivy. Reservation. That's what confused you. A little late with reservation, oh. but a nice try. <laughs> We have reservations at Eating. the Ivy. Eating. Okay. Tom said wearing poison ivy. Mm -hmm. I said eating or kissing. Eating or kissing poison ivy. All right. I said he went to bed with poison ivy. Huh? <laughs> Remember her? <laughs> she went to my high school. She did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a song like that. <laughs> That's true. She uh, went to my high school. Stupid answer. Making, Making love, love to poison ivy. I meant in. In. Making love okay. in poison ivy. Terry, are you ready for yours? Yep. Here it is. <laughs> Listen, there's an inspirational new book 
uh, it's out. It's written by a cannibal. Oh, oh, this is another question. Yes. Oh, we haven't done our 15 minutes of shtick yet, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> so quick with another question, you're confusing us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, ten. yay! There's our 15 minutes of shtick. It's an around. inspirational new book out written by a cannibal. It's called How to Blank Your Fellow Man. <laughs> Terry, there's this inspirational new book out written by a cannibal. It's called, How to Blank Your Fellow Man. Eat. How to Eat Your Fellow Man. Okay. Well, I figured since we just had Eat, yeah. and since you had a, it was something that you were going to be a reader of because it was a book, that the answer was digest. 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 What That's different got? from Eat, huh? Right. Don't be cruel. The eating is simple. It's the digesting that's hard, <laughs> believe me. Boil. How to boil your fellow man. The, co the correct answer. All right, Charles. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Charlene. It was an inspirational book. I read it. How to cook and eat your fellow man. How to cook and eat. All right. <laughs> That's two. I know we're going to have a little IRI. We're going to have a little problem on this one, but I think I'm right. How to lick your fellow man. Is licking even... Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't ice cream cone. What do you do with an ice cream cone? What do you swallow? Right. Oh, you... <laughs> you don't... Eating is not... Licking is not eating? No, it's different. Okay. What do you do with an ice cream cone? It's... Well, that's different. I'll okay. tell you at home, then. It's... <laughs> All right, Daddy. Sing, Dennis. Sing, Dennis. Burl. 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 Okay, Burl. two to one the score, the end of round two. We go to round three, and Terry, since you're ahead, you have your choice of A or B. Um, A, please. A it is. Four people play. Bowser, Brent, mm. Bill, and Patty. Bowser, Weird Bowser, Willie has the Brent, world's Bill. strangest job. How strange is it? Yes, it! Strange. Go, baby. He's an undercover dog catcher. All day long, he stands around disguised as a blank. Strangest job. He's an undercover dog catcher. All day long, he stands around disguised as a fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. Yeah! Okay, show us your fire hydrant. This is my fire hydrant. There it is. What do you got? Moving along to get the fire hydrant. Another one for her. And you, sir? How about fire hydrant? How about fire hydrant? How about that? Five for her. And now that's another one. And All she had it too. Now, Tom, the best you could do is achieve a tie, but you can do that by matching five stars. Here we go. At the funeral, it took over an hour to close Old Man Periwinkle's coffin because Old Man Periwinkle was blank. Any time, Bowser. Remember, you're the college graduate. Oh. You're just playing the part of the dummy. Come over here and say that. Oh. After the question. Oh, Gene, it's right only an rubber. Right an answer. It's only rubber. A man at another network made that uh, five years ago for $110. At the funeral, it took over an hour to close old man Periwinkle's coffin because old man Periwinkle was... Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> All right. Oh, you said it already? He's Still alive. Just in the nick of time. Yeah, I said sitting up. Sitting up. <laughs> he has to be alive to be sitting up. I have trouble sitting up. Wait a minute. Is that a man or a That's not a man. Okay, that means oh, Terry Keller wins again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alive. Alive. Still alive. 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 Standing up. Alive, okay. alive, alive. All right, come on down, Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please. Tom, many gifts coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With us here on Magic. Tom Nail, ladies and gentlemen. I will send him off and send a message for you. Hurry back and see how much money she wins. Here we go. Okay. Terry Keller, ready? Yeah. There it is. We pulled a studio audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. Folding blank. $500 oh. for you if you match the most popular answer. 
250 for the second most popular, 100 for the third. Three of the six stars will assist you, but call on the ones with a bright look on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> How about Bowser? <laughs> Me? Yeah. yeah, I had a bright look on my face. I love you. Uh, folding chair. There's one. Charles. Charles was asleep. I took Charlie's answer, I think, yeah. What you and Brett have in the trunk of the car on the way to Encino, folding cot. <laughs> <laughs> he really reached for that one, didn't he? Okay, stick with the men. How about Bill? Oh, bye, you devil. Money. Money. Uh, a table, a table's too much like that. Folding money, table, money. folding money. up. Folding up. Folding money, folding up. Folding money. Folding money. Let's do that. Folding money. So you have folding money, folding cot, folding chair. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own. What would you like to do? Chair. Folding chair. Yeah, very good. All right, let's find out if it's up there. We'll begin by revealing the $100 response. Folding money is there. Let's see if we got a folding chair under the next one, please. Folding paper. It looks pretty good for you, my dear. Here we go with a big one. Go. Folding chair there. the least you'll play for is five thousand dollars right. but we got one more audience match for you and we'll see how much more money you can win all right here it is answer the blank oh. answer the blank all right. okay charlene please the question all right there's one patty answer the man okay. answer oh. the man all i right. don't know and Brett, please just a minute, sweetheart. Answer the door. Oh, All right. that's very good. Answer the door, answer the question, answer question. the man. Do you want one of those? Question. Yes, I'll take question. Answer the question. That was Charlene. Answer the Let's phone. Let's see if we got answer the question under the $100 response. Answer the door is there. That was one they gave you. Let's see the next one, please. Answer the phone. I think you did it again by Joe. Let's find out right now. Yes, you did. Another $500 means another $5,000. Added to the previous, it's $10,000 you're playing for, but you're going to spin the star wheel, you can double it to $20,000. Good luck and go, it must make one complete revolution. All right, Bowser gets set. Here we go. Stand right there and face this way. Thank you. And good luck to you for $10,000. Here it is. Benjamin Blank. Benjamin Blank. Oh, is that new music? All right. Now, he's uh, written his answer on the card. If you give us the same answer, you get $10,000. What do you say? Franklin. You say Franklin. Yeah. Bowser? He says, Benjamin Franklin will match it for the $10,000. All right. Terry Keller has $11,000 all together. All right. Now, here's a little message for you. Okay, we got it. Yeah. Listen, she could have said Benjamin Moore. She could have said Benjamin Harrison, but Benjamin she didn't. Schwartz. She said Benjamin, 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 Benjamin Franklin. Britain. She's got $11,000, and we'll see you next week on Next Game PM. Goodbye. Some contestants...
spray available in regular and extra hold in Wellaflex conditioning setting lotion. The setting lotion that conditions as you set. And a portable radio on Popeye's fun delicious a terrific freeze at home. Three 12 bars and assorted flavors. Treat your youngsters with refreshing Popeye's. And a t-shirt and armor all protectant slows aging and vinyl rubber wood plastic leather. Protect things worth keeping with armor all protectants. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Topman production. Get ready to match the stars. Dick Smothers. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. From Hee Haw, Minnie Pearl. From Family Feud, Richard Dawson. And Fanny Fly. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now, here's the star of Match Game PM, Gene Rabbit. Not too much, we'll ask for more money. You're beautiful, and we have beautiful people up here on this stage. Just say howdy to all. Howdy! Thank you very much. <laughs> In 20 seconds, the room will be filled with hogs. <laughs> now, what do you say we say hello to our two players here, Buck Rogers and Chris Blood? Now, wait a minute. <laughs> You're not Buck Rogers. Well, not the original one. Not the original one. It's my granddad. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you rascal. Chris, tell us where you're from. Well, I'm presently living in Southern California, Fullerton, but my husband's job takes us to various different states, Flint, Michigan, Denver, Colorado, St. Francis, Kansas. Actually, not St. Francis, Kansas. That's just where a lot of my relatives are from. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. How to get that in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck to you, Chris. Thanks. Buck Rogers, when did you change your name? About four years ago, it got tagged on to me and stuck. Really? Yeah, that does, it doesn't say that on your birth certificate, does it? It says uh, R.L. R.L. Rogers, Buck Rogers. What do you do, Buck? I'm a freelance writer from Washington, D.C. Yeah. Uh, in the interest of uh, fuel conservation, I rode a motorcycle out here, spending my summer with my brother Chet up in the mountains doing a little bit of ranching. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yes, indeed. Well, you're quite an enterprising guy there. Good luck to you, too, sir. Thank you. I point out to both of you here that on Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of those as you possibly can. Now, the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner, and will go on to play that big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. Chris, you may have a choice there of round one, A or B. B for blood. B for blood. Chris, blood. All right, here we go. Nellie said, my husband, the baseball player, thinks love is like a baseball game. <laughs> when we went on our honeymoon, he brought along a blank. <laughs> oh, there's some good ones for here. You're a beautiful bunch. Charles, ready? Okay, Chris. Nellie said my husband, the baseball player, thinks love is like a baseball game. When we went on our honeymoon, he brought along a blank. Um, catcher's mitt. Catcher's mitt. I don't think they wanted you to say that, Chris. 
Maybe what they wanted you to say will be heard here by one of our celebrities. Of course, a baseball bat. A bat. That's one possibility, correct? I don't know anything about baseball at all. The only thing I do know about it is that they have goal posts. No. No, no. that's football, see. Oh. Football has a goal post. Baseball has the diamond, you see. Oh, they, and a hockey and the bases. Puck. No, the bases, right. Oh, bat. Oh, all right. All that for a wrong answer? <laughs> Chuck. Yo. Bat. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. He knows well, all about baseball. Chris, you got three bats up there so far. Now we come to Minnie Pearl. Three bats. You just got one bats bat. Bats, two. Two. Four bats, right? Why do we ever got? Richard, what do you have here for us? Well, remembering my honeymoon, he brought along a relief pitcher. Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I might add, we went to extra innings. Oh, you did? <laughs> Game called on account of darkness. <laughs> I'm dawn or whatever. I think, you see, the audience is telling you now what kind of answer they would have liked to have heard from you. Yes. Now, uh, you know what she's yes. looking for, a catcher's man. I understand. Recalling Brett's honeymoon, he brought along a whole team. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, Buck. This one is your first round question. Charlene's fortune cookie read, Woo. You will meet a man who will set your heart on fire. Oh. Unfortunately, he will also set your blank on fire. <laughs> yeah, sure, Han. Sure. Okay. All right, Buck, you ready? Charlene's fortune cookie read, You will meet a man who will set your heart on fire. Unfortunately, he will also set your blank on fire. House. House? I might have a chance. You might have a chance, is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dick's mothers. Well, I said he would also set her clothes on fire. Clothes is one good answer. Close is not bad, Brett. I said that he would set her pocketbook on fire. Another good possibility? Pocketbook, right. <laughs> Chuck? I thought of house, but then I wrote it down, too. So. Oh, you did, right. House it is. That's what he's looking for. <laughs> Minnie? I said dress. Dress is a good answer. Here's a me. You'll meet a man who will set your heart on fire. Unfortunately, he will also set your... I said dress. Dress on fire. It's a good response. Now, the bad news, Buck. <laughs> no, bad I'm only kidding. news. No. Yeah, I went to a Chinese restaurant here in town. Yeah. And I don't want to say the food was old, but my fortune cookie said best to you in 62. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought, <laughs> Buck, I thought uh, he'd set her hair on. Hair is another good answer. Dress, clothes, hair, and all that, they were good. So there we are at the end of round one. Buck, you're ahead. One to nothing. Round two coming up after this for you. Now we will press on here. Go to round two. Buck, you're ahead. So this time I'll ask you to make your selection first. B. B. All right. Here we go. Everyone except Charles will play. 102-year-old Mr. Periwinkle said... Oh. <laughs> Oh, young lady, here's the home. We just had a wedding. They named me best man because I'm the only man here who can still blank. <laughs> you understand, little girl? You're writing home for money, are you, honey? Trying to. I see. Okay, Buck, 102-year-old Mr. Periwinkle said... Here at the home, we just had a wedding. They named me best man because I'm the only man here who can still... Walk. Walk. Okay. He said walk. Uh, I said stand up. Stand up without help. Okay. Unattended. They like that one. They would stand up. Stand up. What do you say? I say I don't. Please. You don't play. <laughs> well, I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> Old Miss Perwinkle said, name me best man because I'm the only man here who can still... Climb a hill without changing gears. 
Now, Buck, and Joe looks so envious. You, I'm surprised you didn't think of that. Yeah. How come you didn't think of that nifty answer? What do you think of, Richard? I said he was the best man because he's the only one who could remember how to make love. Make love, yeah! I'm the only man here who can still make love. Right, Fanny? I don't know the gentleman. You don't? No. Would you like to meet him? I would like to meet him, I must say. That many is a pearl, isn't she? Yeah. I said, unfortunately, stand up. So. Stand up. Yeah. So there we are. Now let's see how Chris does with her second round question, which reads as follows. Officer O'Hara said, I have just devised a drunk driving test that nobody can pass. Instead of touching your nose with your finger, I ask you to touch your nose with your blank. <laughs> All right, Chris. Officer O'Hara said, I've just devised a drunk driving test that nobody can pass. Instead of touching your nose with your finger, I ask you to touch your nose with your blank. A foot. Foot. No, no. Foot. She said foot. There's still hope for you, Buck. <laughs> hope for everyone but me. I'm in the middle here. What do you say? I may just not be so limber, but I'd say elbow. I elbow is a good, impossible thing to do in a drunk driving test. It can't oh. be done. <laughs> I said with your Oh, tongue. with your tongue. That's a good one. Oh, I like that. They didn't like the answer. They liked the reading. Right. <laughs> I said toe. Toe. No, it's got to be a little more specific than that, Chris. They didn't match that one. Minnie, instead of Angela touching your nose with your finger, finger with your nose, I ask you to touch your nose with your... Toes. Toes to toes. Toes to nose, rather. Richard, looking for a foot. Yeah, that's what I thought. The toes were a part of your foot. Part of the foot, right. All right. I, th I said elbow. Sorry. Elbow would be the most impossible one. Well, Buck, you're still ahead here. It's one amazing. to nothing. Real tough game, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to ask you to go first. Do you want A or B? Neither one's brought me much luck so far. <laughs> How about the one in the middle there? I'll try B again. B again. All right, here it is. Everyone except Chuck again. Dumb Dora, so dumb. How dumb is she? Very good. You're hired. Dumb Dora so dumb when she got a job as a strip miner, she showed up wearing blank. <laughs> okay, Buck. Dumb Dora so dumb when she got a job as a strip miner, she showed up wearing blank. Nothing. Nothing. And she wore nothing but a smile. Nothing but a smile. One for you, Buck. We're up to two now. Brett? Well, I didn't go quite that far. I said she showed up wearing pasties and a G strip. That's what they wear. Minnie Pearl, you know what them is, don't you? Pasties and G-strings. Yeah. I know you're a country and western and all that, but you must have heard of those things, haven't you? Listen, I am so modest, I didn't even go swimming last summer because I had a hole in my elbow in my bathing suit. <laughs> G-string. G-string. We're looking for nothing. Well, nothing a blank. from nothing is nothing. There it is. Three for him. The strip miner. She showed up wearing... Well, I know that, and I was trying to be practical. It seems to me that she came up and she just had a helmet. <laughs> just a helmet. That's very erotic, That's very you good, know. yes. Get I imagine it, it would distract the other miners a little bit, but tough. <laughs> now, here's, here's the score. Three to nothing. Chris, you must match three to tie. However, if you match four celebrities, you will win. Not an impossible situation, but you got to go to work. Listen carefully now. Ugly Edna said, Other girls have all the luck. They get picked up by handsome men. Me, I stood out in front of my house and I got picked up by the blank. I 
I'll tell you, my poor, heart breaks. My poor, ugly yeah. Yeah. I wonder if she'll ever get a life. <laughs> yes, dear. All right, he's just about set. I'll read it while he's finishing up. Ugly Edna said, other girls have all the luck. They get picked up by handsome men. Me, I stood out in front of my house, and I got picked up by the blank. The fuzz. I give, I give, I give. <laughs> all right, she said, the policeman there. What do you say? I'm sorry, I said the garbage man. Garbage man. Brett? You see, they don't have it together. They don't understand. She was standing out there, and she was so ugly right. that they thought she should be put away. She was picked up by the fuzz, you idiot. Five. Three to one to score. Let's see what happens here. She was picked up by the law. The law. Well, you're gaining on them, Chris. That's it's so three to two. Okay, Minnie, it's up to you. Police. Police. I must say you are a fickle bunch. You booed that answer. And now, now the score is tied. Richard, if you say the fuzz or the police or the law or any of that, she wins the game. Garbage. Garbage. Now, Fanny, it's all up to you. Sorry, garbage. Garbage. All right, we've got a tie score here, and we'll tell you what happens when we get a tie right after we tell you about this. Here we go now. Now, we don't have time to play our regular tiebreaker, so we'll play Sudden Death. Now, here's the way it goes. The first one even to score a match will be the winner. We have one tie-breaking question for both of you. You'll be playing with our three regulars, Brett, Charles, and Richard. And for this, you, the two of you, that is, will write your answers, and the celebrities will not write. You will give us verbal responses. Ready? All right, here we go. Blank Leaf. L-E-A-F Put it in there facing you so that you can read it, yes All right Now we'll call on our regulars one at a time All right Are you ready? Uh, 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 Blank leaf uh, uh, Fig leaf Fig leaf, have we got a winner there? <laughs> no, we don't Charles, what do you say? Maple Have we got a winner there? <laughs> no maple leaf <laughs> Blank Leaf, L E A F. Green leaf. Green leaf, we've got a winner! I'll be with you in a moment. I'm going to shake his hand there. Thank you for being with us. Buck Rogers, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Gold leaf. He had gold leaf on the time. Just for your information, Buck Rogers, I saw I had gold leaf uh, on his card. And uh, Chris, of course, won it with green leaf. Now, time for this big money super match. Chris, where you can pay off, which uh, can pay off over $10,000 to you. Now, to do that, we have two audience matches for you. And whatever you win here in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. And that'll be the final dollar figure you'll be playing for. Here we go. We polled a studio audience not too long ago. And we said, write down your best answer to this. Village blank. Now, Chris, if you match the answer they gave us most frequently, you get $500. You get $250 for matching the answer they gave us second most popular answer. And then $100 for their third most popular answer. Three of the six celebrities can help. Richard. Part I'm up for, the village idiot. The village idiot. Where the people used to take Brett every Saturday night in her little town in Maine. The Village Green. The Village Green. <laughs> Brett. Uh, I have two. Uh, there's uh, the uh, vill I wonder if people know. Uh, the Village Voice. Village Voice is a newspaper in New York. Okay, Village Voice, Village Green, and Village Idiot are the three, Chris. It is your option now to choose one of those or reject them all and give us one of your own. What is your pleasure? I usually go along with Richard. <laughs> you want to go along with him? All right, we want Village Idiot. Let's go over there and find out if it's up there. May we see the $100 response? Village Blacksmith. No, I'm sorry. We don't want the Blacksmith. We want the Village Idiot. May we see the $250 response? Village Square. Well, he was kind of square, wasn't voice. he? 
All right, last chance for the village idiot. May we see it? Yeah. Yeah. One thousand dollars, which means that the lease could be claimed for ten times that amount, or five thousand dollars. And now we're going to see how much more you can win with your second audience match. All right, slide it, please. Over my blank. All right. Call them out here, one at a time. Uh, uh, no, just turn around here and face the celebrities and okay. name a celebrity. Oh, Richard. Dead body. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Charles. Charles? Over my right shoulder. Over my shoulder, which is that beautiful song. Right, over my shoulder. <laughs> um, Fanny. Um, over my head. Over my head. So there are the three. Over my head, over my dead body, and over my shoulder. Do you want one of those? Yes. Which one? Um, <laughs> yeah. body. Over my dead body. All right, here we go. May we see the $100 response? Over oh, my shoulder. Oh, oh. 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 We're looking over my dead body, maybe see the $250 response. Over my head, well, you got two of the three so far. That's a good omen. May we see the big one, please? Yeah! Another $500 multiplied by 10 gives you 5,000 added to the previous thousand. You're shooting for a pot of $10,000. And we'll give you that money and you'll match one celebrity. Good old Richard. Good old Richard, here we go. Good luck to you, Chris. Stand on that blue dot there and face me, and here it is. Get your ESP flowing over to him, and this is it. Veal blank. That's V-E-A-L. Veal blank. Now, Chris, he's finished. You give us an answer that matches his. We give you the money. It's as simple as that. What do you say to that? Veal? Cutlets. Veal cutlets. All right. Has to be an exact match here. For the $10,000, Richard, she says, veal cutlets. Uh, what do you say? Parmesan. Parmesan? Parmesan. You make them out of cutlets. <laughs> This lady's very happy because she just won $11,000. We'll give away more money next week on Match Game PM. I'm Gene Rayburn. Goodbye. Speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. Get ready to match the stars, Nipsey Russell, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Susan Sullivan, from Family Feud, Richard Dawson, and from the Bob Newhart Show, Marsha Wallace, as we play the star-studded Big Buddy Match Game, the end. And now, here's the star of Match Game, the end. Thank you, friends, for joining us here. We're going to have a grand time because we have a bunch of grand people here. Indeed Aren't they grand? And now I ask you. Yes, they are a grand bunch. Good thing to be so grand. Let's say hello to our two players here, Chief Harold Wilson, Jr. and Judy Hamilton. We'd like to find out a little bit about each of you before we begin. Judy, anything you care to contribute will be deeply appreciated. Thank you. I'm the mother of three, the grandmother of one, which I'm trying to teach to call me sister. <laughs> I like Good to idea. snow ski, play yeah. tennis, and I'm a real estate salesperson. 
Nice to have you with nice us. Nice being here. And good luck to you, Judy. Thank you. Now, Chief, what about you? I have a wife and three sons. And um, I don't quit now. Don't quit now? No. Okay. Gene? Now, wait a minute. May I just see what this is? I've never seen these before. Okay. They're beautiful. Now, what, what does that depict? Those are dolphins. That, that's, uh, that's a symbol of qualification in submarines. Oh, yes. You're and a sonar fellow. A uh, sonarman, that's What's right. What's the deepest sonar. you've ever been under the ocean? Well, in excess of 400 feet. That's a military secret. How Absolutely. How far beyond 400 you've gone. Now here, on Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of the beautiful people as you possibly can. The one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. We'll go on to play that big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. Here we go. Now, Judy, will begin with you and ask you to choose A or B. B, please. B it is. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Now, you've all seen the Thanksgiving Day Parade, have you? We have, oh, sure. indeed. You've seen it. You have those big 50-foot high balloons of fairy tale characters. You mm -hmm. remember seeing all that? Well, this year, the TV commentators said, Here comes the Snow White balloon, and I can hardly believe it. Snow White is blank. <laughs> Snow White is what? Snow White is blank. Good gravy, Marie. Right. Now we'll come over here to Judy Hamilton. Now you've seen the Thanksgiving Day Parade, haven't you? They have those certainly. Big Who has balloons of all the fairy tale characters? This year, the TV commentators said, "Here comes the Snow White balloon, and I can hardly believe it. Snow White is blank, naked. Naked. <laughs> What's wrong with that?" That's not a bad answer, is it? No, I would expect it to be naked, but you see, the parade comes up Lenox Avenue. Yes. In Harlem. Yes. I can hardly believe it, but Snow White is black. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one black Snow White. Now, you see, Nipsey got it wrong. Why? They went to black because Snow White was naked. Uh huh. Naked! naked. <laughs> That gives Judy one. Charles? Actually, it's Black Butt, played by Diana Ross, so we get a good movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we have two black Snow Whites and one naked Snow White. Susan, show oh. us your Snow White. Oh, okay. For our grandmother. Oh, God love you. Hey, oh. naked. Oh. Oh, hey. I can hardly believe it. Snow White is... All right, so you got three of those so far. I could hardly believe it myself. Black. Black. Okay. And beautiful. And beautiful. Two for Judy, <laughs> and now, Chief, we've got this for you. It says, the lady said to the bald man, mm. she said, I don't care if you are, Alan Funt, get your candid camera out of my blank. <laughs> <laughs> You are, Alan. Get your camera out of my blank. Get your candid camera out of my blank. Put your thinking cap on now. And just look over there. And give us an idea of what you think they might say. The lady said to the ball man, I don't care if you are, Alan Funt. Get your candid camera out of my blank. Bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Okay, Nipsey, you're up. I keyed in on the word bald head, man. Get your candid camera out of my bra. Oh. <laughs> well, Alan Funt is bald, isn't he? Yes, he As is. a cue ball. Right. Now, I can't stand it. I have to know, what is the difference between a chief petty and, a, and a, just a plain chief? Chief Harold Wilson? Yes, sir. Is that, oh. He's one better See, that's than a the, difference. I'm what's, a lieutenant. What's the difference between what? Yeah, a chief, like, chief, like if you were chief petty, Harold, or... Chief. Well, there's a chief petty officer, and there. Uh, well, there's, well, there's, the there's petty line. officers, and there's chief petty officers, and there's officers, and the chief petty officer is about as good as you can get. Is that you? <laughs> is that what you are? That's what I said, Mister Right. Are you going to show us your answer? Tell Richard to stop rolling his eyes at me. <laughs> I said it doesn't match cleavage. <laughs> I don't care if you are, Alan Fun, get your candid camera out of my cleavage. That's the place between. Yes, I understand. 
The place between the... Yes? Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could take you-know-who for a ride on the submarine and then... <laughs> you know what I mean? Fire one! <laughs> John! John! What? Wait, wait. Wait, wait, there's more? It was in the shower head. Okay. All right, Susan, we come to you. I don't care if you're Ireland fun. Get your candid camera out of my... Toilet. Toilet. Okay, two to two, scores time. Do you untie the score? Any friend of Flipper's is a friend of mine. Right. There it is, three to two. Yes, ma'am? My goodness. Could have sent two kids to college in the time it took to get to the sixth seat. <laughs> but it was quite a bit of human interest, Brett. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I still didn't understand his answer. Bathroom. Okay. So there we are, four to two the score in favor of the chief, and now we've got this for you. Here it is, the home version of the match game. Each of you and all of our other contestants will receive one by airmail. Okay. Now, here we go <laughs> to round two. Let's see, chief, you're ahead, so we'll ask you to go first. A. A. Gotcha. Paul said. I'm not sure I like going out with Wanda the Witch. <clears throat> On our first date, she turned my blank to stone. <laughs> Let's see, you play and you play. And that is it. <laughs> I look quite Jen. Susan Sullivan is uh, seen on ABC in a, sh a wonderful show called Having Babies. Yes. Is that it? Right. right. I don't have them, I deliver them. <laughs> you deliver them? Yes. Oh. Come over here to the chief. Let's see what you can do with these two. All right, he's finishing up. Paul said, I'm not sure I like going out with Wanda the Witch. On our first date, she turned my blank to stone. <laughs> she turned my... <laughs> Lips. No. Lips. Lips. She I... turned my nose. No. <laughs> Good response, Brett. He talked an awful lot. I said she turned his tongue to tongue. stone. Tongue. Well, Chief, you oh, didn't sorry. score there. Let's see what Judy does with her second round question. Now, there are four Stop people. Your eyes okay. Nipsey, Charles, <laughs> Richard, and Marsha will play. The preacher said, the, preacher. the groom in that last ceremony really robbed the cradle. At the end of the ceremony, he didn't kiss the bride, he blanked her. <laughs> now, you understand about these things since you've I, already I admitted that you're do, a grandma. Yes. The preacher said, the groom in that last ceremony really robbed the cradle. At the end of the ceremony, he didn't kiss the bride, he blanked her. He burped her. Burped her. Yeah. Okay, Nipsey, what do you say there? Yeah, the bride was so young, her breath smelled like pablum. <laughs> burp! Burp! Okay, Judy, you're up to three. Chuck, what do you got there? Oh, burped. A burping. Four to four, the score is tied. Now, Richard, we come to you. El Burpo. El Burpo. <laughs> Judy's up to five. <laughs> yes, Ms. Marsha, honey. Ms. Marsha? Yes. Burp. Burpin. <laughs> oh, look at that. She's got them all. Now, Chief, she's matched all six of our celebrities, and that means you've got to do a little catching up. The best you can do is achieve a tie, and you'll have a choice here of A or B. Let's go with B. B. A and A. All right. All right. <clears throat> Nipsey and Brett again. Si, si, senor. Old Lady Purvis said... Old Lady Purvis. Well, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> At the old folks' Olympics, Mr. Periwinkle ran in the race for 101-year-olds. Oh, well. But he was disqualified because by the time he crossed the finish line, he was blank. <laughs> disqualified because he yeah. Mr. Periwinkle ran in the race for one for 101 year olds, but he was disqualified because by the time he crossed the finish line, finished, he was. I'm finished. You don't have to go okay. through it. I'm finished. Old Lady Purvis said at the Old Folks Olympics, Mr. Periwinkle ran in the race for one for 101 year olds, but mm -hmm. he was disqualified because by the time he crossed the finish line, he was. dead. Yeah. <clears throat> 
All right. Now you got to match them both to achieve a tie and stay in the game. Uh -huh. Let's see if we get a couple of cadavers out of these two. Nipsey? Well, when it said finish line, he yes. was actually finished. That is it. Six to five to score. Now. Here comes. You've heard of the proverbial doorknob, or is it nail? Dade. Dade. All right. Guys, All right. All right. So here we are with a tie, and we'll tell you what happens when we get a tie right after you hear about this. Now, here's what happens when we have a tie. First, we have to wipe the slate clean and get rid of all of those numbers and push the button here, reveal one tie-breaking question for each, and the one who matches the most celebrities will be the winner. And Judy will ask you to go first. You may have A or B. I've got to go with B. B again. All right. Tiny Tom Thumb said, I have a pet flea, and today's his birthday. So I bought him a blank. <laughs> I'll give it to you one more time. Tiny Thumb said, Tom, Tiny Tom Thumb said, I have a pet flea, and today's his birthday, so I bought him a... Dog. A dog. That's a good answer. She said Nothing she... Saw Touches the heart as a flea and his dog. A flea and his dog. There's one for her. What do you got for us there, Brett? Remember that old song? Look at that little doggy in the window. Okay. That's two for her. Charles? Another dog. All right. Three dogs up there. Today's my dog's birthday, so today's my flea's birthday, so I bought him a dog, according to her. What according to you? Well, according to me, a flea collar. A flea collar. <laughs> You yeah, bought a flea, a flea collar. Well, not okay. only his birthday, but his death day. Yeah. <laughs> Very bizarre way to treat a pet. <laughs> El Doggo. Dog. Four for Judy. Now, Marsha, my dear. Gene, I, first of all, I'd like to say that I think it's just disgraceful the way you treated Susan about her answer, which I thought was extremely correct and very astute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Judy, you picked up four, and now let's see what Chief yes. uh, does here. Chief, four for another tie, five to win. The marriage counselor said to Fred, Fred, when I told you to bury the hatchet, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to bury it in your wife's blank. The marriage counselor said to Fred, Fred, when I told you to bury the hatchet, I didn't mean to bury it in your wife's... Head. Head. All right. Come on. He said, head. Uh, Chief Harold Wilson is with our Navy, isn't he? Yes, he is. I see. Yes. Head. <laughs> head it is. <laughs> he is not the enemy. What do you got to say? I say you've got to work real hard to get ahead. Right. All right. <laughs> yes. Or be pretty like me. Oh, of oh, course. Another yeah. one, all right. Love you, Gardenia. <laughs> all right, Susan Sullivan. He says, I didn't mean to bury it in your wife's... Head. Head. Yeah. Oh. At this moment, we have a tie score. One more head will win the game for the Chiefs. the guy's name? Uh, Fred. You remember Fred? Yeah, he sort of lost his head, I guess, and so did his wife. He did. He did. Oh, he did. Chief wins the game. What's that, Marcia? In net. Okay. Congratulations to you, sir. There you go. Hang around there for a minute or so. Judy, it was a pleasure to meet a beautiful grandmother show. like you. Thank you. Thank you. Some gifts coming your way. Judy Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. Now, Chief, here it is all for you. Absolutely. Are you, are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm as ready as Freddie. Let's go. Listen here. 
<laughs> Freddie was in the last question. We're going to give you this big money super match now. You can win over $10,000 here. And to do that, we're going to have two audience matches for you. And I want to point out, whatever you win in this audience match here, you'll multiply by 10, and that'll be the final dollar figure you'll be playing for. Not too long ago, we polled a studio audience in this very room, and we said, you write down your best answer to this. Blank duster. Blank duster. If you match the answer they gave us most frequently, you get $500. Then for matching the second most popular answer, $250. And then for matching the third, $100. And three of the six beautiful people will help you. I think I'd like to call on Richard first. Something I use in bondage, a feather duster. <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh, you rascal. All right. Nipsey. Something we used to use down on the farm, a crop duster. Yeah. Crop duster. And Susan. Mop duster. Mop duster. Choose one of those or give us one of your own. What is your pleasure? Mop duster, feather duster, crop duster. Gene, I'm going to stay with down home and go with crop duster. Oh. Crop duster. Where are you from again? I, I'm from that. My roots is in Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, they use crop dusters down there. Absolutely. Don't they? All right. We want a crop duster. Let's find out if we've got one up there. May we see the $100 response? Plymouth duster. Ah. That is the name of an automobile. Oh, oh yay. Yes. A Plymouth duster. Wow. All right. Let's see if we get a crop duster out of the $250 number. Yes, we do. Congratulations. Good. All right. Now, just for the heck of it, let's see what's up on top. Feather. All right. Now, you got $250, and that means the least you will be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $2,500. So, uh, you're not wiped out completely here. Let's see how much more you'll win with your second audience match. Go. Blank Goodman. Blank Goodman. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, Richard. Dodie. Dodie Goodman. Ah, yeah. Uh, Nipsey. The old clarinet maestro, Benny Goodman. Benny Goodman. <laughs> Charles. The great former governor of New York, Ed Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Big Ed Goodman, that's it. Big Ed Goodman. <laughs> Go ahead, prove I'm wrong. Okay. 1931 to three. <laughs> now take that. It's a winner. No, it was Governor Lehman in those years. Anyway. So, Lee Goodman. So you have Dodson. Governor Goodman, Benny Goodman, and Dodie Goodman. What is your choice here? I always love Benny Goodman. I'm going with him. I did too. All right. All right, let's see if we got a Benny Goodman up there. Let's go down at the bottom and reveal the one hundred dollar response. Mark Goodman. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong name. Rather Mark Goodman. Now that's, you see, now, I must say, it's a common mistake people make because our leader's name is Goodson and people and sometimes, uh, yes indeed, and sometimes people confuse it with Goodman and they said Mark Goodman because he is a well-known figure. Anyway, we are looking for Benny Goodman. May we see the next one, please? Dodie Goodman is Richard's answer. That's up there. I think that's a good omen for you, pal. I hope so. May we see the big one? Come on. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Don't come over here! No kissing. Listen, you've won another $500. Multiply that by 10 makes 5,000. Added to the previous 2,500 you won, you've got a pot of $7,500 to shoot for. And we want to give you the money, but you've got to match one of our celebrities before we do. Richard. Okay, here we go. Oh, Stand on the dot the there huh? and face me if you please. Left face. Uh, I mean right face. <laughs> Good luck to you. Here we go. Right. Blunt. Blank. B L U N T blank. Blunt blank. Now, Chief, give us the answer that Richard has written on that card. We give you seven thousand five hundred dollars. Blunt. Remark. Oh. No. 
I know what I was going to say now. <laughs> you change your mind. Yeah, it's too, too late. late. It's See, too late we, we've got to use the first answer you came out with, which is blunt remark. But you say instrument is what you wanted yeah. really to say, but all yeah, right. That's what I Richard, blunt say. remark is his answer. He says that'll match you for the 7,500. Instrument. Instrument. Yeah. 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 But, you said it a little too fast, but listen, it yeah. wasn't a total loss, Chief. You got seven hundred and fifty dollars. Hey. Good luck to you. Hey, thank thank you. you very much. Now we've got this for you. Rayburn here. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Woodson, Bill Trotman production. Isabel Sanford, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star-studded Big Bunny match game, PM. And now here's the star of match game, PM, Gene Roberts. We're happy to see you and always happy to see our regulars, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Richard Dawson, and Miss Betty White, honey. Well, she's not here every time, but we just get her as often just as we can. It seems like it. Can we hear it from our suit? <laughs> this gifted young composer has won three Academy Awards and has got the biggest hit on Broadway now in a chorus line. Uh, Marvin Hamlet. And... You can't, don't try and get a ticket. And this lady comes to us from the Jeffersons. We're delighted to see her here, Isabel. Thank you. So, if you're all set, we're all set. Let's say hello to our two players here, John Cluett and Lael Mueller. Yeah. Now we're going to try and find out a little bit about each of you, and uh, Lael will begin with you. Okay, I'm from California, Los Angeles. Uh, I'm an ex-stewardess married to an airline pilot. Uh, I have a little two-year-old boy, and we just moved to Las Vegas a few and months ago. I see. All right. Well, I hope you're very happy we there. We are. Good. All right, Leo, we wish you the best of luck. John, please tell us your life story. Oh, I'm a native Californian, married, and I have three daughters, Terry, Tracy, and Tammy. Okay. Good luck to both of you. May I remind each of you that you'll be trying to match as many of our celebrities as you can. And the winner goes on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. Okay, Leo. We'll ask you to make the selection. Do you want A or B here? B, please. B it is. Here we go. We're off and running. The nurse said to the psychiatrist, she said, Doctor, why does that patient have a mouthful of change? And the psychiatrist said, because he thinks he's a blank. <laughs> Did you hear all that, Leo? Nurse to psychiatrist. Why does that patient have a mouthful of change? Psychiatrist to nurse, because he thinks he's a blank. I got it. All right, that's very good. Good question. Have you, that's a good yes. Question. Have you read Isabel's chest? No. Oh, listen, while we're waiting for the rest of them, well, we'll check your chest. Well, let's check <laughs> Let's uh, check Isabel Sanford's <laughs> chest right now, uh, because my curiosity is aroused. The show and tell. Well, what's that say? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. That's Swahili for spirit of giving, and I bet it's a club. Well, well you certainly have been given, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, Isabel. Brett has one like that, but it's the Dead Sea Scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Betty! 
<laughs> That's why you asked me to check her. All right. Lael, are you uh, ready for this? Here? I think so. The nurse said to the psychiatrist, Doctor, why does that patient have a mouthful of change? And the psychiatrist said, because he thinks he's a... Parking meter. Parking meter is good. Yeah. First ones are tough. She came up with one of the good answers. Marvin? I thought with change and everything, I thought a purse. Purse is another good one. Yes. Brett? What did she say? She said parking meter. Do you know for a minute I thought Isabel was Fanny Flagg, but I realized she wasn't. <laughs> I said parking meter. Parking meter. Very good. That's one for Leo. Charles. I said payphone. I'm sorry. Payphone is good. Don't be sorry. Don't apologize, because that's one of the good well, choices. I'd like to help the chick I out. I know you do. You're okay. <laughs> All right, Isabel Sanford, what do you say? How is this, Mita? How's that? Oh, yeah. Can't do it? Yeah, you know. Well, now, hold everything. What did you mean? Hold everything. I meant a parking meter, but I just... It could be a gas meter. You meant a parking meter? Yeah. It could be a gas meter. I don't know. No, you don't put money in a gas meter. What other kind of meter do you put money? No, you do. Oh, you do? Yeah. What did you mean? Okay. I meant... Parking meter. Now, wait a minute. Has she ever lied to you before? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, but, uh, you know, I just got the word from the judge, and I'm sorry we can't do it. Richard, what do you say? Uh, my darling, Leo, where are you going to live, or where have you moved to? Las Vegas. Oh. Yeah, I said slot machine. Uh, yeah. Slot machine. Yeah. Slot machine is very good, and you said... I'm sure that, uh, was that was what machine. she was going to say. Well, all right, you picked up one there. Let's see how John does with his first rounder. Okay. Hey, I got a letter to dear Abby. Would you like to hear it? Oh, Say yeah. yes. Oh, you want the question for you? Oh, all right. Dear Abby, how can I tell when the honeymoon is over? I can tell. Signed. <laughs> Don't interrupt, Abby. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> Signed, newlywed. A dear newlywed, the honeymoon is over when your husband comes to bed with a blank. <laughs> That's... And the honeymoon is over. Okay. The honeymoon is it's over when your, your husband, husband comes, comes to, to bed, bed with, with a blank. <laughs> you changed your mind, did you? That's all right. Okay. You finished, and your hands are folded nice, and you're suddenly... Now, these names out there... Esther Roll and my... Is actresses, oh. consist of oh. actresses. Oh, yes. Oh. And now, is it all hand signs? Yeah, I won't sing. No. Really? Well, allow me. Be well, no, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Anything no. for a good cause. No. <laughs> Kwanzaa. You punch in Spirit mouth. Of goodwill, yes, Kwanzaa, I say, no, right? but I punch you in oh, mouth. Are you sign it. No, no, get away from there. <laughs> face me. Just face me at all time. No, you can't sign the back either. <laughs> Brett, are you... Uh, uh, what, dear? Are you finished? Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. I for, You know what? I did a little time lapse there. Oh, I've got... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, it's here. Uh, <laughs> I can't... You know I can't do two things at the same time. She's oh. failing fast. <laughs> She may not last for the whole show. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, go ahead. All right, Time John. Time to get over there, I'll be with you. All right, John, here it is. Letter to Dear Abby. Dear Abby, how can I tell when the honeymoon is over? Signed, newlywed. Dear newlywed, the honeymoon is over when your husband comes to bed with a blank. Mm. Teddy bear. A teddy bear? <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. It's been a long time since I've seen a teddy bear. <laughs> Haven't seen a teddy bear in a long time, have you? All right, Marvin, he said Teddy Bear. What do you think of that? He said Teddy Bear. He said Teddy Bear. There was a song called Teddy Bear. Never there was, yes, yeah. indeed. How'd it go? I don't want to tell you how no, it went. Don't oh, tell no, no, please. I said, comes to bed with a good book. With a good book? Yes. All right. That's uh, one choice. Don't boo that. That's one of the good choices, Brett. It is? Yeah. I like my answer. I said, with the nice girl who lives across the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a little better than his. Uh, Charles? I said a headache. <laughs> how can I tell when the honeymoon is over? I'll tell you how you can tell when the honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over when your husband comes to bed with a... And John said teddy bear. And I said coat. Comes with a coat? With a coat. Oh, oh, Isabel, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, so I'm, I'm the loud one. I'm just going to have to rip off your symbol of friendship. <laughs> 
All right, Richard, Was how do you... Coat, yeah. Well, that's when the honeymoon is over. Really? Really? See, I love that. <laughs> when they come to bed in a coat. It just, <laughs> just drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say, put the coat on again. <laughs> right, stop, stop that. <laughs> that and a big plastic baggie. Yes, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the King family dressed in plastic baggies. Oh, and that is oh enough something. of the good times. What's the question? <laughs> uh, dear newlywed, the honeymoon is over when your husband comes to bed with a teddy bear, according to John. Yeah, well, I would say girlfriend. A girlfriend, yeah. yeah. You can always win back from a teddy bear. That's right. It's hard That's to it. get away from a girl. Now... Honey, you tell us when the honeymoon is over. Well, see, it, it's so confusing, married to Alan, because he, he always, you know, a good book, he was always on the honeymoon. That was, and the, that, that's what gave him the headache, and the only thing that made him feel better was his teddy bear. I said the honeymoon was over when he started bringing a friend to bed. That a was friend. Just, just, okay, that's it. So at the end of round one, one to nothing favor of Lael Mueller, and round two is coming up, but first, this is coming up. Pay attention now. So... Push the button. Round two coming up. Final round here. Now, let's see. Uh, you went first last time. You're ahead, rather. So, John, will ask you to go first this time. A or B, please. I oh, Leo goes first because she's in the lead. That's right. Oh, sorry, I got it all mixed up there. What do you say? B again, please. B again. B again. B again. All the Eskimo men stay away from Nanukla because she has the coldest blank in Alaska. <laughs> Playing. I have You're not playing. playing. You're the only one because she I matched you in the first I round. I was so smart. All before. the Eskimo men stay away from the new club because she has the coldest blank well. in Alaska. I have a wonderful answer in anyway. Right. Wouldn't that be terrific? <laughs> all right. We're all set here for Lael Mueller. Lael? Yeah. All the Eskimo men stay away from the new club because she has the coldest blank in Alaska. Nose. Nose. That's how they kiss, isn't it? Yeah. They rub noses. Yeah. And just go. Oh, your nose is cold, Oh, my dear. I know it is. Oh, I'm... poor girl. <laughs> All right. Now, Marvin, she yeah. says yes? she has the coldest nose in Alaska. Okay, now, do you remember I was booed the last time? Do you recall that? You yes, asked you, the... you okay. were booed. I so I would hope if boo. I get this right, there'll be a spontaneous cheer. All right. Da 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 da. Nose. <laughs> You are a ham bone. That's why they call me Hamlish. Oh, <laughs> that's a good Hamlish. <laughs> All right, Brett, what do you say? Uh, no, you no, guys, I'll pass you. you and go to you, I'll Charles. quickly you forget. Andy, Brett, what are Academy Awards that he won three of? <laughs> no, I said no. No. Two for Leo. All right, Isabel. Nanukla has the coldest blank in Alaska and knows, according to Leo. No. Knows it is. Okay. What does she have the coldest of in Alaska, Richard? We're not allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I said no. So you said no. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> now, is there something you'd like to tell us? It could have been anything. It could have been the coldest feet. It could have been the coldest hands. Right. There's a song like that, Marvin's song, Mitts and Ice. But, uh, no, I yes. tell you, uh, <laughs> no. You said no, yes. <laughs> Hey, you got them all. Six. By Jove, you've got your work cut out for you. Uh -oh. You listen carefully now, son. You ready for this? Mm. Here it is. Are you a policeman? Yeah. Where do you police? Huntington Park. In Huntington Park? Okay. <laughs> You're going to do the best you can for John, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. No, I'm going to stay out of Huntington Park. <laughs> Here it is. Steve was a mighty strange lumberjack. How strange he was. I'll tell you how strange he was. Just before he left the woods, he kissed his blank goodbye. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Is that an easy one? Sure. Strange lumberjack. Just before he left the woods, he kissed his blank goodbye. <laughs> is that what you did? Before he left? Before the... Yeah. Well, no, he was leaving the woods, you see. He left the woods. He left the woods. And as he left the woods, he kissed his blank goodbye. <laughs> Write it down. 
Whatever comes into your little mind. <laughs> You've got it. You're all set. I've got it. Yes. He's been trying to give it away without right. a lot of success. Now we go over to John Kluett. I'll give it to you one more time, give it a little more thinking time, John. Steve was a mighty strange lumberjack. Just before he left the woods, he kissed his blank goodbye. His axe. His axe is dead. <laughs> no. He came up with the perfect answer there. He kissed his axe goodbye. <laughs> what do you say? Ta. Axe. <laughs> All right. Five more to go, John. Brett. Honey, once more into Huntington Park. Axe. <laughs> axe. That's two. Charles? I think it's sweet that he's not an office on Encino where you and Jean go to that strange motel. <laughs> <laughs> They're only, only Josh. Huh? I said axe. All right, so I got three actors. We need three more to achieve a tie. Isabel, what do you say? Does spelling count? Spelling does not count. Axe. I, 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 axe. I don't really care how you spell it. Score is now six to four. All right, Richard, you're up. Pardon? Strange lumberjack. Just before I left the woods, he kissed his blank goodbye. Oh, well, of course, I don't go to Huntington Park a lot, so it really won't bother me. Yet. Oh, no, I said axe. You said axe. Uh-uh. Betty, if he matches you, we have a tie game. And if he doesn't? If he doesn't match you, Lael Mueller will win the game. And I leave the business, right? No, no, no. We're going to let you stay in the business, and we'll let you continue on the Mary Tyler Moore Show and do a few other things, but not too much. Well, this lumberjack, as the train was pulling out of the station, he said, wait, hold. I, I have to go back and kiss my axe. All right. Tie game. Now, we'll come back and tell you what happens with a tie right after these messages. Okay, here we go. Tiebreaker. Let's wipe this slate clean. Going to start all over again. Shazam. Shazam. There. All right. Now we go tie one tiebreaker question for each. The one who scores the most will be the winner. Now, who'll go first here? Who do you want to go first? Lale. Okay, Lale. A or B? I'll go with B again. You want to go B again? All right, here it is. <coughs> Optimistic Oliver always sees some good in everything. When they told him his New York City bonds were worthless, Oliver said, well, I could always use them for blank. <laughs> now just watch me clip right along here. When they told him his New York City bonds were worthless, he said, well, I could always use them for blank. I'm finished. <laughs> All right. There, now the optimistic Oliver. He's optimistic Oliver. Well, I can always use those bonds. Okay, all right, here we go. Lael Mueller, optimistic Oliver, always sees some good in everything. When they told him his New York City bonds were worthless, Oliver said, well, I could always use them for... Uh, toilet paper. <laughs> what do you say, Marv? Does that shock you? Yeah. Toilet paper. Well, that's just, that's just, Eternally in good taste, I said to start a fire. To start a fire. <laughs> Don't do it. You look me. Charles. You me like this. <laughs> Charles, you're oh, up. I said it in French because I wanted to show out education. I said, Tis you de toilette or papier de jambe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Isabel, what have you got there? Show and tell. Barn fire. Start a fire. Richard, what are you going to do? I said notepad. Notepad. And Betty. I chickened out, but it could be the same thing. It could be a match. Scratch paper. Scr <laughs> <laughs> so that's two for you, Lael. And now let's see how John does with his. John, two to tie, three to win. The mad scientist said, I've invented an automatic turkey. Push a button, and it blanks itself. <laughs> an automatic turkey. Very good. Push a button and it blanks itself. Marvin is a perfect person. Oh, yes, oh, 
What are the, uh, uh, the, the two? Ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. I thought they weren't ready. Yeah. You're right about John, that. <laughs> the mad scientist said, I've invented an automatic turkey. Push a button and it blanks itself. Stuffs itself. Stuffs itself. I'm on a streak. I'm on You're a on a streak. Stuff. Stuff. There's one for John. Two to one to score. Brett. Stuff it up. Guys, tie score now. One more stuffed turkey wins the game. There it is. Pleasure meeting you, my dear. Fun. Thank We've you got very some much. gifts for you, together with our thanks for Thank being here you. on Match Game Thank PM. You. Goodbye, Lael. <laughs> now, Albine, it's time for the Big Money Super Matches, where you can win some big money over $10,000. Now, to do that, we've got two audience matches for you, and I want to point out to you that whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. You ready? Ready. Here we go with the first one. We polled a recent studio audience. And, John, we got their best response to this. Mike Blank. Now, if you match the answer that group gave most often, you get $500. Now, if you match a second most frequently given answer, you get $250. And the third, $100. Whom do you call on over here for a little assist? Charles. What do you say, Charles? All right, let's go with the names. We'll start with Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas, there's one. Richard. Richard? Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols. All right, you got two. Famous uh, film director and stage director. Uh, Marvin. Marvin, have you got Mike one? Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace. So you got Mike Wallace, Mike Douglas, Mike Nichols. Now, you may choose one of those or give us one of your own. What do you say, officer? Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas. Okay. Let's find out if Mike Douglas is up there and if so, where. May we see the $100 response. Microphone. I knew him well. Microphone. I thought it was the Godfather. Yes. Microphone. We are looking for Mike Douglas. Mike, are you hundred under the two hundred and fifty dollar number? Mike Connors. Boy, are we striking out here today, folks? Well, let's find out. Last chance here for Mike Douglas. May we see the five hundred dollar number? Mike. That's what Charles gave you. Now, you've won the $500. It means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Now, let's see how much more you can win with a second audience match. And here we go. We pull that audience, and we got this response from them. Gentle blank. All right. Call out your celebrities. Charles. What do you say, Charles? Gentle Char Mike. No, Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben. Mm. Richard? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Mm, Betty what? And Betty, honey. Gentle touch. Gentle touch. So those are the three. Touch, Ben, and men. Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben is the one you want? That was a well-known movie series a couple of years ago, and I guess it's still playing rerun somewhere around. It's the one we're looking for. Let's begin down at the bottom as usual, and let us reveal the $100 response. Gentle as a lamb is not a bad answer, isn't that sweet? Yes. All right, we're looking for Gentle Ben. Let's see if it's under the $250 number. Gentlemen. All right, that was up there. That's the one that Richard gave you. Last chance for Gentle Ben. Here's a $500 response. Gentle Ben, you got it again, buddy. Very good. All right, you've won another $500. Multiply that by 10, gives you another $5,000. Add that to the previous $5,000. He's shooting for a pot of $10,000. Now, to collect that amount of money, you've got to match one of our celebrities exactly. And it's time to choose one now, John Cluett. Which one do you want? Charles. You want Charles. You've had Help good luck with him so far. Charles, you how get ready How much has he won so far? So far. So far. One. How, he's got $1,000 oh, so far. Right. And if this works, he's going to have 11000 Here it is. Now, get your ESP going, you good two guys. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Cream of blank. Mm -hmm. Cream, C-R-E-A-M, of blank. O-V is the second word. Uh, O-F. O-F. Cream of. Yes. Cream of blank. 
Now he's finished his answer, oh, John Cluett. Gosh. <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? When there's so much money at stake here, it's really kind of tough. Well, now, it ain't five dollars. That's right. <laughs> now let's see how your ESP is working right now with uh, Charles. It's worked well so far. Cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. Okay. He says that'll match you for $10,000, Charles. Can I have her card, dear? Could I have your card, please? Now, this is the pressures of being a star on a major nighttime program. <laughs> Everyone, right, we have cream of corn, cream of the crop, cream tomato, cream asparagus. I said no to them all because I always hated cream of wheat. <laughs> Who's that little woman down there? Oh. Okay, we congratulate you, and we're going to get right back to you after these messages. All right, join us next week for Match Game PM. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. Some contestants will receive Record a Call Lady, automatic telephone answering system, voice actuated with remote control that plays back your message from anywhere in the world. And beautiful eyes are yours with Maybelline. Here's everything you need in the beautiful eye makeup wardrobe from Maybelline. And from Zippo, smart his and hers Zippo windproof lighters, Florentine or wood grain, regular or slim, Zippos will always work or Zippo will fix them free. From Zippo Manufacturing Company, Bradford, Pennsylvania. And a car care assortment featuring Turtle Wax, the world's largest selling car wax, cleans, polishes, protects, and one easy operation, Turtle Wax with a hard shell finish. And for a smooth running car, Castrol GTX motor oil for all models and sizes of cars, Castrol lubrication for cars, motorcycles, and snowmobiles. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Get ready to match the stars. Abe Burrow, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Rosemary Forsyth, from Family Feud, Richard Dawson, and from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty White, as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. And now here's the star of match game, PM, Gene Rivers. Thank you, friends, for joining us here on this beautiful day. You're going to have a beautiful time because we've got six really handsome um, people who will amuse you no end. You're not letting us stay, then? Yes, you are staying. <laughs> If you promise to applaud briskly for Carl Hansen and Gloria Mallory. I welcome you. I wish you both well. Now, all of us here gathered in this room would like to find out something about you. Gloria, we'll begin with you. Okay. I'm from Houston. I work as a ticket agent for a commuter airline. I've been married for nine years. I have no children but a spoiled Lhasa Apso puppy. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful little dogs. Yes, they are. Is, have you got a smart one? <laughs> very smart. Re very smart yes, dog? Yes, he wakes my husband in the morning when I can't <laughs> and braids his hair. <laughs> your husband, he braids your husband's he, uh, hair? No, he unbraids my husband's hair. Oh, he unbraids your husband's hair. <laughs> yes. That is a smart dog. That's indeed a smart dog. Okay, good luck to you, Gloria. Thank you. Now, you, sir, tell us about you. 
Uh, I'm a teacher in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm on a sabbatical leave this year, and uh, I'm married, and my wife and I have a, a lovely four-month-old baby girl. Yep. What do you teach, Carl? I teach in the social studies department in uh -huh. Honolulu. That sounds very interesting. May I point out to each of you here that I'm Match Game PM. <laughs> you will each have three opportunities to match as many of them over there as you can. And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. And that person will go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. <laughs> there it is. Now, Gloria will ask you to begin, and you may choose A or B. A, please. We are off and running. Hey, did you hear what happened to Humpty Dumpty? No. 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 Let me tell you what happened to Humpty Dumpty. He went to a bar and got blanked. <laughs> oh, I love that question. I love this one, too. An answer came to my head immediately. Me too, sweetness. Put it right in the slot there, and we'll come here to Gloria Mallory. Gloria, did you hear what happened to Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> Let me tell you about it. He went to a bar and he got blanked. Cracked? Cracked. <laughs> now, I happened to just get a little peek at Abe's answer here, and it's the first thing that came to my head. Cracked is not bad, and there are probably two or three good choices, but I thought this one was especially appropriate. This is your favorite salt break. Burled. He got boiled. <laughs> See, no, he's an egg, more. Gloria. He well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that is the definitive answer, but I was thinking more of politics now that we have a new president and Easter egg hunts and all of that, and knowing Humpty Dumpty's background. I said he got rolled. He got rolled. <laughs> Went to barn, got rolled. That's possible. They have Easter egg rolls. What do you say, Charles? I'd like to congratulate both of these people on their wonderfully interesting <laughs> stories <laughs> and their charming attempts at trying to come up with a match. Shall we oh, crack! What a boy! <laughs> Humpty Dumpty went to a bar and got <clears throat> cracked, according to Gloria Rosemary. What, according to you? It's definitely the definitive answer, right? It is. Cracked! Oh! Well, an egg can get cracked or boiled. Can you boiled? get cracked in a bar? Crocked. What do you say? Let's go to a bar and get cracked? Cracked? No. <laughs> no, I don't say no, that. Unless it's cracked. No, if you're an egg, you go there and you get smashed. Yeah. Smashed! <laughs> That's cracked in spades is what that is there. I don't know. Really. <laughs> See the next answer here. You could go to a bar and get fried, too. Oh, right? yes, yes, you could. But you don't. You get smashed. Smashed! <laughs> no, but smashed is really lots of cracks. And, uh, are you ready for yours, Carl? Yes, I am. Okay, here it is. Remember, the first round ones are tough. Long John Silver says, oh, oh. You've all heard of the movie Kiss Me, Kate? Have you heard of that? Sure. Yes. Well, I made a movie about me, life, and it's called Kiss Me Blank. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come on me schooner with me? You're not on your left. Get your oh. bird off your shoulder. What about you? No. no. <laughs> All right, Kyle Hansen, are you ready? Are you ready over there? Yes. Long John Silver said, I, you've all heard of the movie Kiss Me, Kate. Well, I've made a movie about me life, and it's called Kiss Me Blank. Peg Leg? Kiss Me Leg. He said, Kiss Me Leg. <laughs> I think everybody's cracked. <laughs> or boiled. Or fried. Right. I said, fried. I said Kiss Me Mate. Oh! That's the oh, that's thought. good. Very good, Abe. He's okay. Here's sweetness. All right. She's a good help to me. Yes. Oh Isn't he sweet? I yes. love her. He's the one who said, peg in my brain. Peg in my brain. <laughs> I, mean, such a I love answer. you. I said, kiss me peg. Kiss Is me that peg. Is that a peg? Me? No, no. yeah. 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 Peg leg. Because he did say kiss me. He did peg say leg. peg leg. He did say peg leg. There's peg. There's another one for him. So that's two for you. Scores tied two to two. Got a couple of good players here. Kiss me, Kate. Well, I made a movie about me life. It's called Kiss Me Peg Leg. Can you. I go home? <laughs> it's too early, my dear. I want to go home. I don't even want to say it. Kiss me, doubloon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah. I think we're going to have to get her to walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> on my schooner but it's going to take a long time <laughs> what do you say I say scuttle the portholes mateys here's a peg leg ah three to two is a star depending on the tolerance of the judges this may be a match yes kiss me foot he said oh no you see what kind of judges we have <laughs> Okay, so there we are at the end of round one. Scores three to two. A couple of real good players here. Tune in again in a minute or two and see how it turns out. Here we go. I'll push a button. Round two. Carl, you're ahead, so you go first. What do you want, A or B? A, please. A it is. Here we go. Now, let's see. Brett does not play. Charles does not play. Richard does not play. The regulars do not play. The irregulars do. <laughs> Mrs. Green said to the psychiatrist, Doc, my husband thinks I'm an olive. Last night, he stuffed a pimento into my blank. There's one, two, three, but there's only one, two. Huh. All right. Cute. You ready, Carl? I hope so. Mrs. Green said to the psychiatrist, Doc, my husband thinks I'm an olive. Last night, he stuffed a pimento into my blank. Mouth. No. You haven't got the hang of it yet, but hang in there. Uh, they get easier as we go along. He said mouth, eh? What do you say? <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to say mouth. You know that, right? Well, no, mouth. because mouth is where you would expect that's, to put the permit. That's right. That's, 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 say oh, nose. At nose, at least. Right. Right? <laughs> but. Now, nose would be a polite. But yeah. Belly button. Belly button is the answer. See, they're yay and yeah, because you got the right one there. Now, who do we go to here? We go to this lady this, here. This lady. I'm, uh, uh, last night he stuffed a pimento into my mouth, according to Carl. What according to you? Oh, he stuffed it in her nose. No. She said, that's no. a good answer. That's Close. Good that's answer. all right. Thank yes. you very much. People waste more olives, I tell you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I was, you know, the, the, the mouth is such a dull answer that I thought I'd mess it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. I am really embarrassed because I put that A answer down and one of our distinguished too. stars had it there. I, was too I apologize to you, my dear. All right. Are you ready for this, Gloria? Okay, here it is. Hey, did you hear that Dumb Dora became a lawyer? No. No. I, I will tell you about it. Dumb Dora becoming a lawyer. Dumb Dora said, today in court, the judge asked to see my briefs. Well, I didn't have any, so I showed him my blank. <laughs> Dumb Dora became a lawyer. He wanted to see her briefs. Today in court, the judge asked to see my briefs, said Dumb Dora the lawyer. Well, I didn't have any, so I showed him my blank. <laughs> Got it. Gloria, think about it now. Dumb Dora became a lawyer, and Dumb Dora said, Today in court, the judge asked to see my briefs. Well, I didn't have any, so I showed him my blank. Underpants? <laughs> I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> she said underpants. <laughs> what do you say? Well, I just... <laughs> <laughs> what did you now, say? Hey, Pantyhose. Good answer. No, that's a very good answer. Now, don't put Abe down there. Yes. Don't put Abe down. What does that say? <laughs> what is that Nighttime set? Pathetic Award. No, it no. It's the best answer. It is the what definitive is answer. What it is, is the best answer. You said she was dumb, right? Very dumb. She became a lawyer. She went and the judge, and they said, show her my briefs. Right. She thought that briefs was either underwear or something. No, no. Her, so she showed him her legal documents. I didn't have any sense. Now, wait a minute. I'm too there smart is... for this world. That's right. The and natives are a, getting restless. A germ of an idea there. Yes, there is. I think. More of a bacteria. He I'm does not, not play. Play. Right. Anybody could have said drawers. <laughs> but you did. Richard, what do you say? I said pantyhose. Yeah, we... Pantyhose. That seems to be the response. Betty, have you got it? She yes, well, but I, well, don't I, don't, I don't. I don't want to see him. I just want to know. That's <laughs> no, she uh, she didn't have any briefs. She showed him her bra. Yeah. That's probably the most definitive. All right. Here we go to round three coming up here. Carl, you're ahead, so you go first. Scores four to two. A, please. A, again. And again, he chooses A. 
Bernie is such a super salesman, he once sold a blank to a Girl Scout. <laughs> you play. And you play. Just the two of you. Rosemary and Amy. It's a tense moment. Bernie is such a super salesman, he once sold a blank to a Girl Scout. What do you say to that? Cookie. Girl Scout cookies. They sell cookies door to door, don't they? Yes, they do. Were you ever a Boy Scout? I was a Girl Scout once. You were a Girl Scout. <laughs> Till they found out what I was. <laughs> I said cookies. And a <laughs> Show and tell time. <laughs> now don't be embarrassed. Why are you laughing? Well, I'm not laughing. I want to know. No, absolutely I not. I said. You said? Ta da da. Cookies. She uh, got it. There you go. Now, my dear, you got to go to work here. You have met four celebrities who have Abe, Brett, and Richard, and Betty. You have not matched them yet. If you match all of them now, it'll be a tie score. We go to a tiebreaker. Let's see okay. what happens. Now we're Harvey up. said, I never should have married my secretary. When we were on our honeymoon, she wanted a blank. <laughs> Harvey said, I never should have married my secretary. When we were on our honeymoon, she wanted a blank. Now, Gloria, think about it. Harvey said, I never should have married my secretary. When we were on our honeymoon, she wanted a blank. Typewriter? Oh. What would she do with a well, typewriter type. on her honeymoon? <laughs> well, I don't know. The what? guy said... He never should have married a secretary. Right. The scene that I see is they came into a hotel room. Yes. She looked around lovingly and said, where's my typewriter? Oh! She was all keyed up. She was all keyed up. Thank you, Betty. She was all keyed up. Betty said, very good, Betty. Very good. <laughs> That's it twice I've he done it. He was all keyed up. Uh, yeah, it keeps all my skin. Right. You're a constant disappointment to your mother. <laughs> what do you got? Well, now I was going to say something frivolous, like sit on my knee or something, but I decided against that, and so I said type, which is short for typewriter, and I believe is a... There man. it is. Okay. Right. Going now 64. Right. You must match the other two to stay in the game. And Richard, we're up to you. When we were on our honeymoon... She wanted a blank. Wanted a I never should have married my secretary. That's right. We're on our honeymoon. She wanted a raise. Yes, that's a good answer. That means Carl Hansen wins the game. What do you have, Betty? Raise. Good answer. Come on down, Carl. Okay, you hang around over there on the blue spot in the rug there. We'll get to you in a moment. Want to shake this pretty lady's hand and wish her well and thank her for being with us here on Match Game PM. Gloria Mallory. And while we're spinning her off, we want to spin some messages just for you. Here we are with Carl Hansen, who's going to have a shot at the big money now in this big money super match, Carl. To uh, help you achieve your goal, we have two audience matches for you. And I want to point out to you that whatever you win in the audience matches will be multiplied by 10, and that'll be the final dollar figure you'll be playing for. Let's begin now. We polled a studio audience not too long ago, and we got their best response to this. Ray Blank. Now, the answer they gave most frequently, their most popular answer, will get you $500 if you match it. 250 for matching the second most popular, and 100 for matching the third most popular. And three of our six celebrities can assist by suggesting answers. Uh, Richard? <clears throat> Ray Milan. Ray Milan. He doesn't get mentioned a lot, and I thought, why not? <laughs> why not mention his name? A chance yeah. if we can bring him back. Yes, okay, right. Very kind of you, yes. Richard, very kind. Thank you, Ray. Uh, Charles. Ray Charles. Yeah. Ray Charles. <laughs> and Abe. Abe, have you got one? I had Ray Charles and Ray uh, Milan. Yeah, uh, wait a minute, hon. Something may come to you. Uh, he, you may get an idea, wait a minute, Abe. Don't just, give up. Don't Keep give thinking. up the ghost here. Wait a minute. Keep thinking. Ray Bolger. Uh, Ray Bolger. Uh, Ray Bolger. Ray of life. All right. So you got Ray Bolger, Ray Charles, Ray Milan. Now you may choose one of those or reject them all and give us one of your own creation. Ray Charles. You want Ray Charles? That was my place to go. All right. We are looking for Ray Charles. May we see the $100 response? Rayburn. 
What? Oh, come on, no fair. That's not fair. They're all fired. That's not fair. They're fired. Rayburn. R-A-Y-B-U-R-N spelled Rayburn. Who's that's Rayburn? Not fair. Who's Rayburn? Sam Rayburn. Listen, Sam Gene, Rayburn. Hey, Gene. Yes, wow, of Gene, we're playing well. the rest of this game under protest. That's right. <laughs> I, I protest. Ray okay. Burn. There's Rayburn. <laughs> Only $100, but what do you expect? That's what they keep saying. Now may we see the $250 number. Ray oh, Bolger. Yeah. Okay, there's an answer that Abe gave you. Last chance for Ray Charles. Slide it, Earl. Yes, sir. Charlie won five hundred dollars. That means the least you'll be playing for is ten times that amount, or five thousand dollars. Okay. Now let's see how much more money you're going to win with your second audience match. May we see it, please? Woman of the blank. Woman of the blank. Sing out, Carl. <laughs> Richard. Woman of the Ray Milan. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing Ray that until I get woman. Woman of the year. Woman of the year. Betty. Woman of the house. Woman of the oh. house. And Charles? <laughs> no. Oh, wait a minute, honey. No, wait a minute. I need any help. I could either go woman of the day, woman of the week, or woman of the month. I have to wait take it over. I have something better. I got a better one. What I? Betty used to do. Oh, oh, yeah. Woman of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's before I got the house. Woman of the house. <laughs> Streets, year, and house are the three you have. Now, again, you have your choice of choosing one of those or giving us one of your own. I'll try a year. Woman of the year is what we want. That was the answer that Richard gave you. Let's begin down at the bottom, and we will reveal the $100 response. Woman of the night is close. Yeah, right. It was a, the idea was there. Let's see what we've got under the $250 number. Woman of the world. Yes, yes that's, that's a very good, good answer. Woman of the year, though. I, if I were betting, I'd bet on it. I hope it's there for your sake, Carl Hansen. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, you won another $500. Multiply that by 10. That makes another $5,000. And add that to the previous $5,000 you won. Makes a total of... $10,000 there. Congratulations to you. Now, wait a minute. He doesn't get the money until he matches one celebrity exactly. He has to choose one now. Richard, please. Wouldn't it be great if it was blank Milan? Yes, it would be. <laughs> oh, 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 would on, I be surprised? we got to play for our friend All from right. Oahu. Stand there and then well, hello. All right, well, face hello. me. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. $10,000 riding at stake here. We appreciate your enthusiasm, but don't say an answer out loud because it may be, you know, not the one that Richard will have written down. Here we go. Blank Ivy. I-V-Y. Blank Ivy. All right, he's finished. Now, Carl, give us an answer that matches his. We give you $10,000. It's that simple. Poison. Poison Ivy. Okay. Turn around here. The audience is with you, Carl. Yeah, now, the important thing, however, is Richard with you. If he's you with were you. You're a teacher, and I thought you would think of halls. Halls of Ivy. Which yeah. to me are halls. Of ah! Ivy. We hope you'll join us next week here on Match Game PM when we'll have more amusing and witty people and beautiful people such as we have here tonight. A lot more money to give away. I'm Gene Rayburn. Good night. Thank you. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production.
get ready to match the stars from Carter Country, Geech Cook, Fred Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, from What's Happening, Mabel King, from Flying High, Ben Olson, and Marsha Wallace, as we play the star study Big Money Match Day PM. And now, here's the star of Match Day PM. Already out there, thank you for joining us here on Match Game DM. You're going to be glad you did because we have some beautiful people on this here now stage. I greet you and uh, thank Good you evening, for joining everybody. us. Good evening to you. Now, would you join me in greeting Diane McCain and Bob Henry? Yeah. Bob, Bob, Bob. I'd like to find out a little bit about each of you before we begin. Bob, we'll begin with you. You can tell us anything you like about old Bob Henry. He's a good old boy, right? He is, he is. I live in La Jolla. Time's up. Thank you very much, Bob. <laughs> well, you live in La Jolla? I live in La Jolla. It's a beautiful little, place. little southern town in California. Right. Uh, I have uh, five uh, children. They're all graduated from college and uh, are happily married. And this year, my wife and I uh, took our savings, bought a boat, Started in Mexico, went up to Alaska, and we're on our way back now. And had a wonderful time. Well, congratulations to you for doing something different like that. Isn't that marvelous? Okay. Good luck to Bob Henry. Now, this young lady, Diane, tell us about you. Well, I'm a native Californian, which is a rarity. I'm single. I live in Van Nuys. <laughs> That's that, one offer. That okay. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I'm an accountant for a real estate company. I'm a season ticket holder for the Dodgers and the Kings, big sports fan, and uh, I have two kittens at home who watch the show, if you can believe that one. Wonderful. <laughs> Cats love us, don't yes. they? <laughs> okay, good luck to both of you. Now, here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three opportunities to match as many of our stars as you possibly can. The one who does that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. And that person will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $20,000. Oh, good luck. Here we go. Bob Henry, A or B? B, please. B for Bob, he says. Jim said, I just saw a very strange movie that takes place in a delicatessen. It's a love story about a bagel that falls in love with a blank. <laughs> a love story about a bagel that falls in love with a blank. Here we go, Bob. Jim said, I just saw a very strange movie that takes place in a delicatessen. It's a love story about a bagel that falls in love with a blank. Lox. A lox. Well, they go together. Bagel that fell in love with a, some lox there. Uh, what do you say, Geach? I thought there was something fishy about that answer, but I said uh, You said lox, too. All right. There are other possibilities in round one questions? Well, I went for the big time. I said salami. Oh. Wonderful. That's one of the other good possibilities. <laughs> I love you in basic black, my Thank dear. You. you look smashing. <laughs> Don't Dracula be. Dracula thinks so, Joe. <laughs> Why do I like matzo ball? Matzo ball? You said a bagel that falls in love with a matzo ball. That has a nice ring to it, like a Woody Allen type. That's right. No, that is a Woody Allen style thing, all right. It's a love story about a bagel that falls in love with a... With cream cheese yet, lox. Lox with cream cheese. Okay, Mabel. What do you say to this, Ken Olson? Yeah, well, that's a medley from my hometown of Dorchester. We used to have it every Sunday night. Lux! All right. You're doing okay, Bob. You got three so far. Let's see if you capture Marcia. Oh, yeah. well, you may. <laughs> it says it's a recurring dream. Sausage. Yes, of course. That's a wonderful answer. Bagels and sausages. Right. All right. Diane, you ready for yours? Yeah. Here it is. Tom said, my car is really old. How old is it? A little slow, but <laughs> it'll improve as time goes on. My car is really old. In fact, the owner's manual is written in blank. <laughs> the owner's manual is written in blank. We don't ever have to show up. I just want him to put his card in the slot. Here we go. Tom said, my car is really old. In fact, the owner's manual is written in blank. Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Okay, Diane. 
Y'all know about that in East Texas, right? We don't hardly write in the sand at all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we find it doesn't make for lasting novels, but I tell you what, <laughs> what does is stone. If you write written it in stone. stone it right. was an old car. It was written in stone, right. Carved in stone there. What do you say to this? I say there are a lot of good writers coming out of Texas in the last 10 years, and I said Sanscripto. Sanscripto, there's one. You took my uh, hello there. Chuck, you ready for yours? Let Mabel do the numbers. <laughs> Sanscript. Okay, there it is. Charles doesn't want Brett to do the numbers. He wants you to do them instead, Mabel. I'll sing for you, darling. Right. Okay. It was written in script as in Sanscript. What, what does it matter? What's the matter? Well, oh, 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 oh. What's wrong, darling? You got the buzz. Has it? Huh? Script. Sanskrit? Hey, it's not Sanskrit, yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah, just checking with you. Oh. Ah. That's how they are, honey. That's how they are. It's a hard now world. She won't do the I Ken, are you a flabbergasted? <laughs> flabbergasted? Yes. Let's see your flabbergasted old... expression. Ding, 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 Sanskrit. There it is. All right. Three to three score. Hello, darling. Hello, my dear. Hello. Given my fiery Italian nature, I said Latin. Latino. <laughs> Now, that's another good possibility. Yeah. Latin, Sanskrit, any of the ancient tongues is okay. So, uh, end of round one, we got a tie score. Three to three. Round two coming up right after this. Now, here we have a tie score here. We'll go to round two. And since the score is tied and he went first last time, we thought we, you might want to go first this time. Okay, I'll take eight, please. You want eight. All right. Here's a match game riddle for you. How do you tell Zsa, Zsa Gabor's age? The answer... You count her blanks. Oh. <laughs> people. Only three people play. You are not one. Unfortunately, you play. I'm one Mabel, of them. you play. And Geech plays. Geech. All right, Diane. A match game riddle. How do you tell Zsa, Zsa Gabor's age? The answer, you count her blanks. Two good answers, but I'll take diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds. What was your other answer? Husbands. Husbands was your other answer? I think you blew it, Diane. Yeah, I know. I think <laughs> Hello, Geech. <laughs> I thought husband's times seven. Husband's times seven. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> okay, Diane. Let's see what Mabel has. Darling, always go for the man. Yeah. Husband's. Husband. <laughs> Marcia, I, I just still... love my answer. You Plus, love your answer. You know, I'm not playing in a vacuum, and it's wrong, but I love it anyway. Count her rings, like rings around a tree. Aha! <laughs> Very good. I have a double meaning. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bobby, you ready for yours? Ready. Here's what it says. After Dave built his hot air balloon, he needed lots of hot air to fill it up, so he took it to blank. <laughs> you don't play? You don't. Teach, you don't play. Here it is. Oh, I like it. What's that woman's name who does the speed reading? <laughs> oh, Evelyn, Evelyn Wood. Wood. Evelyn Wood. Evelyn Wood. If we could just get Charles into Evelyn Woods, it would be so helpful. Bob, after Dave built his hot air balloon, he needed lots of hot air to fill it up. So he took it to blank. I'm really uh, stuck for an answer about that. Gabby. Gabby. Any Gabby person. Yeah, any Gabby. There's one really excellent answer to this, Bob, which you will hear Gabby. in a moment or so from oh, Brett Summers. Brett Summers. Isn't imagine. she lovely? She's lovely. I said... Washington. Yeah. <laughs> Never had lots of hot air, Bob? Yeah. That's right. What'd you say? Uh, no, that's Matzo ball. That was the previous question. Congress. Congress. Another good answer. <laughs> and you, my dear, what do you have to offer for old Bob Henry? It eluded me. It did? So I went to my old standby, Howard Cosell. Oh, of course. <laughs> now there's a... A lot of logic to that. When in doubt, you just write yes, Howard I'll Cosell. For anything. Right. Okay, the score is still tied. Uh, Diane went first last time, so Bob, we'll ask you to go first this time. Eight, please. Eight is. Let's see what we have now. Brett, Charles, and Marsha. Dumb Donald is really dumb. <laughs> B minus. He thought the Super Bowl was a giant blank. <laughs> That's how Dumb Don Donald Dumb Donald really dumb he thought the Super Bowl was a giant Okay Bob Henry is chuckling at his answer and he hasn't even said it yet Bob, Dumb Donald is really wait dumb a minute, Wait a minute, hold it, sweetness 
Dumb Donald Donald was really dumb. He thought the Super Bowl was a giant blank. Potty. Yeah. Potty or toilet? Okay. Yeah. They're a bunch of weirdos. You're cheering toilets. <laughs> Hello there, Brett. He Good thought way. the Super Bowl was a giant toilet bowl. Toilet. Okay, Oh, oh yeah, right. They think about it too. I said twilight also. Okay. We're up to five. We need one more. To... One, one, Get more on. one more toity. That's right. Got it. Got it. Okay. Now, Diane, the best you can do is achieve a tie. Well, you can do that by matching all three celebrities you haven't matched so far. Harry said, I am never going back to that rotten doctor. He gave me some pills that were supposed to shrink my sinuses, but instead they shrank my blink. <laughs> Yeah. Who writes the questions? <laughs> oh, faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> faster than a speeding bullet. Did you ever get the feeling you're too smart for the room? What is it? What? What is he doing there? What child? What are you doing? He does Teach. it right. Oh, I'm It's all coming back. Now you remember how it goes. Are we on? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Harry said, I'm never going back to that rotten doctor. He gave me some pills that were supposed to shrink my sinuses, but instead they shrank my blank. Brain. Brain. Okay, you need three brains here. Show us your brain, Geech. I thought seat, seat of all learning. Oh, dear, no. <laughs> no, Max, let me bomb him. Who do you have? No, Diane, we thank you very much for being here on Match Game PM. We sure our appreciation. We're going to send some gifts your way. Diane McCain, ladies and gentlemen, will spin her off and spin a commercial for you. And you come back and see how much money Tom Henry wins. Here we go with Bob Henry. It's time now for the Big Money Super Match, Bob, where you can win over $20,000. And to do that, we have two audience matches for you. And if you're ready for it, we'll go with the first one. We polled a studio audience in this very room, a very high IQ bunch like these. And we said, write down your best answer to this. I wish I was blank. Now, if you match the answer they wrote down most frequently, we give you $500. For matching their second most popular answer, $250. And then if you match a third, $100. Nothing to it. Now, you can get some help from three of our six stars. Brett? I wish I was in Dixie away. I wish I was in Dixie. Uh, Charles? I wish I... <laughs> Brett, you leave him alone. Go ahead, Charles, do your act. Or whatever. <laughs> Hello, Charles. I'm... Charles. I wish I was a sunbeam. <laughs> I wish I was a sunbeam. I, you will always be a sunbeam in my eyes, Charles. One Ma more. Mabel. Mabel, have you got one? I wish I was dead. Oh, all right. <laughs> we should be glad to oblige. Uh, Bang! You dead. I'm dead. Okay. There they are, Bob. You got, I wish I was dead. I wish I was a sunbeam. And I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray, hooray. And I'm not done. Cut. Thank you very much for your kind attention there. You want one of those? Um, well, <clears throat> let's see. Yes. What do you want to do, Bob? I wish I was in Dixie. Oh, Dixie. Okay, that's what we want. Let's go down to the bottom and reveal the $100 number. I wish I was dead as Mabel's answer. That came up there. That's Don't cry, what? Mabel. Stop. Must have been a fun group that day. <laughs> We want Dixie is what we're after. May we see the next one, please? I wish I was rich. That's a pipe dream. Rich too. Yeah, don't we all? All right, last chance for Dixie. Slide the big one. Yeah. Boy. Okay. 
Now, Bob, you've won the $500, which means the least we'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. But you got another audience match, and we'll see how much more you'll win with that one. All right, may we see it, please? Leaping blank. Oh. You can call on three again. I'd like to stay with Mabel. You want to stay with Mabel? Lizards. Leaping lizards. Brett. Oh, leaping. There's leaping lizards. Leaping frog. Leaping frog. Okay. Um, Charles. I, sunbeam. I really. <laughs> A leaping sunbeam. I really don't like a show that hasn't got a sunbeam. <laughs> anyway, in honor of my friend named Horn, Leaping Lena. Leaping Lena. Okay. Leaping Lena, Leaping Lizards, and Leaping Frogs. You can choose one of those again or give us one of your own, Bob. No. Leaping, uh... I like the lizards. You like lizards? You think he's right? Yeah. Okay, we'll find out if he's right and if you're right. We'll begin at the bottom. You're going to be sorry. You talk him into lizards, you know. <laughs> if he blows the money, it's your fault. And we're going to walk among you and take up a collection. <laughs> All right, let's uh, slide the $100 number. <laughs> Leaping oh, Lena. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Charles. I hope Patty Joke saw that. that <laughs> no, it's that's acting. Just a that bit ever. overdone, if I may Bad say so, acting. Charles. There. Uh, bring it down just a mite, if you would, please. May we see the next one? <laughs> Leaping frogs. Okay. That was Brett's answer. All right. We want lizards. Lizards is what we're after. Go with a big one for $500. Now you've won another $500. We multiply that by 10, which means another 5,000 added to the previous 5,000 you won. The least you'll play for is $10,000. However, you can double your money and play for $20,000 right now. If you have a lucky spin of the star wheel, if the blue light stays on when the wheel stops, you will have doubled your money. Give a go. Good luck, Bob Henry. Let's hope you get the double. All right. Now, Ken Olson. I don't want you to be nervous. No, I'm not. No. It's only $20,000. 20000 It represents everything to this man. An entire week. It will be in his entire life savings and everything to him, so don't be nervous, Ken. And you do want to ride on his boat, don't you? <laughs> okay, face me if you would, please, sir. And good luck to you. Here it is. For $20,000. Grandma Blank. Grandma Blank, and we appreciate your enthusiasm, but don't say the answer because it may be a wrong one and lead him astray and then... All finished, eh? Okay, Bob. Grandma Blank. Give us the answer that matches his. Moses. Yeah! Grandma Moses. Well, yeah, sounds reasonable to me. Let's find out now from Ken Olson if you win the $20,000 or not. Uh, Ken, it's up to you. Pressure. Moses! Moses!
There's your winning souvenir card. Well, we have a very happy fellow here on the stage, Bob Henry, who is uh, shaking hands and thanking everyone, and he's happy because he has a total of $21,000 to his credit here. And I don't know, what plans do you have for that amount of money, Bob? Well, uh, basically I've been unemployed all year. <laughs> and uh, it'll go for uh, household expenses. It will. <laughs> you bet. Okay. Well, we... My wife might have other ideas. Okay. Well, I hope she does. And I hope you'll join us next week for Match Game PM when we'll, when we'll try to give away another big bundle of money like this and we'll have another bunch of stars as we have here tonight on Match Game PM. Gene Rayburn, goodbye. <laughs> Family Feud, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Beulah Fox, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game, PM. And now here's the star of Match Game, PM, Gene Roberts. <laughs> Johnny Olsen and Brown. Got a lively bunch out there. He told me to wear a suit. Look at Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lively bunch here. Now let's say hello to our two players, Stan Rothy and Janet McKnight. <laughs> we welcome both of you. Want to find out a little bit about each of you. First, Janet, we'll begin with you. I live in Glendale, but I'm really from Wills Point, Texas, and I have a husband, James, and a little boy, Joshua. James. That's a nine-syllable word, the way she says it. I have a husband, James. Okay, Janet, good luck to you. And Stan. <laughs> Stan, you're a walking jewelry shop. Hold up your wrist. Show him your wrist there. Look at that. Is that your hobby? No, it's my business. Oh, it's your business? I'm an Indian trader. Oh, you are? <laughs> You're under arrest, Stan. <laughs> Where do you live? Hermosa Beach. Uh-huh. Are there any Indians out there? No, I get them from Arizona. <laughs> he trades Indians from Arizona. Who do you trade them to? Anyone. What? Do you... what? Anyone with money. I see. <laughs> Well, you're pretty decked out, Stan. Nice to have you with us. Good luck Thank to you, you, too. May I point out to each of you that here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three chances to match as many of our celebrities as you can, and the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. Have an opportunity to go on to play for possibly $10,000. Okay. Janet, we'll ask you to make the first selection. You may have A or B. B. B it is, she says. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I have a letter to Dear Abby. Uh -huh. It says, Dear Abby, my husband thinks he's a tree. What should I do? Sign, Tree's wife. <laughs> Dear Tree's wife, blank him. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dear Tree's wife, blank him. Shh. Well, I'm I don't finished. know, it might. Okay. He's... I'll walk over Almost. here to Janet McKnight. Wait a minute. It's the easy words I forget this morning. Change his mind. Ready. 
Letter here to Dear Abby. Dear Abby, my husband thinks he's a tree. What should I do? Sign Tree's wife. Dear Tree's wife, blank him. Climb him? Climb him. <laughs> well. <laughs> She said, climb him. Good. Climb <laughs> him. Is she from Maine? No. <laughs> what do you say? She's mainly from Texas. I said, walk your dog by him. Oh. 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 Oh, that's oh. not even... That's a terrific... Well, that's I a marvelous thought... answer, Janet. I yes. wish I'd said climb. Climb. She's worse than Fanny, isn't she? I... <laughs> For a second, I thought she was a chemist. said, clone him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said plant. Plant him. Charles? I said dream him. Dream him. him. <laughs> and what's this little old southern bell say down here? I said prune him. Prune? <laughs> prune him. Play on words. Little play. I got Very that little. But... <laughs> What'd you say? I said son of prune. Prune. My husband thinks he's a tree. What should I do? Sign Tree's wife. Dear Tree's wife, climb him. I oh, love climbing. Cream. <laughs> cream. I love that. What do you say? I love climb, but I was barking up the wrong tree. I said plant. 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 Tree was already planted, oh, you see. Goodness. Well, they didn't understand as well as you did, Janet. Clever. You're the smartest one on this whole stage, including me. <laughs> hey, did you hear about the world's thinnest book? Uh -uh. I'm going to tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> it's called How to Have a Successful Marriage. It's written by blank. <laughs> World's thinnest book. How to Have a Successful Marriage. <laughs> it's written by blank. Okay, Stan. Did you hear about the World's Thinnest Book? It's, it's called How to Have a Successful Marriage. It's written by... Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney is a good one. How many's he had, Stan? He's had seven. Mickey's had seven. I love well, who's it. counting? Yes, he's had eight, but who's oh, counting? What, <laughs> what do you say? Being in the jewelry business, I thought he would say Jaja. Jaja. Yes. I guess she's. Uh, what do you say? Don't say it. We're going to get letters. A nun. <laughs> Well, it would be the thinnest book, right? That's true, because they don't get married. I see right. your yeah, logic you get that there. Little play? Not necessarily. Here we go. I said the woman on my right. <laughs> the woman on my right. I was married for 21 years. Well, your answer was excellent, his was excellent, and now we're going downhill. The world's thinnest book, How to Have a Successful Marriage, written by... This is for you, Brett. Charles Nelson Ryan. Charles Nelson Ryan. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. What a wonderful person you Stop turned out to be. Oh, we got a liver there. What do you say? Zsa oh, Zsa, is... Oh, She's darling. She's been everywhere six times, I think. Six times? Yeah. Really? They have plastic rice for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing personal, Joyce, in yeah. this question. <laughs> Uh, Only right. three. Um, my writer <laughs> collaborated with your writer. Yeah. The book. And a monk. A monk. <laughs> well, okay. So there's round one, and we have no score, as you can plainly see. But we've got lots more game for you after this. Oh, here we go. Push the button. Reveal our second round questions. Janet went first last time, so Stan, you go first this time. Yeah. You want A? Please. Okay. Shake your jewelry. <laughs> Here we go. The inventor said, after I assembled the bionic woman, she was too light, so I filled her blank with lead. <laughs> too after I assembled a bionic woman, she was too light, so I filled her blank with lead. So I filled her blank. Oh, I get it, huh? You get it, huh? All right. Here we go, Stan. The inventor said, after I assembled a bionic woman, she was too light, so I filled her blank with lead. Fanny. Her fanny with lead. <sighs> he said, I filled her fanny with lead. But you change your mind at the last minute? Right. You had fanny and threw it away. Right. I oh. said boobs. That's why they called her hard hearted hand. Okay, Gare, now you, Brett. Rump. 
That's an interesting new word. What Bionic buns. Her <laughs> bun. <laughs> so, Stan, you got two. Bionic buns. Well, dear me. Hello, Susan. Hi. How are you? I'm terrific. Good. I changed it at the last minute, too, and I'm very glad I did, because I said bottom. You got bottom. That's three for Stan. Going to help him out here? I only wish I could. I went for the old bionic boo. The bionic boo. Just like you. Beneath you, my never. darling. Uh, after I assembled the bionic woman, she was too light, so I filled her bottom, or fanny, with lead. I never heard of getting the lead out of your boobs. No. No. I never did. I have either. heard of getting the lead out of your fanny, though. Okay. That's four for him. Now, Janet, we've got this one for you. Gloria said, I think that photographer I went to used to be a doctor. Before he took my picture, he told me to blank. Got it. Got it. He's got it. Okay. Ready? Are we almost ready to go? Yes, we are ready to okay. go. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, sweetness. I'm ready. What go. are you doing? Okay. Go. Gloria said, I think that photographer I went to used to be a doctor. Before he took my picture, he told me to... Take my clothes off. Take my clothes off. Okay. She said, take my clothes off. I would first like to say, we make a lot of fun of accents, but that has got to be one of the most charming Very accents. Very charming. You are absolutely yeah. right. Gary. Undress. Undress. I take her clothes off. That's one for her. Score is now four to one. Brett? I can make fun of uh, Texas accents because uh, my children's godmother's from Fort Worth, so it's all right. You close to Fort Worth? Yes. I said remove all my clothing, including my shoes. <laughs> what do you say? Can't you bring all this out in hardcover for Christmas? It is, it is. I said, take my clothes off and call. <laughs> If you take your clothes off, you don't cough, you sneeze. <laughs> What'd you say, little girl? That doctor used to be a photographer, used to be a doctor. Before he took my picture, he told me to take my clothes off. Oh, okay. Dress. What a question. Score is tied now four to four. I use, of course, the medical term disrobe. Disrobe, yes. Yeah. Yeah, All right. The Prime Minister. And Joyce? I don't know any medical terms, so I said undress. Undress. <laughs> You got them all. Now, we go to our third and final round. And Stan, you're going to have a selection here, A or B, because she's matched all of the celebrities, and you've got to catch up with her. A. A. You're going to try and catch up with her. Now, there are two people to play, Gary and Richard. And here it is. Frickin' frack. At the church. <laughs> At the church, Mildred said, I can see this is going to be a very unusual wedding. The bride's father is wearing a blank. Perfect. All right, those two gentlemen are ready. We come to Stan. At the church, Mildred said, I can see this is going to be a very unusual wedding. The bride's father is wearing a blank. A gun. A what? A gun. A gun. Shotgun wedding, apparently, is what he had in mind. Now, you must match both Gary and Richard to stay in the game. You say gun will match him. What do you say? Sorry, I work with Jamie Farr. I said address. A dress. Yeah. What do you say? You said dress, too. right there on the adhesive tape and I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm gonna shake this man's hand thank and thank him for coming in. Now, where are you from again? Hermosa Beach. Hermosa Beach. Yeah. And you sell Indians. Indians. You're a remarkable <laughs> man there. You make that stuff yourself. Stan, I'm not finished talking to you. Don't go, Stan. Stan, where are you going? Okay, Stan. All right for you. Well, listen. You got a chance to win a lot of loot here, but before we get into the big part, the big money part here, we're going to do a little message for America. 
we go. Time now for the big money super match where you can win over $10,000. And to do that, we have two audience matches for you. And I want to point out to you that whatever you win here in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. And that's the real amount you'll be playing for. We polled a recent studio audience, Janet. We got their best response to this. Blank gut. Oh, Paul. Now, the answer they gave most frequently will get you $500 if you match it. Now, if you match their second most popular answer, you get $250, and then matching the third one gets you $100. And let's see who will give you some good answers here. Richard. Richard. Well, something uh, I have at home. What's that? Uh, it's a great big ball of cat gut. <laughs> cat I make tennis rackets out of it, you know. Really? Yeah, cat gut. Now, cat you can take gut. my word for it. Sure. You laugh now. Okay. Well, you didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't laugh at all. You just make I'm serious. This is a very serious show, Richard. I guarantee you it's money in the bank. Cat gut. Okay, that's yeah. his answer. Brent, what I have been drinking for years and had done me no harm at all. <laughs> Rock <Rock-gut>. gut. <laughs> He is too much. One more. Charles. I don't need Charles. <laughs> Try dog gut. <laughs> no, I have several. I could go with in honor of that great general blood and gut. No, that's blood and guts. Well, this was a very small general. Oh, I see. <laughs> I will go in with pull in your gut. Pull in your gut. Which is the name of a 1934 song. You remember right. that? Movie. The sequel. Pull in your gut. Yeah. In summertime. Yeah. Pull in your gut. Okay. All right. I got you. We got the point, Charles. Stand up, stand there. Pull in a suck in your gut. Oh, it's not pulling. Suck in your gut. Anyway, there they are. You got pull in your gut. Oh dear. I can't believe I'm standing well, on the stage in front of a man Pull in your saying, gut. In it's your summertime gut. now. Rot gut and cat gut. Now you can choose one of those, honey, or give us one of your own. What is your pleasure? Cat gut. <laughs> Tennis player, you know that that's that's what they make the strings of tennis. That's records. right. Yeah, you mean really? I'm. I'm Did gonna, you not know that? I'm, I'm switching to nylon because I think it's in cruel and inhuman punishment. Well, it's not really it. from a cat. Oh, it isn't from a human being. Oh. <laughs> We're looking for a little cat gut. May we see the hundred dollar number? Beer gut. That's what Charles has. From Jim Mallon. That's right. That's pulling in your. <laughs> okay, let's see. If we get a little cat gut and a two hundred fifty dollar number. Rot gut is Brett's answer. Now, will you remember what a shock went through the audience when I gave that yeah. southern answer? Yeah. Now, just, Frankly, I disbelieved it myself. Really? Yes, well, I did. just have faith, yeah. as yeah. little Janet did. All right. And pull in your... Uh, Earl. Yeah. Change it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Earl, slide it. Let's see it. Can't get it in. Well, well, southern girls are powerful. Oh, we got that powerful. dog cut. Man. Yes. <laughs> they mean pieces. Oh, now, listen, Janet, you won $500, which means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Now we're going to see how much more money you'll win with your second audience match. Okay, Earl, let her rip. Love and blank. Now, let's see what we'll get from our celebrity. Richard. Love and cat gut. No. <laughs> Love and marriage. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. Take your pick. Charles. <laughs> love and... Yeah, I don't know, dear, but... Love and... No. Love and General Patton. <laughs> Try that. No, love and... Money. Well, I don't know. I've got so many lovely things coming in the mail here. <laughs> I say... Love and... <laughs> Love God, Charles. and well, I guess it seemed to be love and money. Thank you. Love and money. And love and money. <laughs> That's a Thank rock you very answer. Much. No, one more. Brett. Brett who? Brett you. Oh, now wait a minute. <laughs> Listen, Brett. There's one obvious good one now. All see right, ya. all right. I've got it. What? Love, love and marriage. Love and love and. Love and divorce. Oh, love. What? Love and divorce. Lo- She's hey, been through I that. Come on now. Love and hate. All right. What's the good one? <laughs> well, I can't say the good one until she's made a choice here. Love and hate, love and money, and love and marriage. Now, those are the three. Now, it's your option here, Janet, to choose one of those, or if you think you've got a better one, give us that one. Love and marriage. Sure. Love and marriage. Oh, that's right, darling. 
Love and war. Love and marriage is good, but you know what's going to be up there? What? Love and kisses. Real? Oh, yeah. No way. I'll bet you. Oh, no you were the one that quarter. cat got one. I'll bet you 25 cents. Here we go. I'll bet that is up there. All right, may we see the $100 number? Love and hate. Oh. All right, that was Brett's answer. Who said that? We're looking for love and marriage. May we see the $250 number, Earl? Ha-ha! Love and kisses is up there. Now, are you ready to apologize to Texas? Earl, you don't change it this time. You're really fired. Just look for another job. Hey, hey, hey! I don't want, it to, I don't want to see love and marriage, Earl. I don't want to see it. That's all there is to it. Come on, Janet. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, go. Hey! We've got to stop me. Well, now, Janet, you won another five hundred dollars. <laughs> we multiply that by ten, <laughs> makes uh, five thousand. Add that to the previous. You're not even listening to me here. I don't know why I say all this. You add another five means you got a pot of ten thousand dollars to shoot for. Now, <laughs> Janet, we can't give you the money until you match one celebrity exactly. Now, you have to choose one now. Richard. Okay. Can no, you stand I don't it? kiss on the first date. You don't kiss on the first date. I mean, could you stand another win? Oh. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Oh, Come on, right. let's do it. Here it is. This is worth $10,000. Okay. Here we go. Now, think, get your ESP going over to him. Think Richard Dawson and how he would answer this. Pine blank. Pine blank. Okay, Janet. What answer would you give us now? Pine cone. She said, what's that? Yeah, you can look. Pine cone, she says, will match you for $10,000. What do you say to that? No, darling, we did okay up until here. Then I got the pine tree. Pine tree. Well, they were close, you know, yeah. because the pine cones are in the pine tree, aren't they now? Right. They are. Janet, you've got a grand total of $1,000, which you've won. We congratulate you for that. Thank you very much. Janet, good night. Now, this message for you. Come back. Join us next week for Match Game PM. We'll have more gay celebrities like I these. A great deal of money to give away. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. Some contestants will receive Record a Call in. by DuPont, and Bardol Oil Supplement. Its exclusive polar attraction formula bonds to critical surfaces, reducing friction and wear in your car's engine. Bardol, run with us. A Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production. from our magazine, Gary Collins, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, from It Is Enough, Susan Richardson, Richard Paul, and from Flo, Joyce Beulafon, as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM, Gene. Thank you.
you for joining us here on Match Day. PM. How do you do, all? How do you do? Hi, darling. Stars are beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful stars? Oh, thank yes. you. Oh, you're wonderful looking. Good. Now, let's treat Ellen Shepard and Ron Prendergast. Applause, applause, applause. Oh. Applause, applause, applause. Applause, applause. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Hello there. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. We want to uh, demonstrate to you that we're very friendly and not hostile. So, I'm going to kiss you both on the lips. Uh, oh. Want to find out about you, Ron? Tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm from just north of Boston. I'm a firefighter. I have been for 20 years. I have uh, been married for 25 years. We've been traveling this beautiful state for our anniversary. Really? Happy 25th anniversary to you, Ron. Is your wife here? Yes, she's right out there. Hello there. There she is. Very good. Very young looking yes. chick you got for that 25 years there. Isn't she pretty? There, there she is, right there in the first row. Grandmother, too. <laughs> a grandmother? Hmm. You gotta put a little gray in your hair to convince me, my dear. All right, that's Ron. How about Ellen? I'm married. I have a little girl. I live in Lodi, which is the great capital of the world. Um, I like to plant things and, and uh, I babysit for a living. <laughs> Sort of a living, <laughs> and uh, I'm happy to be here. Now, here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three <laughs> opportunities to match as many of the dingbats as you possibly can. <laughs> and the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner and go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> How about that? A or B, Ron? I'll take A, please. A. Ron says he wants A, and this is what it says. Lenny said. You know you're living in a bad neighborhood when the welcome wagon lady arrives in a blank. <laughs> okay, hon, go for it, babe. Lenny said, you know you're living in a bad neighborhood when the welcome wagon lady arrives in a blank. An armored truck. An armored truck. That's okay. Now, he thought that through very carefully. He sure did. Armored truck is good. Yeah, I thought of a hearse, but then it occurred to me that she couldn't be all that bad, so I said armored car. Aha! <laughs> one for one. Oh, I didn't say that. I said riding a bicycle wearing a bulletproof vest. Uh -huh. <laughs> very cute. All right, two goodies so far. It's a very personal remark. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't want an argument. This is a match. Don't argue with them. Don't argue I'm with sorry. them. I'm sorry. All right? So close. An armored truck. <laughs> <laughs> Two for run. Unusual to get that many in the first round. You're living in a bad neighborhood when the welcome wagon lady arrives in A. Well, I matched Gary, though, instead of hearse. Well, it I hurts. said a hearse, but... said a hearse, and she asked me how to spell it, and I changed the T to an E because I'm a nice fellow. <laughs> Hello, Richard. We'll be the judge of that. She should have said, thank you, Jean, for doing this. <laughs> thank you. But it wouldn't help Tank Ron is an excellent answer. No, thank you. Yeah. Armored car, tank are both tank. good, yes. You're going to be so surprised. <laughs> I got it right. Oh, no! Oh! One in a row. Now, we ought to frame that. Do something. We ought to have some kind of celebration. <laughs> Ready, Ellen? Yes. Here it is. Ruth said, Ruth said, it's strange being married to a ship's captain. How strange is it? Captain? I'll tell you how strange it is. Because every time we get romantic, he yells, Blank! <laughs> Ruth said, it's strange being married to a ship's captain. Every time we get romantic, he yells, blank! Ahoy! Ahoy? Ahoy? Ahoy! Ellen, why would he yell ahoy? I, I don't why know. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I guess we know what she's got. <laughs> Ellen... The implication there is that maybe he needs a little help or something. I don't know. What do you say, Gary? Call me Ishmael. No. Ishmael. That's oh. right. Man overboard. Man overboard. 
anything that a captain would yell. Ahoy is just as good as Ahoy anything. Ahoy is fabulous. What the heck? I mean, after all, in a moment of passion, you're after you. I have the things I could tell you. Well, I can't. You have had those moments. Well, you do no, remember I them. To them. Yeah. I, oh, well, not anymore. A full steam ahead. Aha! <laughs> To go full steam ahead, you have to have a full head of steam. You ought to know. All right. <laughs> and Sino is never going to be the same, I'll tell you that. Okay, the upper Chuck. Bank. <laughs> Why did you call me? I called you Chuck. Oh, as a captain myself of a wonderful ship, there's not that many things a captain yells. Do you understand what I mean? You get the impression that a captain runs around yelling. There are people that do that. He does indeed have a I vessel. Am... I chose all ashore that's going ashore. <laughs> <laughs> now you get the picture, you see the couple are in the bedroom, in the boudoir, let's say. Soft music is playing on the stereo. <laughs> and she has on this beautiful see-through peignoir. You'll be sorry you open this whole thing. He walks into the room. Could have walked down by there. Takes a look at her and says, All ashore, going ashore! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Susan. Shark! Shark. <laughs> oh, <it's there> for <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Richard. Being an old Charles Lawton fan, yes. I said that he yells, Mr. Pishchamp! <laughs> oh, a goody. Yes, ma'am. It's all romantic, and the stereo's playing, and the lights are low, and he yells, Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> I get the picture. So here we are, three to zip. Always. Oh, and uh, that's the end of round one. Now, round two will come along in a moment or so. Right now, this for you, if you please. Yeah. That's All right, here we go to round two. <laughs> round two coming up. And, Ron, since you're ahead, we will ask you to go first. I'll take A again, please. A again. <clears throat> now, only three people play, you know, because you matched Gary, Charles. And Joyce. And Joyce in the <laughs> Joyce. first round. Don't forget that. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Whipple is getting really tough. <laughs> no. Get the other bunch, John. <laughs> hey, he's getting really tough. Now, if you squeeze his Charmin, he squeezes your blank. <laughs> Aren't you sorry you're not playing? I'm playing. Can we just play you're along? Playing. Yes, play along. Let's just write an answer for me. <laughs> Here we go, Ron. Mr. Whipple is getting really tough. Now, if you squeeze his Charmin, he squeezes your blank. Boobs. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> really? What do you what say to that? Say, he said boobs. He said boobs? He said that. Well, Easter greetings. Yeah. I didn't know that about Mr. Whipple. Yeah. No. He's changed, apparently. Easter greetings, Easter cheer. Squeeze a boob once a year. No, I said buns. Buns. You squeeze a my Charmin, I squeeze a your buns. What do you say, Susan? Well, I've explained this, because my whole career started from a toilet paper commercial. It was a competitor that had Kush, and I got the job because I walked in and said that I have Tush. And they bought it. <laughs> so I... Said Tush. Yeah. All right. Buns. Same right, thing. exactly. Right. We have two of those so far, um, or four, depending on how you count. What do you say? Godfrey Daniel. I squeezed his charm and he squeezed my nose. Naturally. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> now, Ellen, you got a little catching up to do. Let's see how you do with this one. Neil said, I was born in a shoe store. For years, people called me a blank. <laughs> Don't stare at me. I can hardly wait to get to it. Ellen, Neil said, I was born in a shoe store. For years, people called me a blank. Heel. 
Heel it is. Very good. <laughs> Heel. Heel. Yeah, good answer, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Isn't it. she good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's two in a row she's given us. What very, very close, but the whole shoe. A loafer. A loafer. Oh, oh that's oh, nice. Very play on words. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, Gary. Yes. I wish to state up front, I did not steal his answer. I wish to say I thought the same way, and I this is absolutely my own, very own answer. But I, too, in a fit of whimsy, said loafer. Sure you did. I did. I always did. Sure, loafer. you didn't steal the answer. <laughs> you see, a heel and loafer's okay, but Neil was a little like I am, like delicate and rather on the dainty side, despite yeah. the fact that I am a yeah, like, of my own right. chef. I do? Yeah. So he was called a wedgie for years. <laughs> Born in a shoe store for years, people call me a wedgie. A heel. Yeah. A heel. There you go. <laughs> Richard, where are you? <laughs> a tennis shoe? A sneaker. I, I'm so ashamed of that answer. I don't want to be seen while this card is up. That's funny. No. Gary says that. you're a sneaker. Yeah. That's why you're down there. Yeah. What have you got for us, Joyce? I loved his answer the best. I said a heel. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right. We got a little game going what here. Three to two to score. We go to oh, round three. Joyce. This is the final round. Ron, you're ahead. You go first one more time. I'll stick with A again, please. A it is. Same three people play. Brett, right, Susan, and right. Richard. Yeah. Carla said, this drought is really terrible. Who asked you? <laughs> Today I saw a salmon blanking upstream. <laughs> Drought. <laughs> all right, we're all set, right? Here we go. Right. Carla said this drought is really terrible today. I saw a salmon blanking upstream. Walking. Walking. All right. Ron the fireman from Massachusetts said walking. What do you say? I'm oh, look at those glasses. Yes. Uh, Don't change the subject. <laughs> yeah. Well, I decided this time, why not? Strolling or walking? Good. Strolling or walking? I need you out to call Ron. You're up the floor now, Ron. Need Susan and Richard to make it a perfect score for you. What have you got for old well, Ron there? It's the same idea, but this is more popular, so I... Jogging. Jogging. Aww. It's different from walking, of course. Sorry. <sighs> Not yeah. when I do it. <clears throat> Richard? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 would, I would have said walking, but I didn't think they had legs, so I said they were crawling up. Crawling up the street. Thank yeah. you. Thank I you. knew I'd get appeal to your sympathy. I might get All a right. hand... Now, Ryan, you're up to four. Ellen, that means you need two to tie, three to win. Okay. Tom said, nobody cares about me. Today, today, this very day, my twin brother forgot my blank. <laughs> this tear plays in this person. That's a sad story. Today, my twin brother forgot my blank. Nobody cares about me today. My twin brother forgot my blank. Rimshot. Boom, 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 boom. We didn't request three chapters of war and peace. We just want a simple response. Well, you're dressed for it. <laughs> Dignity. This is John White's best. Here we go, Ellen. Tom said, nobody cares about me. Today, my twin brother forgot my blank. Birthday. Yeah. Birthday. <laughs> All right. I had two answers in my mind. That was one. So did I, and I happened to get the other one. Oh, you did. I mean, nothing tacky in forgetting his name. Name, yeah. Name oh. or birthday are yeah. the two good yeah. responses there. There could be some others. I can't think of any. What have you got? You kidding, baby. I'm hot tonight. Birthday. Birthday it is. Four to three to score. I didn't have a governess or private school, so I said birthday. Oh, yeah, birthday. 
The score is now tied four to four. Ellen, if you match Richard, you will win the game. If you don't, it ends in a tie. We got to go to a tiebreaker. Go, Richard. Uh, well, the name of this show is Match Game, right? Right. So you're supposed to match them, aren't you? Right. Birthday. <laughs> Please. Ron, it was a pleasure to meet you. Good luck to you. We're going to send a lot of stuff your way from Match Game GM. Sit down now. Can you move this thing around here? I don't want you to fall down. So I want to say goodbye to Ron Prendergast, a good fellow, who we'll spit him off and spit a message for you. Hurry back. <laughs> here we go. She is going to have a go at the really big money now. She could win over $20,000. Wow. We're going to have two audience matches for you. Remember, whatever you win in the audience match will be multiplied by 10. We pulled a studio audience and said, write down your best answer to this. You got to have blank. 500 for matching the most popular, 250 for the second, and 100 for the third. And three of the six stars can help you. Choose on the, uh, the stars who have a glimmer of intelligence in their eyes. <laughs> Don't call on the dummies. All right? Brett, you got to have heart. One. Hope. Gotta have hope. There's only one answer. Now, who's looking at you? Who's trying to get your attention? Who's making eyeball contact? Susan? Susan. I wasn't. <laughs> oh, you weren't. Yeah. Now, see, we all had the same one. Yeah. You gotta have soul. All right, you gotta have soul, you gotta have heart, you gotta have hope. You want one of those? Money. One of your own. Heart. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Heart. Oh, God. Let's see if heart is under the $100 response. Oh. Slide it. You gotta have love. Well, Aww. that's a nice thought. You gotta have one. Let's take a look at the next Aww. one, please. Didn't occur to this panel. <laughs> you gotta have class. Didn't occur to this panel either. No, and no love, no class. No love and no class. Right, <laughs> <That's> Richard. <good. laughs> All right, let's see if we got a little heart on top. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> You got five hundred dollars now, and that means at least you'll. Uh, uh, excuse me. It means a lot. You're not happy. Oh, I'm just happy. It's so a happy course. show. It means at least you'll play for us ten times that amount, or five thousand dollars. But we have one more audience match, and this is it. Blank mobile. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Who? Brett. Automobile. Gary. Oldsmobile. Oh, you're yeah, in enjoy. the toilet. Snowmobile. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh. So there you have snowmobile, automobile, and Oldsmobile. You want one of those? Oh, geez. Uh, automobile. Yeah. Automobile? All right, do we have an automobile? I don't know. $100 response. Batmobile. Yeah. Oh, very Batmobile. Adorable. Golly like gee, Robin. <laughs> Batmobile. May we look at the next one, please? Yay! Snowmobile! All right, that's the one that Joyce gave you. We're looking for automobile. Let's find out if it's under the $500 it's got, number. It's, if it's got a high... Yes, it is. There we go. Brett gave you that one. Another 500 for you. Another uh, 5000 added to your previous potential. Gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. However, if you step up there and spin that wheel and get lucky and it stops on a star, you will play for $20,000. Wow. Good luck to you. Go up there and have a go at it, and we'll all root for a double and hope it happens for her. Here we go. Double. Jump on the thing. I'll light a match. Won't work. Too bad. Well, all right, you got $10,000 you're going for with Charles Nelson Riley, and good luck to you, and this is it. Marilyn Blank. All right. No help from the studio audience. I just want you to take a look at it, make sure that we all understand what I'm saying. All right? All right, Charles. You're on your own. Now, if you give us the answer that Charles has written on the card, we give you 
$10,000. What do you say to that? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Well, apparently the audience thinks you're right. According to their reaction, we'll find um, out right now what we went, I, What's going on now? It's the elections. Right. So I went a whole political route. I'm sorry. I said President Monroe's great-granddaughter. <laughs> <And> then... <laughs> Congratulations, Ellen Shepard, $11,000. Join us next week for Match Game PM. Dean Raven here. Thank you all. Goodbye. And contestants will receive polyglide coat protection for your car. Heat activated formula that penetrates, protects. Polyglide coat won't let Mother Nature rip you off. Available to new car dealers everywhere. And a Caravelle watch from Bulova. Stunning ladies' watch. All the sports accuracy never needs winding. Caravelle by Bulova, the inexpensive watch flying store sell. And a master mechanic, 10-gallon shop back from two value hardware stores. A combined value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide. And a Fabergé collection featuring organic shampoo and conditioner. Both of pure wheat German honey for fresh-smelling hair with super shine, super body organics by Fabergé. 100% background polyester, soft pitch piles, completely machine washable. And a calculator and gas miser gives extra mileage by cleaning carburetor and valves. Better mileage from better performance. The name says it all, gas miser. And a souffle dish and Kraft macaroni and cheese dinners and Kraft makes a cheese sauce. You know your family's going to like it. And Turtle Wax, the world's largest selling liquid car wax, cleans, polishes, protects. And Turtle Wax super hard shell car wax kit cleans, waxes, seals in the shine. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Get ready to match the stars. Dick Martin. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. From Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, Deborah Lee Scott. From Family Feud, Richard Dawson. And Joyce Beulah Fox. As we play the star studded big money match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM. Thank you, Johnny Olson. Thank you, friend. You're a wild and exciting bunch, and so are you two. Oh, you're beautiful. Now say hello to these two beautiful people, Donna Forrest and Michael Becker. Hello. We welcome each of you. Thank you. We'd like to find out a little bit about each of you, and Michael, we'll begin with you, sir. Well, I'm single, 28. I manage a condominium. You don't have to tell everything, Michael. <laughs> Single at 28. Is that okay with you? Right here. Perfect. What else? I manage a condominium in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Perfect. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out here for my dad's birthday. What kind of oh. car do you drive? <laughs> that's, that's enough of that. Yeah. that. Your father's birthday. Yes, sir. Well, that's nice of you to do that for the old fella there. Yeah, it's fun. All right. If you're 28, well, never mind. Then. <laughs> Donna, what about you? Where are you from and all that? Oh, I live in Cerritos. I'm married. I have two little boys, Brent and Scott. Yeah. I enjoy playing tennis. And I like to refinish antique furniture. That can't be right. You do? Yes. Do you use uh, urethane finishes? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you use a real I use varnish. anything that's in the garage. Okay. Good luck to both of you. Thank May you. I point out to each of you that here on Match Game PM, you'll have three opportunities to match as many of them as you can. <laughs> And the one is that most often, at the end of the third round, will be the winner. We'll go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. <laughs> hmm. 
Now, Michael, you may go first. You may have A or B. A, please. A it is, and we're off. A it is, and we're off. Sheila said, ah. Sheila said, I told dumb Dora that I was attracted to men in high places. So Dora fixed me up with a blank. <laughs> You thinking about that, Michael? I think I had it. All right. I told dumb Dora that I was attracted to men in high places, so Dora fixed me up with a blank. Finished. Oh, you're not finished. Very good. You thought of that? Well, yeah. don't take it. Think of something else now. Don't you love it? The Monday morning I'll walk quarterback. over to Michael. Here we go. Michael, Sheila said, I told dumb Dora that I was attracted to men in high places, so Dora fixed me up with a blank. Trapeze artist. <laughs> Trapeze <laughs> artist. I like that. It's uh, someone who would be in a high place. He's a real a rather swinger. esoteric what? answer, but... Okay, he says trapeze artist. I say that's high, but certainly not high enough. I said an aviator. An aviator, a pilot. Yeah, he's way up there. That's a good one. Probably the definitive answer. Talk about dating yourself. Yeah, yeah. Aviator. <laughs> I was going to say pilot, but people think of Freddie Silverman or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, no, I said uh, the man... Oh, wait, just a minute. I said the man sitting on a flagpole. They used to have flagpoles. No, no, you'll there. love it. No, no, you, it's an answer. It's too intellectual for this group. You, you had the nerve to say he was dating right, himself. Thank you. Thank you. Flagpole sitting. Flagpole sitting. Uh, 1937. What do you? That was the year I was born. Shh. What you? I'm sorry. I said an astronaut. You said an astronaut. You don't have to apologize. No, no right. I know I that, but I thought of trapeze artist, I thought of flagpole sitter, but the high, 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 or high, high. You're right. High, 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 high. <laughs> Deborah Lee, Sheila said, I told dumb Dora I was attracted men in high places, so Dora fixed me up with a... Airline pilot. Airline pilot. Talk about dating yourself. <laughs> what do you say? Someone high, I was thinking Greg Allman, and then I said no. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you say? What did you say? Pilot. Pilot, okay. Now, what do you say, my dear? Oh, this is married to Colonel Sanders. Yes. Yes. We're in the deep fire. Don't pluck The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Chicken little, give us your answer. A high lima. Lama. A high. A high lama. Has been. They sit on a mountain. You got a high lima there. Not you meant. Llama is L-A-H-M-A. Oh, dear me. What I put up with here. All right, here we go. Are you ready, Donna, for this? This is your first. Eve said, Adam was having rotten luck. So for good luck, he took off his fig leaf and put on a blank. Adam was having rotten luck, so then to change your luck, to have good luck, he took off his fig leaf and put on a blank. There she goes, folks. You'll say it when you say it. <laughs> Leave her alone. Why you She's don't over mean 29. To me. I've done nothing. Way but... over. <laughs> what you? Nothing. Just nothing. Eve said Adam was having rotten luck, so for good luck, he took off his fig leaf and put on a four leaf clover. Yeah. Yeah. Kid smart. I don't think of, I don't think I qualify. I said clover leaf. Clover leaf. Is that a four leaf yeah. clover? Yeah. Oh. You just write the answers and let him do the judging. I guess so. Oh, I should right, let him right. be the judge. Yes. What do you a say? Clover leaf is only lucky if it. If Keep it talking. Falls. They're still going to know what you are in the end. <laughs> Is implicit. I see. Would you I hate him. <laughs> Not him. I know. Just show us your card. Hold it up it's there a and say it. Picture and I oh, think it's what a surprise! <laughs> Come on now. Put it up there. Hold it up there. <laughs> now, this, I think this is a man, even though it's a picture. A clover. So okay, there it is. Four. Right. Yeah. Leaf. Four. Got it. Okay. Uh, now, you'll never guess, you'll what, never Charles guess what Charles has for an answer, will what you? you? 
What do you have, Steven? You know darn well. <laughs> it's upside down. Well. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> Now, Beverly, uh, Eve's Adam was having rotten luck, so for good luck, he took off his fig leaf and put on a... Four leaf. Four leaf. Four leaf. <laughs> She's going like gangbusters in her first round here. What have you got there? Those children who live above me. Oh, they make a lot of noise. Oh, they argue. Yes. About everything. Right, right. I said a shamrock. It's exactly a shamrock. the same. Yes. Four leaf. Right. Over. I didn't want to be accused yeah. by either of them. Yes, yeah, right. So they you... look down and steal Who from us. Who did you steal your yeah. answer from? <laughs> Probably from her. Pat O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? He stole his answer from me. What did you say? <laughs> Tell Poorly us, Chicken Clover. Little, Poorly Clover. I must say, that's most unusual in the first round, isn't it? It, I don't know if we've ever had that Maybe once or twice happen uh, On a match game PM yeah. For one to get all six celebrities in the first round Because they're oh. really tough We'll see what happens from here on in After we oh. see about this Okay We are uh, Now Let's see Who goes here Oh, Michael, you may have your choice of A or B A or B um, I'll go with A again A or B A Hey. hey. You sure you want A? B is good. Is Let's take B. You want B? Sure. No, wait, no, no, can't do that. Can't do that. You said A, and A is what you get. <laughs> You're trying to make him crazy because he's cute. I don't know cute. what they are. He is cute. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Did you hear that the bionic woman had an accident? No! no. Well, let me tell you about it. It says here... Uh, they had to send her to Detroit to get her blank realigned. <laughs> the, bion the bionic I, I, woman. I don't want to be accused of... Yes, by all means, write your answer over there. You write your answer over but there. But don't look at it. <laughs> now, what are we having the realigned? bionic woman. Yeah. You know who she is. Sure. She had an oh, accident. The they had to the send bionic. her to Detroit to get her blank realigned. Spelling doesn't count here. We can figure it out. Yeah, had her blank Get her blank realigned. Yeah, well. Let the camera you. catch the woman with the black velvet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay, you got it, hon. Go, baby, go. The bionic woman had an accident, Michael, and they sent her to Detroit to get her blank realigned. Front end? Her front end. <laughs> Now he's, you know, that, I, I, guess. I had a couple answers in my head, that was not one of them, that but that's a not, very good that's one. That's a very good one. Yeah. I, I'm afraid I said her body. Her body, yeah. yes, yeah. Yes. But I've seen, now that I mentioned, I see these signs, get your front end aligned at all of you. What do you say? How could he be beautiful and witty? He is witty. Oh, I wish I were five years younger. He <laughs> <laughs> wishes you were 25 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> On the commercial, if, I said, if, would you like to go out with Brett? He said, if she were just 25 years younger. Right. Yes. I'm merely passing on what looks could you know if there's You a, would be dead. You know if there's seating uh, yet in the main dining room, some yes. of us... <laughs> would you... Uh, now, I think this may be a match. Go. Now, this is because he said, you said front end, didn't you, gorgeous? <laughs> and I said boobs, and that's your front end. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yes or no? That's headlights. No. Okay. No. Uh, Thank you. What do you Thank say? you. I said brass boobs. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So, Bionic Woman had an accident, and they sent her to Detroit to get her blank realigned, and Michael said front end. Isn't front end part of the body, no, the body? It's no. a part, but you have to be a little more specific than that. Front end of the woman. This no, is my I, front I end. Now, I don't know where your <laughs> front end is, but this happens to be my front Let's end. Let's hear it for her front end. I, uh... <laughs> she is a caution, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she's got the him and she's flaunting him. There. When are you going to Detroit? Yes. <laughs> I thought it was an excellent answer. Yeah! Oh, there we go. We got one. Doesn't that kill you, Bert? Yes, Joyce. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is, but I've heard it referred to. Her uh, chassis. With a chassis. 
The chassis would be the entire framework, yeah. the entire body. Uh, the entire of, body. Yeah. So but the they refer to that's an that, old-fashioned word. That is. From an old-fashioned Well, no, they still girl. call it that in Detroit. No. Well, now we go to round three, right? And uh, again, Michael, since she's matched all the celebrities, she's going to just sit there and hope you strike out. So you have a chance to go for A or B here again. B. B. I did not influence him in not any way. Not at all. Not at all. Didn't say a word. At the police lineup, Rita said, it's easy to tell which one is the kissing bandit. See, that guy in the middle is kissing the blank. <laughs> At the police lineup, Rita said, sure. it's easy to tell which one is the kissing bandit. Now see, that guy... In the middle. ...is the kissing police, the blank. At the police, Rita said, it's easy to tell which one is the kissing bandit. Right. See, that guy in the middle is kissing the... Man, that guy in the middle is kissing. Bye. <laughs> Think about it, Michael. Oh, wait, can I see it? Sure, oh, indeed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We're waiting. All right, I don't know. I just, I... Okay, Michael. Oh. At the police lineup, Rita said it's easy to tell which one is the kissing bandit. See, that guy in the middle is kissing the blank. The victim? The victim. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's not a bad answer. Uh, if you hear a good one, I hope you will demonstrate in some way. What do you say? I'd say that he was kissing Angie Dickinson or the policewoman. The policewoman. You don't like that either? So that means Donna Forth wins the game. What the rest of you have? Victim and charge. Come on down. I will put this Congratulations. Out over there. Michael Becker. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to have you here on Match Game PM, Michael Becker. Thank you, Thank you very much. So long, Michael. Don't forget to write. Send us a letter or two occasionally, a postcard, anything. In the meantime, you watch this message. Not a girl. This lady has a chance to win an enormous amount of money. You ready for it? There yeah. it is. It's all yours, Donna Forrest. Right. Now, to help you win some money, we've got two audience matches for you here. And I want to point out, whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by ten, and that'll be the final dollar figure you'll be playing for. And it could be a big bundle. Let's begin now. Not too long ago, in this very room, we had a bunch of people, and we put a question to them, and we got their most popular response to this. Thumb blank. Now, the answer they gave us most often will get you $500 if you match it. Now, if you match their second most popular answer, you get $250. And then it's $100 if you match the third. And three of our six celebrities are permitted to suggest answers and help you in that way. Got to go with Richard. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oh. All right, there's one. Joyce. Joyce. Thumbprint. Thumb some print. Oh, no, no, no. Brit. Some tack. Yeah. Yeah. Some tack, some print, and some nail. Now you can choose one of those or reject them entirely and give us one of your own. What is your pleasure? I think I'll go with thumb tack. Yeah. Thumb tack. Okay. And that was number that was Brett's that was answer. Number three. The audience kind of egged you onto that, didn't they? Yes. If she blows it because of you, you got to make up the money for it. You can't get out of the building until you give her the... All right, here we go. She's looking for thumbtack here. There's no hiding place, my dear. Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Thumbnail. All right, yeah. that's one of the answers. That's the one that Richard gave you. Let's see if we get a thumbtack under the $250 number. Thumbprint. We got two out of three so far. Mm. You're probably right. I hope so. Okay. I hope so. Last chance for thumbtack. May we see it, please? Oh! Yay! <laughs> All right, congratulations. Yeah. Now, 
You've won the $500, which means that the very least that you can play for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Okay, you're really building it up here. Now, let's see how much more money you can win with this second audience match. All right, may we see it, please? Simple blank. All right. Sing out, Louise. <laughs> Richard? Simple nail. No. <laughs> well, that didn't work too well. Simon. Simon. Okay, there's one. Deborah Lee? I didn't even think I wasn't. I never You're, get picked on. Right there. there uh, it is. <laughs> now, um, it's your first shot at it, Deborah Lee. Now, just think about it for a second. The We're other ones I have tons. Simple blank. Uh, we'll give you. Is there any thanks for my guys? Sit. Yes. Oh, Simpleton. That's a good one. Simpleton. Yeah. All right, that's yours. I like it. Sure. Simpleton. Uh, the only thing I can think of that's left is simple-minded. Simple-minded. So those are the three. Simple-minded, Simpleton, and Simple Simon. What is your choice? Simple Simon. Simple Simon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I it well, we'll see if we're going to be right again. Let's begin down at the bottom as usual, and we'll reveal the $100 response. Simple-minded. Okay, that was up there. So far, you're doing pretty good with these celebrities. You've got good ESP with these people over here, and that may be significant a little bit later on. May we see the $250 response? Simpleton. Simpleton. See, two out of three now. You got it last time? Yeah. All right, last chance to show us your simple Simon. Go! Yeah. Now, you pick up another $500 there, multiplied by 10 is $5,000, added to the previous $5,000, and that makes $10,000. Boy, she's pretty good with arithmetic, too, isn't she? All right, that's the pot you're shooting for. We'd be glad to give you the money, but you have to match one celebrity, and this has to be an exact match. You have to choose one now. Richard. Okay, here we go. Swing around here and face me. I'll get the $10,000 question. No help from the audience, if you please. Good luck to you, my dear. Here it is. Blank majors. Blank majors. Now, Donna, Richard is finished. We ask you to give us an answer which you think will match mm -hmm. his. The answer he's written on the card. Uh -huh. And if you do it, you get the money. $10,000. Yeah, Blank majors. Lee majors. Yeah. Lee majors. Okay. She's very tense at this moment, Richard, because she says Lee Majors will match your answer. I thought of the lady that he's married to. Oh, Farrah, no, he didn't. Farrah, Farrah Fawcett, Fawcett Majors. No, Majors. No, 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 don't say that. <laughs> Richard, don't I say that. I always think of her. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think of Lee a lot. Oh, well, I think... <laughs> sitting down is that her knees are shaking a lot because it's a very exciting moment in her lifetime and we're all friendly. very very happy for her now i'm sure richard will find some way to soothe oh, her in the meantime we've got a little message that should soothe you so take a look at this We hope you'll join us next week here when Match Game PM will present more engaging celebrities such as these and more excitement and another bundle of dough we're just dying to give away. Thank you. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Ready to...
Charles Nelson Riley, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and Joyce Bulafon as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now here's the star of Match Game PM. Don't whistle, don't whistle that way. Dawson has very sensitive eardrums. Pardon? <laughs> very handsome. Thank you very much. Oh, You're damn. all a beautiful, gifted, gay bunch here. How are you? Not all Watch of us. Watch that last one. Uh, listen, what you're doing is that show? you've got in your hand? What? That's my microphone. Isn't that beautiful? It looks... It'll go small or it'll go big. <laughs> And it's I mine. It's alive, alive, alive. Pole, Listen, you're doing a show called Barbary Coast. Barbary aren't you? Coast, when Monday nights. What is it? You want to know when it is? When you know, is that? It's on Monday nights, the Barbary Coast, on 8 ABC. 8 o'clock? 8 that? o'clock. Or following the football game or before the football game, depending on which coast you live yeah. on. Is which coast do you live on? Is it steady work? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Firm 13, folks. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, you're going to be just terrific tonight. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's say hello to, to our two players here, Dottie Styes and Karen Mouton. <laughs> Ladies, we greet you. We welcome you. And we ask you in this order to tell you a little bit about ourselves, uh, to tell you a little bit about myself. No, you tell me about yourself. <laughs> All right. What? I'm single. In fact, I'm very single. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Very single. <laughs> I'm from the You're Bay Area. You're not alone, honey. <laughs> You're <laughs> right. I'm specifically Oakland, California. Excuse me. She's got a better chance than you have, Brad. <laughs> 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 but you know, I'm I love you. I'm never going to Encino with you oh, again. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah. Excuse me for interrupting, Karen. All right. I'm employed for several libraries in Oakland, and I also commute to San Francisco, and I work for a record producer manager of a rock group out of the San Francisco area. And that's why you go to San Francisco? Well, basically. Not oh, that. all right. I don't want to ask any more about that. <laughs> Please don't. If you want to go to San Francisco, that's all right with me. Okay. Now, what interesting little things do you want to tell us about yourself, Dottie? Well, I'm originally from New Jersey and now living in Ventura. I have two children, a boy, Michael, and a girl, Kimberly, and I'm very happy to be here, and I hope I get a chance to kiss Richard. Oh, really? <laughs> now, wait a minute. What have you got for me? A kiss, too. Oh, you have a kiss, too. All right. Before either one of us can kiss you, you have to win some money. All right, we'll find out if that's going to happen or not. Now, I want to remind both of you that you're going to be trying to match as many of our celebrities as you can, and the winner goes on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. Now, we'll push this button and ask Karen to make her selection, A or B, if you please. B. B. Here we go. We're off and running. Off and running. King Kong said... Uh, hi, this Faye. Is, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, anybody got a huge toothpick? I've got a blank stuck between my teeth. <laughs> King Kong said, I need a huge toothpick. <laughs> I got a blank stuck. All right, I didn't see your answer, but you're finished. <laughs> you're so handsome. Aren't you sweet, but you must get oh, to the business okay. at hand here now. There'll be time for that later. Darling. Come to my dressing room after the show. And as <laughs> Groucho Marx said many years ago, bring a loaf of rye bread. No, he didn't say that. Yeah, Groucho Marx said that. No, he didn't say that. Who said that? Karl Marx. Karl Marx said that. <laughs> Charles, we're waiting for you. As there usual. has to be one slow-witted one in every group, <laughs> and Charles is ours there. All right, here we go. Karen, King Kong said, hey, anybody got a huge toothpick? I got a blank stuck between my teeth. Don't boo. A banana. A banana. <laughs> what? It's all right. She'll go back to San Francisco if you're not careful. Leave her alone. William, what did you say? I said, King Kong said, I've got a girl stuck between stuck. my teeth. Okay. 
Okay. That's good. It's not bad. He certainly had wide spaces between his teeth, didn't he? Oh. He's a very small girl. Oh, I see. Brett, he what do you say? Braces. Oh, he did. I said he had a arm. He had a arm. <laughs> Just a minute now. Leave her alone. Go ahead. Charles. <laughs> he was in a movie. Yes. So yeah. he had a movie star stuck in his tooth. Movie star? <laughs> Fay Ray could have gotten yeah. stuck between his teeth. That's uh, All of those are logical answers now. Now, what do you say? I, I remember the movie. Now we come to the illogical. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yes. I saw the movie and I also saw some of the edited versions. Yes. And they, they, the fella had, uh, you know, natives stuck between his. Oh, really? Th and so I figured, well, why not between his teeth? Had a native between his teeth. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, now we'll come to the logical, to that answer. logical <laughs> answer from Richard. Well, thank you, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> I said person. A person. <laughs> Karen says, I've got a banana stuck between my teeth, is what King Kong said. Now, what do you say King Kong said? It ain't a banana. It ain't? <laughs> what? What is it? Well, I saw that movie. Don't, okay, don't say it. Come on now. <laughs> a, you building. Yeah. a building. A <laughs> building. No, now listen, it could have been any one of those things, the airplane or any of those things flying around. Sure. That was okay. Now, Dottie, this is all yours. You ready for that? Here's Dottie's first round question. All right. Donna phoned the psychiatrist. Doctor, you remember my uncle who thinks he's a hot dog? <laughs> well, he just covered himself with mustard, and now he's sitting on my blank. <laughs> Dog or think I shall walk dog. among you with trepidation in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wouldn't touch Ever. that with a, <laughs> a microphone. Yeah. Now, don't think so hard. You're going to strain something, and then we're going to have to send you to first aid. And Could there you go. a few bars of Miss America yeah. she <laughs> might remember to fly. <laughs> now, we're all set, and we come to Dottie. This lady, Donna, phoned the psychiatrist. She said, Doctor, you remember my uncle who thinks he's a hot dog. Well, he just covered himself with mustard. Now he's sitting on my blank. Bed. Bed? <laughs> don't, you, don't you feel warm and loved and wanted? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay, will tell him, fat lady. Yes. <laughs> now he's sitting on my blank. She says, bed. Well, uh, if he's full of mustard. Yeah. And, and he he's, thinks he's a hot dog. And he thinks he's a hot dog. He's got to be sitting on her. Yeah. Bunny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, all I meant by that, of yes. course. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 I don't no, have to no, 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 no. Okay. I no, won't get bleeped. No, no, no. no. Yes. No, don't it. stop applauding. It was. I said roll, which is the same as buns. Yes. <laughs> right, that's good. All right. It's now. a variation. What do you mean it's not that good? Oh, I said, didn't say that. I said that's good. Oh, that's just equally oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Charles. Couldn't we get her her own show and get her? <laughs> I said very similar to Williams, uh, but in the left one, she recently had a shot, so it's bun singular. Bun singular. Yeah. <laughs> now. You remember my uncle who thinks he's a hot dog? Well, he just covered himself with mustard. Now he's sitting on my blank. And uh, she said, Dottie said, bed. An unlikely possibility, well, but nevertheless, it may come up. he was covered with mustard, covered. I assumed that he would be sitting on her kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Kitchen sink is what it says there. Uh, I'm going to have that analyzed. <laughs> <laughs> We've only just given the <laughs> All right, choice. I don't have to. I, I could match, couldn't I? You could match if you said bed. I didn't. I said buns. You said buns. <laughs> okay, so there's our first round, and uh, we have no score, but we've got uh, two more questions, one for each of these ladies, and we'll see how uh, round two progresses in the moment or so. We are ready to push the button, go to round two. And uh, now let's see, since we have no score, she went first last time, why don't you go first this time? Just for the heck of it, huh? I'll take B. You'll take B, that's it. You got it, Dottie. The doctor said to the patient, Madam, 
If you want to ring for the nurse, pull on this cord, don't yank my blank. <laughs> Charles, are you having trouble? No, I'm fine. Oh, that's good. What your rate of Did I jostle? Did Charles I jostle would like you, another sir? Reading. I didn't mean to jostle you. There you go. Gene Charles would like another reading. The doctor said to the patient, Madam, if you want to ring for the nurse, pull on this cord, don't yank my blank. He's the first oh, one. Oh, the fitting. doctor. The doctor said. Oh, the that. doctor. The doctor said to the patient, Madam. All right. I have it anyway. No help from the audience, if you don't please. Yank, we appreciate yank. your enthusiasm, but you know, you may be calling out rotten answers. And we can't have that now, can we? All right. Everybody ready? Here we go. Joyce, what? Oh, Joyce. I'm learning how to spell. Spelling doesn't <laughs> count. Just put that in. Just, just give us a clue. I got the eye. I know what you're trying to say there. All right. Here we go. The doctor said to the patient, Dottie, Madam, if you want to ring for the nurse, pull on this cord. Don't yank my blank. The stethoscope, is that? Stethoscope, yeah. that's a So she says stethoscope. What do you say? Well, I mean, the patient was obviously mad. The doctor was a psychiatrist. All psychiatrists we know, they talk like this and they have the beard. Beard, don't pull on my beard. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I did an accent. I told a story and I got that's a right. move. That's right. You're a mean butt. Mean group. Yeah. Mean, mean group. Brett. I'm discarding this group. I'm just saying belt. And belt. Going straight off. <laughs> They're coming for us. Charles. Well, you know, usually on the nighttime show, I let it go for about, I think it's 10 or 11 minutes. And then just for a change of pace, <laughs> I come up with a match. Yeah. He says, Madam, if you want to ring for the nurse, pull on this cord, don't yank my blank. And she said, stethoscope. What do you say? Well, I was going to say zipper, but I didn't. <laughs> I said I'm glad you stethoscope. Did. Stethoscope. <laughs> okay. Now, Richard. I had a picture in my mind of the doctor leaning over the lady patient. Yes. <laughs> and he said, when you want the nurse. Yes. Ring the bell. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't yank my pie. <laughs> okay. Disgusting. <laughs> you went through all that to get a buzz. Well, what am I going to do? I had a wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce. You look embarrassed. <laughs> Show us what a wrong answer this really no. looks like. Uh, this, is a, you, this is a super answer. Not in your it ain't college. spelled right. <laughs> I asked Richard's help. I'm sorry it took so long. But Don't involve me with his spelling, <laughs> please. <laughs> Come here now. <laughs> Want to see what? <laughs> rotten spelling looks like? That's what rotten spelling looks like. Get out of here. <laughs> yes. This is how she spells tie. That's tie. <laughs> All right. So, what do we got here? You got three. And you've got to match three to stay in the game, four to win the game. Ready? Here we go. I have a letter. Oh. It's a letter addressed to Heloise's household hymns. Oh. <laughs> Dear Heloise, oh. how can I improve the appearance of my head? How? Signed, Kojak. <laughs> and she answers, Dear Baldy, blank your head. <laughs> Blank your head. Now, some one or two may come to mind immediately. Wait a minute. What is going on here? I don't know. You have a very limp. Listen, if you got a screwdriver, get me a screwdriver. Don't stand there. Get me a screwdriver. Do what I tell you to. I'll have a Bloody Mary. No, no. Yeah, I'll fix that for you. Wait a minute. It's not. I forgot the question. <laughs> well, there's a card. Read your own card there. Wait a minute. I gotta there's get a this. letter to Eloise Hazard. Yeah. That's right. Doctor, will I ever play the piano again? Yes, you will. Screw your hands. 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 Screw your
Mm. There we go. Very nice. There it is. Now, the show's is really it still rolling, limp? Oh, yes, it's still limp. <laughs> Give me that cup. Oh, that's a good <laughs> Put that in there. I didn't spill it right. Sign Kojak. Dear Baldy, blank your head. Very Everybody good, ready? John. Lee, would you put that in the slot? We're just stalling all this time waiting for you to get your small mind going on this enormous problem. Now, let's go. I love Fair. it when you're strict. <laughs> <laughs> Letter to Heloise's household hints, Dear Heloise, how can I improve the appearance of my head? Signed, Kojak. Dear Baldy, blank your head. Soak your head. Soak your head. <laughs> Little lady, we good to answer. Very good answer there. What do you say? I figured if it was a pretty girl asking the question, she'd want to see herself on the top of his head. Polish. Polish your head. That's good. Yeah, That's I like good. that. Yeah. You got a good one, too? Well, you know, in Maine, we're awful clean and neat. We yeah. believe that cleanliness is next to godliness. Do you right. know that Joyce went to private schools? She did. That's, that's why, why I she kept can't... my children in public schools. Yes, that's right. I said wax and or polish. Wax and or polish. <laughs> it's not getting close to soak your head. We I may have a... a boring answer. Paint your head. So Paint your head. Paint your head. Uh, Karen, you got to match the three bottom celebrities to stay in the game. And, Lee, you are up. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Why well, you made me do it too fast? Cover your head. Cover your head. What do you have there? Yeah. Thank you very much for being with us here on Match Game okay. PM. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And good luck on your trips to San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Karen Mouton. While she's spinning off, we'll give you these messages. You ready? Here we are with Dottie Styes, and it's time for the Big Money Super Match, where you can win over $10,000. Now, to do that, we have two audience matches for you, and whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. Uh, here we go with the first one. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank lift. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the next one, you get $250, and the bottom one gets you $100. Three celebrities are permitted to help. Whom do you call on? Richard. What do you say, Rich? Fork lift. Fork lift. That's a well-known thing in industry, right? Lee. Lee, have you got one? Face lift. Face lift. That's two. William. William Shatner. Oh, my gosh. I've got to think of something for lift. Yes. Uh, um, yes. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ski lift. Ski lift. <laughs> you know, for years and years, I've been saying, if he's got anything, William Shatner has a quick mind. <laughs> I, said it. I, learn, I learn lines yeah, very quickly. Alert, you quick. Yeah, no, all right. Now, you got forklifts. Facelift and ski lift. You want one of those? Forklift. You do? Okay. Forklift. Did you let the audience uh, influence your selection on that? No. No, you didn't. That's your own choice. Okay. Forklift is what she is looking for. And she, of course, hopes it's under the $500 response. But we'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Facelift. All right. Looking for forklift. Here we go with a $250 response. Ski lift. Well, you got two out of three that the celebrities gave you. Let's see if uh, forklift is under the $500 response. <laughs> forklift is Congratulations. Okay. Now, Donnie, you've won $500, which means that the least you can be playing for is 10 times that $500 or $5,000. Now let's see how much more you can win with the second audience match, and here it is. We polled a recent audience, got their best response to this. Blank the cat. Now, Blank. Look, now I want the cat or the cats, because once it, I couldn't see over there. It's just the cat the singular. Cat. Blank the oh. cat. All right, whom do you call on? Brett. Brett. <laughs> how about Felix? How about Felix? <laughs> Charles. Charles, have you got one? I got a lousy one. Well, let's have it. Let out the Let cat. out the cat. <laughs> All right. Joyce? Joyce? Why do you do that? You Take the garbage. Say, put out the cat. Oh. Put out the cat? Get, he, is what it did Charles okay to say? Go get from out? Let out to put out? Let out the cat. You, you want to say put out the cat? Is that yeah, your I answer? Yeah, put out is All right. right. So you got put out the cat, let out the cat, if your grammar is rotten, <laughs> and uh, Felix the cat. You want one of those? Felix. I you think. want Felix. All right. 
She's looking for Felix the Cat. Let's find out if it's up there. Is it under the $100 response? I ask you, fair and square. Morris! Oh, I love Morris the Cat. He is really one of the great actors of our time. Now, we're looking for Felix the Cat. Here's a $250 response. Fritz the Cat. Last chance for you, Felix, wherever you are. Are you under the $500 response? I ask you now. Felix the Cat. Now, Dottie, you want another $500? We multiply that by 10, which makes another $5,000. We add that to the $5,000 you won previously, gives you a $10,000 pot to shoot for. To collect, you gotta match one celebrity head to head exactly which one will it be? Richard. All right, Richard, you get set to write. Here we go, this is worth $10,000. Stick of blank. Stick of blank. Now he's finished. Dottie, we need your answer. One you think will match his. Stick of... Gum. Gum. All right. $10,000 at stake here. Richard, may we see your answer, please? I want a kiss. This little lady just won $11,000. She's very happy. You are marvelous. Join us next time for more laughs and excitement on Match Game PM. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. Some contestants will receive from Charm Glow the all-new portable electric barbecue, a real barbecue flavor, self-cleaning, automatic temperature control for precise cooking from Charm Glow Products, San Diego, Illinois. And a skip coat worth over $25, crammed full of fresh and lovely makeup by Maybelline. Have a ball, try them all. And the Schick Fresh Air Machine freshes any room in the house, automatically sprays every 15 minutes. A fresh gift idea for yourself or a friend. And a car care assortment featuring Turtle Wax, the world's largest selling car wax, cleans, polishes, protects in one easy operation. Turtle Wax with a hard shell finish. And to keep your car running smoothly, 33 quart cans of Castrol ZTX motor oil. The motor oil of champions for all models and sizes of cars. Castrol represents for cars, motorcycles, and snowmobiles. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Get ready to match the stars. Dick Martin. Brett Summer. Charles Nelson Riley. Elaine Joyce. From Family Feud, Richard Dawson. And Patty Doyle. As we play the star-studded big money match game, BN. And now, here's the star of match game, BN. Gene Rogers! Well, thank you, John. Thank you, friends, for joining us. We're going to have a dandy time because they let him out of the loony bin. <laughs> yes. Now, what do you say we greet our two players here, Marjorie Loring and Doug Jensen? Now, we'd like to find out a little bit about each of you, if you please. And, Doug, we'll begin with you, sir. Tell us the story of your life, anything you wish to contribute. Well, it goes back to, uh, actually, I was an air traffic controller. I was an air traffic controller up until uh, about two weeks ago, and now I'm representing... Uh, 
a world traveling art exhibition. Uh -huh. Two and a half tons of artwork originating in Australia. It's on exhibit right now. Air um, traffic control, that's a difficult job, isn't it? It's uh, very nerve wracking, isn't it? I think that it's And could you never be. have time to get a haircut either, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I work shift, you know? I see, I see. All right, Doug, good luck to you, sir. How about you? I am from the Big Apple, and I make my home now in the Big Orange. <laughs> they missed that? Formerly the Big Apple, now, now the, the Big, Big Orange. Orange. <laughs> oh. Very original. <laughs> Do you do anything to keep your body and soul together? As much as possible. As much as possible. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Well, anyway, may I point out to you that here on Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of those as you possibly can. Thank you. And the one who's done that most often at the end of that third round will be the winner, and will go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. Let's get at it here. Doug, you may have the first shot at it. A or B, sir? Let's start with A. All right. A it is. New game here. Everybody's playing. Sheila said. <laughs> Sheila said. <laughs> I went to a plastic surgeon. Uh -huh. Boy, was he rotten. Oh. I'll tell you how rotten he was. My new nose looks just like my blank. <laughs> That's how rotten he was. My new nose looks just like my blank. That's how bad that plastic surgeon was. Here we go. Doug, Sheila said I went to a plastic surgeon and boy was he rotten. My new nose looks just like my blank. Just like my toe. My toe. My big toe. That's very good. He came up with a goodie there, Dick. Yes, no, but the plastic surgeon was really bad. It looked, my new nose looked like his old nose. Like his old nose, yeah. That was a rotten job. What do you say? Oh, I figured like all plastic surgeons, he just stood across the room and flung a knife at her. Looked like a belly button. Took the whole bloody thing off. Oh! What a dreadful sight, Charles. So English tonight, yes. aren't they? Ear, I'm sorry. Doug. Ear. Haven't got a toe yet, Doug, but... Hang in there. Hang in there, and a toe may toes? show up somewhere <laughs> along the line here. My new nose looks just like my... Liver. <laughs> And may I ask why? I don't... I had it for dinner. Oh, all right. I really don't know why. <laughs> Toe is a good answer, though. Excellent answer. What did you say, oh, Richard? I ordered one uh, order of nose and onions. <laughs> Old nose. Old nose. Old nose. Yeah. We're looking for a toe here, Patty. No. Former nose. Former nose. <clears throat> my new nose looks like my old nose. Well, I guess that's a pretty good answer, too. Now... Marjorie, we got this for you. Little Harry said. Ah. This little Harry, he's little about. Harry. Uh, no, he didn't say that. He said, Was he a child I got or the just meanest short? mother in the whole world. Oh. I'll tell you how mean she is. Just... <laughs> don't bug me. Don't bug me. <laughs> when I'm bad, she don't make me stand in the corner, she makes me stand in the blank. That's very good. I like I mean, that one, Okay. Freddie, over there. Marjorie, little Harry said, I've got the meanest mother in the whole world when I'm bad. She don't make me stand in the corner. She makes me stand in the blank. In the closet. In the closet. <laughs> she said... In the closet. Uh, have oh, you no. seen any closet standers lately? No. Oh, well, one, but we won't mention him. Uh, 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 nothing personal, Richard. No, no, no. Nothing personal. <laughs> no, he made him stand in the bathtub. Kids in the bathtub. bathtub. Oh, yeah. that's right. He didn't want to take a bath. Oh. What did you say? I thought she was really mean, and she was really hateful. Yes. And she said, you go on out and stand in the traffic. Oh! <laughs> that was some mean mother. Hello, Charles. Hey, Gene. Oh. <laughs> uh, in the traffic on the Ventura Freeway at 4.45 p.m. with a blindfold and a bottle of castor oil. <laughs> that's me. You know, 
I'm really surprised with all that he gave you there that we don't get a match out of that somehow. I'm sorry, I would have loved to. Somewhere there should have been a match in there, Somewhere Doug. Somewhere. Okay, let's come to Elaine Joyce. She don't make me stand in the corner, she makes me stand in the... Well, the freeway. The freeway. I mean, he said it all. There was yes. nothing left after the... It's hard to talk Actually, that. on the Slauson off-ramp. You know where that is? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and you, sir? You could have said liver. <laughs> Traffic. Traffic. Yes. He's looking for a closet, Patty. The rain. In the rain. <laughs> she makes me stand in the rain. So there we are at the end of round one. Hey, we, we have no score. Me, but we will score a little bit later. Right now, we want to score with this message for you. Just before we go to this uh, second round here, I want to point out that each of you will receive a souvenir of the, uh, you know, the home version of the match game here. And I think you'll enjoy playing that. Now we'll push the button, go to round two. Doug, you went first last time, so Margie, we'll ask you to go first this time. A. 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 All right. A. 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 What do you say? <laughs> Debbie said A. They think my husband has been a policeman too long. Hey. Last night while he was sound asleep, he read me my rights, then he blanked me. Hey. <laughs> Already. Debbie said, I think my husband has been a policeman too long. Last night, while he was sound asleep, he read me my rights, then he blanked he made me. Made love to me. Then he made love to me. <laughs> well, Marjorie, let's see what we get over here. Right. What did you say? Oh, he booked her. He booked me. Yeah. He read me my rights. That's what policemen do. They book you. That's one of the things they do when they read you your rights. What else, Brett? Hey, I'm going to tell you something, honey. Feisty read her her rights and then he frisked her. He frisked her. Wow! Listen to the audience. They love that. Hey, Ooh. what's happening, Gene? Hey. Arrested me. Arrested you. Okay. She's looking for a little love. Just a little love, a little kiss. Hello, Elaine. Hi, well, this could be a match. Really? Sure. Made love to me is what she said. Booked. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the telephone arrangements do not count here. <laughs> You're so fast. I'll what do you say? You okay. Through. For a little frisky. Frisky. Marjorie wants some love, Certainly Patty. From a cop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He read her rights and then he busted her. He busted her. Ah. He, read, that's right. he read me rights and then he busted me. That's a very interesting answer, but no further comments will be forthcoming from me. Okay. At the lingerie factory, at the lingerie factory, Doug, the supervisor said to Harold, he said, Harold, Harold, I'm afraid you're not cut out for the testing division. You don't test a bra by blanking it. <laughs> That's it. Harold? Yeah, okay. There was just a little section Harold, in the I'm afraid you're not cut out for the testing oh, division. Cut out for the testing division. Right. You don't test a bra by blanking it. Cute. <laughs> Cute. <little>. Yes. <laughs> Sit up straight. <laughs> Show me if you got him. <laughs> okay, Doug. At the lingerie factory. The supervisor said to Harold, Harold, I'm afraid you're not cut out for the testing division. You don't test a bra by blanking it. Uh, Harold wore it, wore the, wearing the bra. You don't test a bra by wearing it. Okay, Doug, you may win enough to get a haircut with that answer. <laughs> what do you say? I say he's got enough for at least a start. Wearing it. All right. One for Doug. Yes, ma'am. I like Doug's haircut. I think it looks cute, and well, I think does. it looks adorable. He's very handsome. He looks like the guy have... who plays with the grizzly bear on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you have better places to spend your money, sweetness. <laughs> I said wearing it. All right, that's two for Doug. Okay, here comes the eat my heart out answer. Here comes... Okay, I just let the audience judge. Yes, I gave a correct answer, but I gave a more particular answer. Yes. Wearing it in the company canteen. Oh. 
your heart out. Eddie. Okay, Doug, you got three so far. Elaine? <laughs> Hello. Would you might like to make a contribution to the Doug Jensen Fund? Absolutely. Wearing it. Oh, you did. Surprise! Yes, I am. She surprised me, Richard. What else are they going to do with it? Oh, there are other things. You could give it to Fred Waring and his brow surveying. (laughs) Right? Well, there are other things you could inflate it. You see, that would be another way of testing it. There might be another thing here. There may be another response here that we've never heard of before, right? I'll bet money on that. (laughs) (laughs) I got confused. I thought that's how you would test it, was by wearing it. Oh. I thought... What, a way that you wouldn't test it would be by marinating it. <laughs> marinating it. Yeah. You don't test a bra by marinating it. No, that would be wrong. Except in this case, you see, Harold was a fella. Oh. That's why it was not proper for him to test it by wearing it. At least that's what it said in the company rule book. I don't know. All right, here we go to round three. Score is five to nothing. Doug, you're ahead, so we're going to ask you to go first. Uh, B. I'll go B. with B this time. One person here will play. Who's that? Miss Marinade. Miss Marinade. Miss Marinade of 1977. Did you hear about the Dean Martin doll? No, I didn't. Would you like to hear about the Dean sure. Martin doll? Let me tell you about him. You wind him up and he walks into a blank. <laughs> now for my next dance. Okay, Doug. This Dean Martin doll. You wind him up and he walks into a blank. A bar. A bar. (laughs) That would be the conditioned reflex response to this question, (laughs) I suppose. But then Patty Deutsch does not always respond in the knee-jerk manner. Why not Thank you. That's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. How about this Dean Martin doll, Patty? You wind him up and he walks into a... Jerry Lewis doll. A Jerry Lewis doll. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I thought it was rather good myself. Marjorie Loring, you've got a match five to tie and six to win. In heaven, one angel said to the other, Last night, I dreamt that Colonel Sanders came to heaven. It was terrible. He tried to blank my wings. <laughs> he tried to blank my wings. Hi, sweetness. Oh, there are a lot of choices for that one. All right. Marjorie Lauren. In heaven, one angel said to the other last night, I dreamt that Colonel Sanders came to heaven. It was terrible. Yes, it was. He tried to blank my wings. He tried to lick my wings. Finger licking good. Finger licking good is their motto, isn't it? Yeah. He tried to lick my wings yes. there. Well, before you before you do that, there's another process that's involved in it, and we'll yes. find out now. Remember, you got to match five to tie and six to win, Dick. I'm afraid before licking, you must deep fry them. Fry. Fry. Okay, Brett. You went to all that trouble for nothing. I'm sorry. Fry. 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 So that means Doug Jensen wins the game. Remember you had Fry, fry. Fry, do you have fry? Pressure cook fry roast. All right. All right. Okay. Stand right over there, if you would, please, sir, on that blue dot. Now say goodbye to Marjorie Loring and thank her for coming in here and playing Match Game PM with thank us. Thank you Marjorie. for having me. Good. Marjorie Loring, ladies and gentlemen. Loring, what are you doing? We want to send this message just for you. We are ready to carry on here with Doug Jensen. It's time now for that big money super match where you can win over $10,000. We mentioned that earlier. Now, to do that, we're going to have two audience matches for you, Doug. And I point out to you, whatever you win in these audience matches will be multiplied by 10. And that'll be the final dollar amount you'll be working and playing for. Here we go. Not too long ago, we polled a studio audience. In this very room, nice bunch like these, friendly, joyful, and all that. said to them, write down the most popular answer to this. Missing blank. Now the answer they wrote down most often is the one you want to try to match. And if you do, you get $500. If you match their second most popular answer, you get $250. 
And for matching the third most popular answer, you get $100. And three of our six celebrities will help you. Richard. What bread is a missing person? <laughs> a missing person. <laughs> Elaine? Um, a missing, I was going to say missinger. No, uh, a missing file. Oh. Oh. Certainly is your popular favorite, isn't it, so far? <laughs> and Charles. My new television show, which airs on the same network at night, The Missing Link. You have the missing link, the missing file, and the missing person. Now, you may choose one of those, Doug, or reject all three and give us one of your own. What's your choice here? I'm going to reject two and go with Charles and missing link. Yeah. Missing link. The audience encouraged you to do that, didn't they? Uh, yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you could turn out to be the villains in this piece. If he goes down the drain, it's your fault. Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Missing in action is one response. Let's go up the ladder and see the $250 response. Missing person. Okay, that was Richard's go. answer. Now, let's see if we get missing link up on top. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, boy, you got it. All right. Now, Doug. You've won the $500. That means the least amount of money you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. And if you're ready, we'll carry on now and see how much more you'll win with your second audience match. Slide it, please. Throw the blank. Okay, here we go. Whom do you want this time? I'm going to start with Charles again. Throw the ball in. You said throw the ball, right? In. In. Throw the ball in. Uh, Brett? Throw the... Throw the fight. No. <laughs> Throw the fight. Well, that's fight. what John Garfield did once okay. in a movie, and I've never forgotten. And back to Richard. Throw the bull. Yeah. Throw the bull. So those are the three now, Doug. Throw the bull, throw the fight, and throw the ball in. In. <laughs> Please. Does it have to be in? Out. Terrific. No, throw the ball, I suppose, would be all right. You know, I don't know. Throw the ball would be okay. What do you want? I think throw the ball will be okay then. I'll go with that. All right. Okay. Let's find out if we got throw the ball up there. May we see the $100 number? Throw the towel in. See how the in is popular? Yes. Marty. <laughs> oh, you. All right. May we see the next one, please? Throw the ball is Richard's answer. You know, okay, you may turn out fight. to be right, and we all thought you were going to be wrong. Well, let's see. <laughs> all right. You want to see? Yeah! All right. May we see it, please? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want another $500 multiplied by 10 is 5,000. Added to the previous 5,000 gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. And we want to give you that money, Doug, but we can't give you the money until you match one celebrity exactly. Which one will that be? I'm going to go with Richard. Wow. Okay. All right, stand on the blue dot there. And here it is, worth $10,000. Good luck to you, Doug. Jack the blank. Jack the blank. Now, Doug, he's made up his mind. We ask you to make up your mind. Think right. it over carefully. Think what you want. Now, you're trying to match Richard now. Give us the answer that he's already written and put on that card, and we give you $10,000. Jack the Ripper. Yeah! Well... It appears that you've matched the audience, but the trick is to get the money is to match Richard. What do you say to that, Richard? I was thinking of a fairy story about... Jack the, the Giant Killer. Yep. His middle name was Ripper. Now, now, 
Next week for Match Game PM, when we'll have another sparkling array of celebrities like these and a lot more money to give away. I'm Gene Rayburn. Tally ho! This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production. Get ready to match the star. Jimmy Walker, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Ryder, Kate Jackson, Richard Dawson, thank you, and Patty Deutsch as we play the star studded big money match game PM. And now, here's the star of the match game PM, Gene <laughs> Aren't you nice? Thank you. You're a lovely bunch. We have to We're greet you. Bananas here. What's wrong? Did I lean against something? You came out just a little less than yeah. perfect. That's <laughs> Sheila Summers. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Nelson, Charles Riley. Hello. How are you? you these you two looked are fine to me. I, but thank of course, you. my eyes wouldn't be able to pick up anything that small. <laughs> Those are two of the regulars. Third ah. regular here. Oh, I'm is... know what you do. Oh, I thought you wanted an autograph. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sir Richard, this is a semi-regular. Cute. Thank you. That's a very depressing suit. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> it's handsome, but it is depressing. It is? Yeah. Black mm. is chic, Patty, not Yeah, black is very yes, chic. Yes, that's right. Thank JJ. You. I beg your pardon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Black is cheap. And we have the black uh, prince with us here. That's, thank you very much from for the black prince. Good times. <laughs> and this lady comes to us from the rookies. And now that all hands have been accounted for, let's welcome Tony Franklin and Susan Bacalea. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. We want to find out where you're from and all that. Let's begin with you. Susan, did I say your name correctly? It's close enough. It is Bacalea. Yeah. Okay. Bacalier. <laughs> Bacalier. You um, say it. Bacalier. I'm sorry, Bacalier. that's wrong. That's wrong, right? <laughs> Where is Susan Bacalier from? Um, I'm fourth generation California. Recently married, almost seven months ago, three days short. Uh, I was a limbo dancer for three years. Another? Oh. Tell <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I love the arts, I love people, and I'm scared to death. You're not scared? I'm, no, I'm now, terrified. <laughs> You mean to tell me for three years you stood up there in one of those cages in a state of semi no. nudity? No, 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 no. no. Limbo dancer! Oh, limbo! Limbo dancer. Oh, limbo dancer. Limbo dan oh, she was I in a constant state of limbo! Oh, go underneath oh, the... Yeah, right. <laughs> it hurts! Okay, is that all you want to say about Susan? Um, yeah. Okay, good luck to Susan. Now let's find out about Tony. Gene, I'm from, originally from Panama, Central America. I moved here in 1958. Welcome to my country. Thank you. <laughs> I am married to a beautiful German young lady. And I am employed uh, as a field representative for an insurance company. Okay, good luck to both of you. May I remind both of you that you'll be trying to match as many of our celebrities as you can. And the winner will go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. <laughs> Choice. You want A or B? I'll go B for my name. What's that? B for my name. B for your name, she says. Name spelled with an N. No. Oh, I'm sorry. B. Bacalier. <laughs> Sally has terrible manners. At the dinner party, she washed her blank in the finger bowl. <laughs> terrible manners. 
She washed Sally has, her... Sally has terrible manners. She washed her blank in the finger bowl. Her I'm blank. To, her blank. Not her blanks. Her blank is what I'm saying. Her blank. At the dinner party, she washed her blank in the finger bowl. <laughs> I don't think too hard. Finished? Okay. JJ? Swamp answers. I gotta have... Dumb answers. You got a dumb answer? Nah, I wouldn't. Let me, Let me see. Know, just, just, I don't, 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 you can't see. Why can't I see? I've already written my answer. You know what? People do that. Half a stick of dynamite. <laughs> but no more. Okay, let's go over here to Susan. Susan, Sally has terrible manners. At the dinner party, she washed her blank in the finger bowl. Feet? Feet? <clears throat> Feet? Feet. Feet. <clears throat> uh, leave her alone. <sighs> Jimmy, she says feet. Just got married, huh? <laughs> Hold it up there. <laughs> Face! Face. <laughs> Thank you, crowd! <laughs> what do you say? Well, you know, I was a little confused because you said blank. I said blank. As opposed to blanks. Right, I said singular right? blank, right. But I figured it out. I said just one boob. <laughs> Hello, Charles. <laughs> Are you ready, Charles? I've heard of a boob, too, but not a... <laughs> not a boob bowl. <laughs> Hang around, sweets. <laughs> She's hot tonight. I said undies. Undies. <laughs> Susan says Sally has terrible manners. At the dinner party, she washed her face in the finger bowl. What does Kate Jackson say? I said she washed her napkin. In the finger bowl. Hey, Nothing. She, celebrities no. sure got the dumbs tonight, haven't they? Then? Richard, what do you say? Well, Susan said feet, didn't she? Susan said feet. Well, you claimed that she said face. Oh, I said face. So I beg your pardon, Susan. Well, you said face feet. Face was the right answer. Yeah, he said face. Right. <laughs> I happen to know she washed her pantyhose. Her pantyhose. <laughs> clean mind, clean body. Close to feet. Right. You had the same idea there, but we can't match it. Oh, thank you. Now let's see if we get one from Patty. This is not a tasteful question. No. I said she washed her dinner partner. <laughs> oh. All right, Tony, let's see how you do with your first round question. Irving the Nut loves pain. He wears jockey shorts made out of blank. He loves what? Pain. Oh, Irving the Nut. Irving the Nut, nut loves, loves pain. pain. He wears jockey shorts made, made out of black. Up. Honey, you just don't have a thing in the world to worry about. All right. Okay. Da 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 da. Hate that music. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hurry up, Petty. Finito. Now, Tony, Irving the Nut loves pain. He wears jockey shorts made out of... Nuts. Uh... <laughs> Irving the Nut loves pain. He wears jockey shorts made out of... I meant to say... What did you mean to say? Shells. Nut shells. Right. Nut shells. Nut shells. Hardly worth changing your answer. Yes. <laughs> What did you say, Jimmy? Susan has nothing and Tony has nothing. Right. That's the way it is. Nothing to and, nothing. And, and we will obviously continue that way. <laughs> 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 I said sandpaper. Sandpaper is on good. Thank you, Craig! Thank you, Craig! Okay, there's a possibility. What about it, Brett? <laughs> I'm sick of them applauding him. Sick of it. Do you hear me? I... S Oh, heaven. Oh, no! I'm so shocked at my answer. I said barbed wire. Barbed wire. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> Irving the Nut loves pain. He wears jockey shorts made out of... You know what he says when he puts them on in the morning? What? Oh, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Steel wool. Steel wool. <laughs> Those are all good ones, aren't they? Now, Kate, what have you got? Well, this is not even a good one. I've got 
He wears them out of cement. <laughs> Occasionally, some of our celebrities flip out altogether. <laughs> we don't <laughs> check in, you know. <laughs> Richard, what do you mean? What, uh, what do we got there? Sandpaper. Sandpaper is the one. Yeah. Clean mine. Yes. <laughs> what have you got? I was more specific. Why? I said number five, Sandpaper. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> it, but the thing about number five sandpaper, it's very hard to stitch. Oh, yeah. On the sewing machine, lasts. you have a time. It lasts a it long lasts time. It lasts forever. And really chafes. <laughs> Something fierce. Walked around like this all day. <laughs> Didn't want it to hurt him. Now, to end of round one, as you can plainly see, nothing's happening here. So let's go to commercials, see if we can get it going here. Okay. Okay, uh, now we'll go to round two here. And uh, since she went first last time, you might as well go first this time. What do you say? A. A. A it is. He's made his decision, and this is it. Nanook the Eskimo said, oh, Boy, am I angry. Yesterday, when I came back to my igloo, I discovered my best friend blanking my penguin. <laughs> my best friend. Blanking my penguin. Turn your back and the see what first thing you know, you're your best your friend penguin blank. is blanking your penguin. Nanook. The best answer is here. The best answer is here. Those are the same answers, aren't they? Yes. All right. Yesterday, when I came back to my igloo, I discovered my best friend blanking my penguin. This is an easy one. <laughs> it is? Oh, yes. Fairly simple. I do so myself. <laughs> no, wrong. I don't know. I can't even read it. Well, should I hold it up for the crowd? No, no, no. Just the crowd knows. <laughs> oh, dear. He's writing a novel there. Well, no, I'm sorry to hold things up like this. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, uh, <laughs> These older oh, women no, don't function no, no, too. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a simple, unpretentious answer. Yes. <laughs> Now we come over to Tony. Nanook the Eskimo said, Boy, am I angry yesterday when I came back to my igloo. I discovered my best friend blanking my penguin. Kissing. Kissing. <laughs> Kissing my penguin. Okay, Jimmy, don't Kissing. mingle among the crowd, Tony. They'll be looking for you after the show. The correct answer, and listen to the crowd on this. Goosing. You got no crowds, you know, Tony, and I know crowds. <laughs> cool it. <laughs> what do you say, my dear? I say my answer is that neither witty, nor bright, nor funny, nor amusing, nor even right. No, a match. I just couldn't think. I said eat it. Eating is a perfectly good answer. Very good answer. Very good. That's not bad. <clears throat> Charles? I said a rather long answer. I said eating on toast with icicle sauce and in honor of my friend Jimmy Black Eyed Peas. Oh. <laughs> That's the way it is. All right. Yesterday when I came back to my igloo, I discovered my best friend blanking my penguin. Eating. Eating. Poor bird. All right, Richard. Tell us a true story. What happened? Son of eating. Eating a penguin. Okay. And Patty Deutsch. Well, before you eat it, you gotta saute it. Saute. Right. All right. Cook it up there. Now, Susan, we've got one for you. And to win, all you have to do is match one of the celebrities. That's all. That's all you have That's to do. All. Now listen carefully. The Hollywood producer <laughs> said. The Hollywood producer said. You know the TV show Get Smart? Yeah. He said, well, I'm producing a show about my wife. It's called Get Blank. <laughs> Got it. Mm -hmm. what is it? Now this, now I we, know I have We brought. don't ask much of you. Charles. <laughs> <laughs> personal piece. Just get it together, that's all. Charles, oh, it's easy. Even I got it. Jimmy has it. Oh. Very good, Jimmy. All right. Now we come to Susan. The Hollywood producer said, you know the TV show Get Smart? 
He said, well, I'm producing a show about my wife. It's called Get Blank. Stupid. Get stupid. Okay. You mustn't stick out your tongue at the crowd, Susan. They they're mug you in the parking lot. Yeah, they get you later in the parking lot, this Jimmy. This crowd is very powerful and very predominant. Now, look here. I'm going to the judges for this because I think this is El Correcto personally myself. Get dumb. Yeah. Dumb wins the game. Get lost, get lucky, get dumb, get out, get lost. Come on down. Congratulations. All right, now you hang around here for a minute or so while we talk to Tony Franklin here. Thank him for coming in to play Thank Match you. Game PM. Enjoyed myself. Thank you very much, Tony. We've got some gifts for you. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye, old bean. There you are. This, this is the first time we're uh, getting dumb one here. I said all we need is one dumb and you win, and you did. You got a little dumb and you won. Now, we'll see how well you're going to do here with the big money, the big super match here. you got two audience matches for you, and we'll do that right after this. <laughs> here, oh, really? Here we are. Okay, if you're ready, my dear, it's time now for the big money super match where you can win over $10,000. To do that, we have two audience matches for you here, and I want to point out to you, whatever you win here, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. Shall we begin? If you insist. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <gasps> That's it. <What>? Okay. <laughs> yeah. We polled a recent studio audience. We got their best response to this. Hold that blank. Oh, now, the yeah. answer that audience gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. If you match the second most frequently given response, you get $250. The bottom <laughs> one pays you $100. Now, they're permitted to assist here by suggesting answers, and you can call on anyone you like. Richard. Oh. <laughs> Hold that tiger. Hold that tiger. Brett. Brett. Hold that line. Hold that line. <laughs> and Kate. Oh, gosh. Uh, hold that. Gosh. That's a good Hold that. <laughs> hold that. Hold that thought. I don't know. Hold that hold thought. Hold that thought. Hold that That's thought. good. That's Hold nice. that thought. That's very Hold sweet. that tiger. Hold that line are the three you got. Now, Susan, you got to pick one or give us one of your own if you'd like. I'm going to go with the tiger. You want to go with the tiger? Okay. Have you ever heard that song? Hold that tiger. <laughs> yes. It was a big song, but uh, it's, it's an oldie, but it was a biggie. All right. Hold that tiger is what we're after. Let's find out where it is, if it's up there at all. We'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Hold that pose is one. Didn't cross my mind at all. The tiger is what we're looking for. May we see the $250 response? Hold that line is the answer that Brett gave you. Last chance for the tiger. Here we go. May we see the $500 number? Tiger it is. You got it. On the screen, you're watching. $500, which means that the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Now, let's see how much more you're going to win with our second audience match. Another audience? We got their best response to this. Voice of blank. Oh. Yeah. Remember, five, two, fifty, and 100, and anyone you want over there. Richard. Voice of America. Yeah. Voice of America. What? Charles. Charles? The voice of the turtle. Voice of the turtle. It's a famous Broadway play and a very big hit when it was on Broadway, and many of us old timers remember it. Not me. <laughs> My father loved it. Yes, you remember it. Oh, Caddy? The Voice of Doom. Voice of Doom. So the three Voice of America, Voice of the Turtle, and the Voice of Doom. Are you, have you got him one in your head? No, Richard. What did Richard give you? America. Voice of America. Okay. You know the one you forgot? Voice of America. The main one you forgot? Tell him. What is that? The voice of the people! Ah! The people! Sit down, you <laughs> rabble rouser! <laughs> so what do you want now? Voice of 
Oh, I'm sorry, I stepped on the microphone cord there. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Testing one, two, oh, no, it didn't. Okay, we want the Voice of America. Let's find out if it's up there, and if so, where is it under the $100 number? Oh. How quickly we forget. Yeah. <laughs> Dear me. Talk about a tacky group. May we see here, I mean. if the Voice of America is under the $250 number? Voice of the People is the one that... <laughs> Last chance for Voice of America. Here is the $500 number. Good for you, my man. Listen, you want another $500? We multiply that by 10, it makes $5,000. Add that to the previous $5,000. You got a $10,000 pot to shoot for here. To collect it, you got to match one celebrity exactly, head to head. Richard it is. All right, you swing around and face me with your back to Richard. And here it is. It's worth $10,000. Now, get your ESP going. You were very good with those audience matches. Now, let's see how you do on a head-to-head -head here. Blank Daddy. All right. Susan, he's made his decision. Now, you make yours. What do you say will match him for $10,000? Blank Daddy. Sugar. Sugar Daddy. I started to say something else, sir. I, I didn't start to say anything. Oh, all right. She, I, she was going, her lips were moving, and I thought she was going to say something else. She's, for $10,000, does she match you? What did she say? I didn't hear Oh, you didn't hear it? No, oh, I'm sorry. Matter. Sugar Daddy is what she said. Oh. oh. Ain't she sweet? Yeah. You know what uh, kind of stopped me a little bit was uh, she started moving her lips. I thought she was going to say Big Daddy, but she might have said Sugar. And now she's got $11,000. Join us next week for Match Game BMG Revenue. Some contestants will receive... Castrol GDX motor oil for all models and sizes of cars. Castrol lubrication for cars, motorcycles, and snowmobiles. Additional prize and fee furnished by Daisy. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Get ready to match the stars, Bill Anderson, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Rudd, Bonnie Franklin, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now, here's the star of Match Game PM, Gene Thank you, Johnny Olson. Very good bunch. 
I thank you. I greet you. And I want to greet each of our regulars. Uh, Brett Summers over here. Good evening. And uh, Charles N. Riley. N is for Nelson. Uh, bonjour to you. Mr. Wright number three. Mr. Wright number three. <laughs> And here is Richard Dawson, and those are our three regulars. And then a semi-regular is this sweet lady, Fanny Flagg. Then over here, we have, for the first time on the program, uh, one of the country's biggest uh, country and western stars, currently has a big hit called Sometimes, Mr. Bill Anderson there. Thank you. Thank you. And this lady, whose face is quite familiar to you, you see her on One Day at a Time, Bonnie Franklin. We welcome all of you. Now let's say hello to Elmer Farrar and Vicki Burton. Hello. hello. We'd like to find out a little bit about each of you, so let's begin with you, Vicki, and tell us the story of your life in eight seconds. Oh, thank you. Lovely evening, everybody. Um, I am Mary, and I'm going to school right now with two fantastic classes, fishing and golf. Fishing and golf? Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Are you putting us on? No. It's great. You're majoring in fishing and golf? <laughs> What's your minor? <laughs> baseball? <laughs> Hockey? Yeah. No, baseball. Where do you do all this? Around here somewhere? No, I go to school in San Bernardino. I see. Yeah. All right. Okay. Anything else you want to add? That's it, huh? It's a whole story of your life. Yeah. Just wilds wear time, fishing and all that. <laughs> okay, now here is Elmer Farrar. Uh, I'm married. I have three beautiful daughters and four grandchildren. And I live in Reseda, which is very close to Encino. <laughs> <laughs> and I want There'll to be none of that. <laughs> and I want She's mine, mine, I tell you. <laughs> I want to say hi to Red and Dot in St. Petersburg if I'm allowed. No, can't okay. do that. That's against the law. Okay. There. Okay, uh, very best of luck to both of you. May I remind you that you'll be trying to match as many of our celebrities as you can. And the winner will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. There it is. Now, Vicki, you want A or B? It's got to be B for Burton. B for Burton, she says. And away we go. Gloria said, here's how to do the new dance called the shark. First, you sneak up on your partner, and then you bite his blank off. <laughs> That's a new dance. Finished. Everybody finished up there. We're waiting for you, Bill, and Brad. No, wait. Oh, wait. I've, I've changed my mind. You've changed your mind. What there is left of it, dear. Okay. Now we're all set. We'll come here to Vicki Burton. Vicki, Gloria said, here's how to do the new dance called the shark. First, you sneak up on your partner, then you bite his blank off. <laughs> Gotta take a leg. Bite his leg off? <laughs> really? You gotta keep it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold everything. Girl, as cute as she is, can give a lousy answer. You don't have to boo her. Eh? Honky, how are you gonna dance with him? You'll bite his leg off, Vicky. I would take a oh, chicken. Oh, dear me. Thing. All right, Bill, what do you say? I kept sitting here trying to be very clever and put jaw into it somewhere for jaws. Oh, yes. But I wasn't that clever, so I ended up with ear. Bite his ear off. Just look up in the partner. Bite your ear off. All right, there's one. Now, Brett. No, oh, no, you see, you go, first you take, miss, missing, da 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 da, uh, da, da. <laughs> Your arm, you bite can the still arm zap off. up a storm. Look up in your partner, bite there. Okay, that's rather... Just because she's plain is no sign to get away from you. It's all right, then. <laughs> Charles... <laughs> Any guy that booed that chick, I want to see after the show. Because <laughs> <laughs> the chick gave the right answer. Lynn. Okay. That's how to do the new dance called The Shark. You sneak up on your partner and you bite his blank off. What do you say? I think that Vicky and Charles are wonderful people. Oh, that's two for Vicky. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think that was going to work. But it's working. It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> well, the guy wouldn't have a leg to stand on, would That's he? right. <laughs> Let alone to dance on it. I said nose. Nose would yeah. be the thing. Nose and ear, and those things are reasonable. Now, you, my dear. Vicky, you, you, he, she's taking fishing, yes? Do you know that before I went into show business, I had a live bait business? I sold uh, English red worms, night crawlers, and minners. And one winter, all my minners froze, and I waited in the spring. I thought they'd be alive, but they're all dead. 
<laughs> and so's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> you're not exactly dead, but you're sure dying, honey. <laughs> okay, Vicky, that's two for you. That's really unusual for a first round question. You get that many. You're a little askance here, there. Now you're straightened up. You ready for this, Elmer? I certainly am. All right. You mean askew, sweetheart. Yeah. Askance. No, you're askew. If you're askew. That. Oh, you look askance. <laughs> That's why you look at me when we go to hey, the casino. <laughs> did you hear that old man Periwinkle oh, married no. an 18-year-old girl? No. Yes, sir. At their wedding, when his young bride said, I do, old man Periwinkle said, I blank. <laughs> He said, I do. He said, I... Oh, I hope this I love is right. this question. I, I like that question. This has absolutely wonderful possibilities. Yes, Yes. It does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to say, why don't we ever have old lady Perry Winkle marrying an 18-year-old boy? Yeah. We'll Perry have it. All right. We're going to have old lady Perry Winkle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Elmer. Hi. Did you hear that old man Perry Winkle married an 18-year-old girl? And at their wedding, when his young bride said, I do, old man Perry Winkle said, I wish I could. I wish I could. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Well, if it kills her, it kills her. <laughs> she dies. What do you say, Bill? <laughs> Elmer, we were we were thinking along the same track, but uh, instead of I wish I wish I could, I said I hope I can. I hope I can. <laughs> Brett. Well, what's the difference between I hope and I wish? They they fall in. I said I, I hope I do too. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't that not a match? No. No. I'm with you, kids. Shabooing the judges. Don't feel bad. Charles? I got right to the point. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, dear. I wish I could. Young lady, at their wedding when his young bride said, I do, old man Periwinkle said, I wish I could. What do you say? I can't. Can. It's the same thing. No, I wish I could and I can't are two different things here. Really? Yes, well, they it's are. It's a matter of degree. Right. What do you say? Camp. Camp. Mmm, too bad. Because I haven't been well. Yes. He said, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. I will try. So, Elmer, you came up with a terrific answer. Well, so. <laughs> that's showbiz. That is showbiz. <laughs> now, wait a minute. The game's not over yet, Elmer. I know. I didn't give up yet. You don't give up now. You're behind a little bit, but it's two to nothing, and this, you know, any, anything can happen here. Right. We'll find out what does happen right after we find out about this. <laughs> huh? Got me. There she I don't know what happened. Something about the air conditioning or something. Okay, here we are at the end of round one. Uh, Vicky, you're ahead, so we'll ask you to go first. And again, you have a choice of A or B. Gotta stay with B. Gotta stay with B for Burton, she says. Now, two people do not play. They are Bonnie and Charles. Bonnie and Charles. Charles. Bonnie and Charles. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie Prince and Charles. Charles. Bonnie, Bonnie yeah. Prince Charles. Oh. Tarzan say, me never. Should have let Cheetah join Boy Scouts. That's Tonto. Oh, am I doing Tonto? <laughs> I knew one day it would all catch up. <laughs> and while we're at it, the Jolly Green Giant is very much like that other one, too. <laughs> I think it's over for you. <laughs> My career is ended. It's ended. Oh, what am I going to do? All right. I'll work on it. I'll get a Tarzan okay. letter. I'll do In the meantime, this will have to do. <laughs> Me never should have let Cheetah join Boy Scouts. Him tie Tarzan's blank in not. I guess. Ready, Brett? Yes. Okay. 
Susan. Put it in the slot there. Susan. Thank you. Susan. Okay, now, Vicky. Susan. Tarzan say me never should have let Cheetah join Boy Scouts. Him tie Tarzan's blank in knot. His loincloth? His loincloth. Speak up. Squaw say loincloth. Yeah. Oh, that's it. You're right. <laughs> now, what do you say? <laughs> Squaw say loincloth. I have doing a... <laughs> I have a question. I'm, what? I'm the new kid on the block. Is it against the law for people on the panel to fall in love with the contestants? No, it's not against the law. Her husband's but... probably ten feet tall and hates hillbillies, but maybe she'll like me because I wrote loin a ball. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's one loin cloth. He probably likes plain women. I guess that's why he likes her. That's right. <laughs> I said, well, you know, he's up in the trees and all. Yes. I said his vine. Tied his vine in a knot. That's good. That's what one would, would, one would do with a vine. Charles, you don't, don't play. I don't play. You don't play. You play. You play? Okay. I surely do. <laughs> Him uh, tied Tarzan's loincloth in knot. It sounds all right to me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is good as your tonto. <laughs> all right. What do you say there? We're looking for a loincloth. I say, is there a doctor in the house? I seem to have matched Brett. Yeah. <laughs> so that's four for you, Vicky. Four for her. Now, Elmer. She got a zipper. You got a zipper, that's right. Yeah. Zero there. Now, match four to tie it. If you match five, you win it. I'll do the best I can. You will do the best you can? <laughs> yes, sir. No man can ask for any more. <laughs> All right. Listen you carefully now. Before? Jim said, Yes? My dentist must be nearsighted. He just tried to blank my nose. <laughs> God. <laughs> Elmer, don't worry about a thing. A dentist must be nearsighted. He just tried to blank my nose. <laughs> okay. Put in the slot. And away we go over here to Elmer Farrar. Jim said my dentist must be nearsighted. He just tried to blank my nose. Pull. What? Pull. Pull my nose. <laughs> what else do dentists do, Elmer? Fill it. They fill? And they drill. I mean, you know, I just took the first one. Yeah, came first one that came in. Well, that's what we say here. Trust your first instinct. What was your first instinct, Bill? Me and Elmer go to the same dentist. Pull. Pull his nose. Uh, that's two in a row for you, Bill. Now, Brett. I felt sorry for Bill when I saw his answer. I guess. <laughs> I thought, oh well, poor little retracted. devil. What do hillbillies know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I said drill. Yeah, drill. <laughs> What'd you say? I said drill, too. So there's two drills. Now you got a match. You remaining three to achieve a tie. Now we come to Bonnie. He's looking for the answer. Pull my nose. I said drill, too. Drill. What'd the rest of you say? Drill, 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 drill. All drill. Come on down. Congratulations. Are you stand by here for a moment or so? Are we talk to Elmer? Listen, you're a pretty loose guy here, Elmer. It was great Thank meeting you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Where are you going now? Home. Home? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drive carefully. Where is home again? Reseda. Very close to Encino. <laughs> oh, yeah. You make the reservation. Elmer. I'm always ready for change, Elmer. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. There will be no proselytizing on my program. <laughs> Listen, you, we, we, Elmer, you're going. <laughs> Elmer's going. All right, there he goes. All right, well, we're looking for Elmer. You do a little business with America, then you come back here. See how she does. Here is Vicki Burton in her army uniform. When would you get out? <laughs> I haven't yet. You haven't yet. Vicki, it's time now for the Big Money Super Match, where you can win over $10,000. Now, to do that, we've got two audience matches for you. And whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. Here we go with the first one. We pulled a recent studio audience, Vicky, and we got their best response to this. Blank leader. Now, the answer that bunch gave most frequently is worth $500 to you if you match it. 
If you match the answer they gave second most often, you get $250, and the third gives you $100, and you can get a little help from our celebrities. Uh, Charlie? Help me out. Chuck? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, blank leader. Uh, cheer. Cheerleader? <laughs> funny that that should come up. We've got a bunch of... Now, are any of you cheerleaders, or are you all majorettes? No, well, whatever. There are a bunch of young people in the audience. Uh, who else do you want? Okay, Bill. What do you say, Bill? Take me to your leader. Yeah. Take me to your leader. Okay. Good luck, Laura. Richard? Follow the leader. Follow the leader? So those are the three now. Follow the leader, take me to your leader, and cheerleader. You can choose one of those or give us one of your own. Gotta go for cheerleader. Cheerleader's the one? Yeah. First thing you thought of. She's looking for a cheerleader because she says that's the first thing she thought of. So let's find out if it's up there. And if it is there, where is it? We'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Follow the leaders an answer that was up there given to you by Richard. Worth every penny. Cheerleader, let's see if it's under the $250 number. Dan leader. Dan leader. Oh, they had an old group that day. That was an old group, yeah. <laughs> All right, here's your last chance, Vicky, for the cheerleader, Earl Slidon. Yeah, Congratulations. Very good. Very good. That's the one that Charlie gave you. Now, you won the $500, which means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Okay, now we're going to see how much more you can win with your second audience match. May we see it? Blank. Snack. Blank snack. All right. Mm, call them off. Okay, Fanny. Midnight snack! <laughs> All right. Bonnie. Bonnie. We had bedtime. Bedtime snack. Brett. I have two. Is there any such thing? Do, do the German version. <laughs> oh, you mean snick? Snack? Snick the name of the show? Snick Snack is the name of the show but I know in Germany, and it's also something here, isn't it? Candy. What? Candy. It's a candy bar. Yeah. It's a candy bar? How would yeah. I ever come up with a candy bar? I think I'll go for light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking with Snick Snack. I don't back down. <laughs> Snick Snack. That was her first thought, and that's what she wants. So there they are. Snick Snack, Bedtime Snack, and Midnight Snack. What do you want, if anything? <laughs> okay. Midnight snack. Yeah. Midnight yeah. snack? Yeah. Okay. Midnight snack is what she says. All right. I Let's like it. Let's keep our fingers crossed for this little lady and reveal a $100 response. Light snack is the one that Bravo, Brett says. Bravo, stop. Yes. <laughs> so fabulous chick. <laughs> Brilliant baby. <laughs> Here we go for our midnight snack. Is it out of the $250 response? Hi, you snick, made fun snack. of me. Snick, snack. Snick, you snack. laughed. You scoffed. Who scoffed? You scoffed. I talked into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, here's the last chance for midnight snack. Earl, may we see it? Yeah! <laughs> okay, now, you've won another $500. We multiply that by 10, which makes 5,000, of course. Add that to the previous 5,000, gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. Okay. Now, Vicki, we want to give you that money, but we can't give you the money until you've matched one of our celebrities on an exact basis, and it's time for you to choose one. It's gotta be Richard. <laughs> okay, Richard. Good luck, everyone. All right. Okay, here it is. It's worth 10,000. Blank president. Blank president. Okay, he's made up his mind, Vicky. Now we ask you to make up your mind and give us a response which you think will match his. How do you fill in that blank president? First thing was the vice president. Vice president? <laughs> really? The first thing that came to my head was Mr. President. Oh. Yeah. What's that? Ex-president, Ex -president. yeah. 
first okay. president. Okay. She so. says the vice president will match you for ten thousand dollars. What do you say? There were so many. There were a lot. It was ex ex president. president. Mr. President. Mr. President, yeah. Vice. Vice! about it she has a grand total of eleven thousand dollars and she's shedding a few tears of joy here and while she's doing that we'll pass along these messages to you all right here we are vicky's got her eleven thousand dollars she's very happy and uh we congratulate her and we thank all of our celebrities we have more excitement here on match game pm next week king labor some contestants will receive time at collector's walk to match the stars, George Kennedy, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Elaine Joyce, Dick Martin, and Betty White, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now, here's the star of Match Game PM, Gene Rayburn. Hello, John. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Oh, are you quite prepared? Oh, uh, what? what did you have in mind? Uh, Hi, Charles. Hi, Charles. <laughs> Who is that? You got your? You, hey, you brought your clack here, did you? They're a bunch of cowboys from Oklahoma, babe. Oh. They all okay, sound so butch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can we hear it one more time? Oh, Charles, you do have friends. Good. Now, the, well, only the women. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> 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 let us greet Pam Weber here and Lieutenant Paul Strophus. Applause, applause, applause. Welcome to the two of you. We're a friendly bunch here. We want to get acquainted. Pam, please tell us about yourself. Well, I guess I'm still a newlywed. I've been married for two months now. Yes, you are. I love it. What I are you doing the here? Thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm a bookkeeper. Yeah. And kind of an assistant manager and kind of a buyer and kind of a lot of other little things, too. And, oh, gosh. I, <laughs> um, You're a busy lady. Yes, I like to ski. You do? I love to ski. It's fun. Except when I fall down, but... Oh, yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> Falling down is no, no fun. But I'm just... <laughs> it is if you've only been married two months. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right, Pam, good oh, luck to you. Thank and, you. And, uh, Paul, tell us about you, please. 
I'm from uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Gene, and I uh, spent a lot of time in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, where I got my law degree at Creighton University. Uh, I used that degree to join the nation's largest law firm, uh, the United States Navy JAG Corps. Yeah. And uh, I'm currently uh, stationed at the Lemoore Naval Air Station in California, up by Lemoore, California, uh, married to my high school sweetheart. And uh, oh. shall we cry? That's Have a little great. cry, oh, friends. No, I think it's great. And my little ball. boy was oh, six months old this week, Matthew. Matthew. Oh. All right. Well, Paul, that's a fascinating story. Now, where is this place you're stationed? Is it near San Diego? No, no. It's up in the heart of the uh, desolate valley. It's by Fresno, about 30 miles south of Fresno. Oh. All right. Oh, heaven. Now, may I point out to you that here on Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of our illustrious stars as you possibly can. And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. That person will go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $20,000. <laughs> Here we go. A or B, Pam? Pardon? Oh. <laughs> oh, B. B. Yeah. You're sure? Yes, I'm positive. That's a definite B, B. for her. That's a B. Selma said, at an early age, I could tell that my son was going to be a doctor. His first words were, blank. Oh. <laughs> Garlic smells better than that stuff that is spritz oh boy. Yes, Selma said, at an early age, I could tell that my son was going to be a doctor. His first words were... Open your mouth and say, ah. All right. <laughs> All right. What do you say to that, George? You're looking at Elaine, it's easy. Say, ah. 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 And Betty and Brett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes? What, 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 what? <laughs> Put your feet in the stirrups. Put your feet in the stirrups. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting response. Charles? Can we get Beth Meyerson? Please. <laughs> well, no. Now, Beth is or not available. Or get Sophie Meyerson or no. Agnes Meyerson or Beth anybody. Is Even not... Max I Meyerson. <laughs> <Beth. laughs> really? Doctor, please huh. remit. Please remit. <laughs> Yes, doctors do that a lot, don't they? they oh, boy. Some of them now make you doctor. pay in advance. <gasps> really? All right, Elaine. I could tell my son was going to be a doctor. His first words were... Take off your clothes. Oh. <laughs> you know them for what they are. <laughs> All, All right. right. said, open wide. Open wide. <laughs> 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 All right. It didn't get by, did it? No, I, I, I thought that was his open wide and say, ah. All yeah. right there, Betty. Mm. Looks great to me, lady, but I'm the painter. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I think all those were a lot more words than, than a baby would use. Oh. I think a baby's first words would be cough. Cough. There you go. Yeah. There Turn you go. your head and cough. Turn oh, your head and cough. All right. Isn't this wonderful, Paul? <laughs> wonderful. Aren't you having a great time? I enjoyed it. Glad you came. <laughs> Okay, you bet. that's all. Roll off. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Here we go with his question. Unlucky Louie said, <coughs> I took my wife to a wife-swapping party, and just oh, my boy. luck, all I could get for her was a blank. <laughs> all right, here we go, Paul. Unlucky Louie said, I took my wife to a wife-swapping party, and just my luck, all I could get for her was a blank. A husband. <laughs> You're just as bad as they are. You're a lawyer. You're supposed to be smart. Well, nobody would give up their wife. Oh. Oh. Life right. is a... Uh, George? Lunch. I said the all he could get was a rejection slip. A rejection <laughs> slip. All Perfect. right, Brett? He was as happy as a clam. I, all he could get for it was a bottle of Thunderbird wine. <laughs> A small price to pay for a wife. I thought of a two-way lamp. A two-way lamp. <laughs> two-way lamp. One of those parties, eh? Mm. That's a switch. Lamp that goes both ways. Uh huh. We oh, heard that's that. Beneath you. Thought you'd Nothing. sneak by, eh? All I could get for my wife was a. Oh, <laughs> an old maid. An old maid. <laughs> I, 
know. Yeah. I'm so, I right. forget it. Well, I was thinking of Chuck's ranch, and I said an old mare. An old mare! <laughs> All I could get for her was a... Animal lover that I am, a basset hound. Basset. A basset hound! <laughs> yes, I'm surprised more what people didn't it? name dogs. Like, uh, you know, bloodhounds, basset hounds, and beagles. I happen to like my answer. I'm sticking with it, and I'm not changing it. What do you oh, think of that, mister? I didn't know All they right. came to those parties. I thought just... All right, so... There we are at the end of round one. One to nothing is the score in her favor. We'll continue in a moment. First, we have this for you, if you please. All right, let's carry on now. We'll go to round two. Pam, you're ahead. We're going to ask you to go first. Well, I'll stick with B. B it is. All right. Five people play, everyone except George Kennedy. On the far-off island, where all the people look like shoes... I'll never get this. Elliot was angry because his daughter snuck off with a blank. <laughs> shoes. Uh, everyone looks like shoes. Uh, Pam has thought it over. She's ready. On the far off island where all the people look like shoes, Elliot was angry because his daughter snuck off with a blank. Sock. A sock. <laughs> We really weren't expecting that, were we? Oh, dear. <laughs> they weren't expecting it either. Well, I could think of two good answers, yeah, neither of which was sock. What did you say? No, sweetheart, she snuck off with a heel. A heel. Yeah. I do like childhood <laughs> answers, though, in spite of that. Why don't you talk like your own voice? Well, I do, don't I talk like my <laughs> She's with a sneaker. A sneaker! Yeah. The best one. Heel and sneaker are the two good responses there. Uh, Elliot was angry because his daughter snuck off with a... Heel. 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 Super answer. Then have the heel lie down, sit, roll over. Another one would be soul, brother. Aha! Uh -huh. ah, but Very I said good. heel. You said heel, there. What do the animal lovers say? And another one would be loafer. A loafer. A loafer. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 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 Oh, we had some nifty ones there. Now let's see what we got for you, Paul. Hey, nobody knows this. Robin Hood was a... Uh -oh. I never knew that. Yeah. Mm. That's why inside his little tent, he had a little blank. <laughs> Nobody oh, knows yes. Robin Hood was a and that's why inside his little tent he had a little blank. Well, we don't call him that in the Navy, but uh, I imagine he had a little John. Little John! You got the idea. Oh, that's he got the idea. Oh, isn't that wonderful? He got the idea. I'm ahead of him. You got the idea. That's one for him. Head. You want to know something, sweetness, my adorable little person, my darling, my love, <laughs> the man with the fabulous teeth and the lovely gray hair? Okay. No, inside his little tent, he had a little pole. A tent pole. <laughs> to hold up the tent. A small pole. No, That's just so a hot. pole. Oh, all right. <laughs> 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 Mr. Piggy was in Lieutenant, there. Lieutenant, is there any way we could get her on one of your boats fast? <laughs> What a lovely Slow way to go. Slow boat to China. <laughs> Maid Marion. A Maid Marion, or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, inside his little tent, Elaine, he had a little... John. Little John. <laughs> Yay, verily, little John. Indeed, I said a little bow. A little bow. Oh, little John. You yeah, know, it was you. right there, and I couldn't think of it. He had a little maid. She swept out and didn't do windows. No <laughs> windows. No, everything but that. All right, there we are at the end of round two. Two, uh, one of the score. Now, Paul, you're ahead. You have to go first. Oh, I think I'll steal her B away from her. You want the B? B it is. At the restaurant, Henry said... Uh-oh. Hey, waiter, what's this fly doing in my alphabet soup? And the waiter said, he's blanking it. Here we go, Paul. Thank you, Uncle George. At the restaurant, Henry said, Waiter, what's this fly doing in my alphabet soup? And the waiter said, He's blanking it. Uh, I suppose he's reading it. He's reading it. All right. 
What did he say? Lieutenant said he's reading the alphabet soup. You know, since A, B, C. I understand reading. No wonder the Navy's in trouble. Oh, reading. Reading. <laughs> All right. What have you got? I got a membership to the Coast Guard Auxiliary. That's what I got. One of the few men that can handle prairie and water. Uh huh. I got a zero mark for that show. <laughs> reading. Reading. All right. Paul has four at this point. Dick, what have you got? He was reading out loud. He was reciting. Reciting. Ah, uh -huh. his alphabets. And no. what did you say, Betty? Never uh -huh. say no to a sailor. That's what Dick Martin said. Reading. <laughs> reading. That's five. Pam, you will need four to tie, five to win. Hey, did you hear about the mad scientist who crossed a pig with a chicken? You'd like to hear about him, wouldn't you? Okay. Now, he has a fat, pink chicken that lays blank and eggs. Oh, God. What an egg, Blank and eggs. <laughs> That's there. raw. That's so, so I guess we're all set, Pam. Oh. This mad scientist crossed a pig with a chicken. Now he has a fat, pink chicken that lays blank and eggs. Bacon. Bacon and eggs. Good for you. All right, she said bacon and eggs. Well, I think it's going to be one of those things. You're going to go for your bacon or for your ham. Ham and eggs or bacon and eggs. Got to match all the rest of them, Pam, to stay in the game. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Ham. So that means Paul wins the game. What's the bottom tier? Bacon, ham, ham. Come on down, Pam. I mean, I want to bring the party. Wait a minute. Oh, you come down. You stay. You have a seat. And we're going to roll you off. <laughs> no, he takes his place on a little blue mark there. And uh, we have some prizes for you. We're going to give you a one-way trip to Oxnard. Oh, I know you're going to be very happy with that. Thank Many you. Thanks. Pam Weber, ladies and gentlemen. While she's spinning off, I'm going to spin this message just for you. Betty Boobai. Here we go. Oh, no, All right, Paul, you ready? Ready. Good. You could win a lot of money here, over $20,000. Good luck to you, sir. We have two audience matches for you. Let's begin with this first one. We polled a studio audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this vacuum okay. blank. Remember, you get $500 for matching the most popular answer, $250 for the second most popular, and $100 for the third. And three of our six stars can assist. Mm, Charles and I have the same love for hats. I'll take Charles. Same love for what? Hats. hats. He likes hats. hats. I have a hat collection. He has a hat collection. He collects hats, Charles. Yeah, but he has hair. That doesn't make him the same <laughs> kind of collector. I have no hair I'm losing it fast, though. You have hair in a hat. <clears throat> and I'll continue this boring story in a moment. I say the fabulous <laughs> vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Ah, there you got one. You want George? George. I would have chosen that. I'll say vacuum Bang. pump. Vacuum pump. Bang. All right. And Dick. Vacuum packed. Vacuum packed. Packed. Yeah. All right. That's very good. That's, That's one way. Yep. Yeah. So you have vacuum packed, vacuum cleaner, and vacuum pump. You can choose one of those, Paul, or you can think up one of your own and use that one. Well, I'll, my wife makes me do all the vacuuming, so I'll go with vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Does the Navy know you push a vacuum cleaner? Uh, they, they might. Do now. They, they might explain my last fitness report. I don't know. Uh -huh. Suck it in, Paul. <laughs> All right, here we go. He wants vacuum cleaner. Let's take a look at the $100 response. Vacuum the rug. That's what you oh, do, yeah. right? That's what Charles uh, does, too. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind, right? Let's take a look at the next one now. Vacuum packed. All right, there was Dick's answer. Last chance for vacuum cleaner. Here we go. You got it. Very good, Paul. From the child gave Now, Paul, you've won $500. That means the very least you will play for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. But we have one more audience <laughs> match for you, and we're going to multiply that result by 10, too, and see how that turns out. Here we go. Blank monkeys. 
blank monkeys, all right? You may call on three again, one at a time. Charles again. Monkeys. You're yes. on your own, monkeys. Hans. This is a, or at the House of Monkeys. The Wonderful. House of Monkeys? Well, it's a nice bar in the valley. <laughs> Brett. Brett. Brett who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barrel of Monkeys! Yeah. 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 Now, may I offer some advice? Yes. Brett looked over Dick's shoulder yes. and saw that he had written on the Is card the barrel read of monkeys. That might be a wasted choice then. Right? That's right. So don't call on Dick. <laughs> All right, Betty. Oops. Oh, how about the monkeys? The, the monkeys. monkeys. That was a group. Good yeah, group. that was a uh, singing group, wasn't it? Yeah. The monkeys, the monkeys, a barrel of monkeys, yeah, and yeah, house of monkeys. The monkeys. What? Didn't they have a television yeah, comedy show? There was a TV show yeah. starring yeah. Anita Gillette called The Monkeys, That's wasn't right. there? No. Yeah. No, I mean, Screen the Gems. The group of Screen monkeys. Gems. David Jones. I don't want to Whatever. discuss it. I don't even want to be here. What do you want here? What do you want to do here, Paul? I'll go with Barrel of Monkeys. Yeah. All right. Good show. He wants a barrel of monkeys. Let's see if we have one up there and where, in what position. May we see the $100 response? The monkeys. Yeah, There's monkeys. Betty's answer. Yeah. The next one, Super. please. Grease monkeys. Oh. Those are mechanics. Grease monkeys. All right, here we go with a barrel of monkeys. Slide it. Yeah! yeah. Very good. I That's thought it was going to be the monkeys up the there on top no, uh, position. Crazy. But it was a barrel of monkeys, and you've got another $500. Multiplied by 10 is another 5,000. Gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for. But you are now going to spin the wheel. And if you get a lucky spin, you double that sum to, uh, to $20,000. So get up there and grab that top peg right there. Must make one revolution. Good luck to you. Here we go. Double it up. Let's go for a double. George. Give me Benny. Benny. Uh, all right, Betty, they're playing for $10,000. $10, Who's it on, Betty? Betty. It's on Betty, Betty right. <sighs> Huh. Miss Betty's going to do it for that you. Here we go. So cheap, George. Olympia blank. Oh, I wish I had Olympia <laughs> blank. I wish I had it. Oh, 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 oh. No question. Now he's ready. Now to get the $10,000, you have to give us the answer which Betty has written and put on the card in that slot. How do you fill that blank? Well, hopefully she's taken uh, regard of my girth and said beer. <laughs> oh, you drink beer? He's a beer drinker. He says Olympia beer will match you for $10,000. Darling, I'm a, I'm a beer drinker, too. I'd rather it than anything, but I, I keep hearing the Olympia Gold commercial. Olympia Gold. So I said beer. Uh -huh. <laughs> $11,000 for this fellow. Tune in next week. Match Game PM will give away more money. Have more wonderful stars like these. Gene Rayburn, goodbye. Some contestants will receive. Juices, three top ads, fair juice for sweetness, not sugar. And a toolkit when you've got anything to stick to squeeze grease for WD 40. It makes things work smoother, last longer. Do it with WD 40. And the Polish Shell System from Turtle Wax. Space age protection for your car's finish, three layers deep, 24 months long. The Polish Shell System by Turtle Wax.
This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Get ready to match the stars. Greg Morris, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Elaine Joyce, Richard Dawson, and Batty Flag as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. How kind of you to join us. Very kind of you to join us, and kind of you to join us, too. Let's begin by saying hello to Arlene Fortunace and Jim Castellano. Hey. Now we'd like to find out a little bit about each of you. And we'll begin with you, Jim. Well, I live in Simi Valley. I'm a, a mail carrier, and I'm married to a wonderful woman who's expecting our second child in two months. We have a daughter that's five years old, and my wife and I are attending husband coached natural childbirth classes. <laughs> well, that's marvelous. Yeah, it's yes, a very good idea. Isn't that great? Okay. Well, how about you, Arlene? Well, we live in Plainview, Long Island, New York, and yeah. right now I'm a freelance artist and a songwriter. I'm yeah. studying geology, trying to decide if California is going to fall into the ocean. Oh. If not, then I'm studying real estate also to find out where I can get a good buy. Well, listen, what's the story? Is it going to fall in? Well, uh, Jimmy the Greek gives us nine to one against it. Really? Yeah. Here on Match Game PM, we'll give each of you three chances to match as many of our celebrities as you can. And the one who scored the most matches at the end of the third round will go on to play the big money super match, which can pay off over $10,000. Well, let's begin. Now, Jim, it's up to you. You can have A or B. A, please. A it is. We're off and running. When Ugly Edna was born, Poor her Edna. father asked the doctor, Doc, is it a boy or a girl? And the doctor said, if you ask me, it's a blank. <laughs> That's the way it goes. When Ugly Edna was born, her father asked the doctor, Doc, is it a boy or a girl? And the doctor said, if you ask me, it's a blank. What, the light didn't do that? Ira, the lights aren't working. If you think I'm going to fix them, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Electrician, prop. Everybody's ready. Okay, here we go. Jim, when Uncle Edna was born, her father asked the doctor, Doc, is it a boy or a girl? And the doctor said, if you ask me, it's a... Mess. It's a mess. Uh -huh. mm. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Well, what do you say to that? Well, I was thinking of the song that Phil Harris made many years ago, and I just said, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. There's one response. What do you say? Honey, I went for it. I said it's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> well, Charles, what came to your mind? I. Oh, <laughs> you mean the show? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I said a baboonette. A baboonette. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yes, the doctor said a boy or girl. The doctor said, if you ask me, it's a blank. If it wasn't a him or, or, or her or she or him, it was a shim. <laughs> well, that's what they call them. A bit of originality there. That it's about that much. Right. <laughs> and you, Richard. said to the doctor. And the doctor said, if you ask me, it's a... Kitty. Mistake. A mistake. <laughs> this, this. Will like that? Yes, love it. Are you with us or oh, against yes. us? I'm here. I'm here. Um, I had the answer drum major, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> I put, it's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Nice try, Jim. Here we go, Arlene, with yours. 
One counterfeiter said to the other, yeah. What? One counterfeiter said to the other, You idiot, look at this dollar bill. George Washington is blank. <laughs> One counterfeiter to the other. You idiot, look at this dollar bill. George Washington is... Do you think about that, Arlene? <laughs> While they're writing your hair is there. I'll blame you. Go for it, baby. Go for it. All right. Those two are ready. And up there, they're ready. And we're all ready over here. <laughs> the mezzanine is ready. Arlene. Yes. One counterfeiter said to the other, you idiot. You idiot. You're not meaning that personally, of course. No, no. Oh, okay. Oh, he says, you dummy. Look at this dollar bill. George Washington is... Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think you've got a chance, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look at it that way, you would. You, know? you idiot, look at this dollar bill. George Washington is... Ta-da-da! Well, seeing as how it's 1976 and we've come so far in this bicentennial year, the cat was black, baby. He was black. <laughs> What do you say? I was feeling so sorry for Jim and him going to have a new baby and everything till I had her answer. I said uh, he was smiling. He's smiling. That would be in Congress you know, on a I dollar bill. I try to cheerful answers. True, you do indeed. And what do you try to do? Well, another boring answer. I said clean shaven. He was clean shaven. He was always clean shaven. That's why I got a better laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot, look at this dollar bill. George Washington is... Is, uh, pregnant. <laughs> I'll wait. That'll tell you it's Don't of laugh. Thing. He was the father of our country. <laughs> <laughs> you know those signs that say George Washington slept here? Yes. Slept there? He slept everywhere. Sure he did. <laughs> That's why the dollar is worth 13 cents today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? He's bald. He's bald. He's yeah. Yes, yeah, that would be surprising. Fanny? Yes. Get us out of this. <laughs> Well, I thought Miss Mary just had the one boy. Uh, I said black. You said black. <laughs> I okay. So there we are at Look the at end of round one. <laughs> and it's one of those pitchers' duels, and we'll see if we can extricate ourselves from it right after we see about this. Here we are. Here we are. Round two coming up. Are you ready? Bing. Now, we've got a tie score here of zero to zero. Jim went first last time, so Arlene will ask you to go first this time. Bing. B. Everybody plays again. Sydney went to sleep. Oh. Sydney went to sleep and dreamed he was plucking a chicken. When he woke up, he discovered that his blank was bald. <laughs> when he woke up, he discovered his blank was bald. All right, here we go. Arlene, Sydney went to sleep and dreamed he was plucking a chicken. Mm. When he woke up, he discovered that his blank was bald. Head? His head was bald. She said he pulled his own hair out, is what she's saying, in effect. What do you say? Jane, you see, that's the only way to fly. Really? Yes, his head. Oh, his head. That's one for her. What do you say? Well, Johnny, I figured if he picked on his own little body that it would hurt him, and then he'd wake up quicker. But if he picked on his little bride of 10 years... His little bride, bride of 10 years. Himself. That's a very imaginative answer, Charles. Yes. Wife. Wife is good. Okay. Now, <laughs> he discovered that his head was bald. <laughs> oh, is that what she's looking for? Yes. Well, I never thought about that. Isn't that really? funny? Yeah. I never think about anything <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I said chest. I said uh, wife. Wife would seem to be the good answer. Yeah, and I Fanny said wife I also. Wife were really. You didn't say he was married. That's oh, didn't right, I say I that? I did not a say he was not well married. Really. Yes. Lynn and I are like that. Here we go. The warden said to the condemned man, he said, oh. Time's up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, after that, he yeah. says, he says, Muggsy, as long as you're sitting there in the electric chair, do me a favor. Put my blank on your lap. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the word. Like you like that one? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got one that pleases you. Charles is just finishing his up now. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Warden said to the condemned man, he said, Muggsy, 
As long as you're sitting there in the electric chair, do me a favor, put my blank on your lap. Wife. Wife. The object is, you see, he didn't like his wife, and they would go together. Oh, I see. See? I didn't, I didn't think in those that, terms. But I said wife anyway. You said it anyway. <laughs> Was it going to go for you? No, no, I interpreted it a whole different way. I thought Muggsy and his wife were having an affair. So I said his little bride of 30 years. His little bride of 30 years, or wife, so there it is. And you do. I went a different route, a less cruel and harsh route, Gene. Oh, you did. You are such a sensitive tender. I said his Big Mac, because it's gotten cold waiting for the governor to call. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Put my Big Mac in your lap. <laughs> Maybe that was the nickname for his wife. No. As, as long as you're sitting there in the electric chair, do me a favor, put my blank on your lap and... He said wife. What well, do you say? I said hot dog. Hot dog. It's <laughs> Something... a nickname for his wife. No. <laughs> she was a hot dog. Wrong. <laughs> Richard? You all big patty special sauce had a wife. Wife. Fanny, look at my wife. I understand, but I have half and half sandwich. I'm sandwich. <laughs> okay. Now we are at three to one. At the uh, end of round two, Jim, you're ahead, so we're going to ask yeah. you to go first to make a selection in round three. Hey, Greg uh, does not play, Brett does not play, and Richard does not play. The rest of you, please respond to this. Rodney was really a premature baby. He was born nine months before his parents blanked. <laughs> Charles? Uh, <laughs> good luck. I'd like to ask you for a hand. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> we have a very pretty daughter. Well, I do. She's a beautiful girl. She's striking. Striking. Well, she she's struck striking. me twice in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ready? Now, Sandy's right. ready. Everybody's Charles. ready. Here we go, Jim. Irate. Roddy was really a premature baby. He was born nine months before his parents blanked. Made love. All right. Hey. What do you say to that, Charles? I said met. Nine months before they met. Made love is what he's looking for. And what do you say? A little love. I, oh, a little I, kiss. This is what you call it. I fooled around. Fooled around is one. Okay, Jim's up to four. What do you call it, Fanny? I went the Christian route. <laughs> Married. Married. Okay. So, uh, Jim, you're up to four. Now, Arlene, you've got to match three to tie. Four will win it for you. Okay. And Greg does not play. And he's the only one. Okay. Doris, the door-to-door -door saleswoman, has an unusual approach. Really? Would you like to hear about yes. it? Yes. Well, she may call on you someday, right. so you've got to be prepared for well, this. I'll be with Lynn, of course. Yeah, now, <laughs> now, she doesn't stick her foot in the door. Uh -huh. She sticks her blank in the door. <laughs> I like that. One. Yeah. I like that, too. that means quickly. We're going to start without you, Charles. <laughs> Ready. Doris, the door-to-door -door saleswoman, has an unusual approach. She doesn't stick her foot in the door. She sticks her blank in the door. Bosom? Her bosom? <laughs> I see. I wouldn't do that. Hello, sir. I'd like to talk to you later. Oh! <laughs> wouldn't that hurt? Smart. Brett, Smart. You're up first. Now. This may be a match. There may be a small argument with the judges, but I think we'll all agree that it's a match. I said her fanny flags or bazooms. That's one for her. Score is now four to two. We need two more to tie. Charles? Ooh. Okay. Four to three now. One more to tie, Arlene. Let's see if we get one from Elaine. Well, see, she was a college-educated woman. She was. Yeah. So she put her key in the door. Her key? Yeah. I wasn't about to say, but, 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 you know. You were, all right. <laughs> You're still looking for uh, one more to tie. Richard? She was a door to door uh, saleswoman. Door to door saleswoman? She sold doors. No, she sold oh. half and half. Boom. Boom. <laughs> we got a tie score. 
And Arlene, it's up to Fanny. If yeah. you match Fanny, you will win the game, Arlene. I think this is such an interesting concept for a saleswoman to do that. Just think, Brett could do it and they wouldn't even have to open the door. <laughs> Okay, now you hang around over here on the adhesive tape while we say goodbye to Jim Castellano. It was a pleasure meeting you, sir. Same with me. And good luck to your wife on your next blessed event. Jim Castellano, Thank ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we're spinning him off. We're going to spin these messages just for you. Here we go. You ready? Yes, yes. Okay, isn't it exciting? Yes, it is. Now listen, it's time now for this big money super match mm -hmm. where you can win over $10,000. And to do that now, we're going to have two audience matches for you. And I want to point out to you, whatever you win here, you're going to have a chance to multiply by 10. Here we go. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Green blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it, or you match the next one, you get $250, and that bottom one gets you $100. And we can get a little help over here. Let's call on them one at a time. Um, okay, Greg? What do you say, Greg? Well, it, it was a popular show some years ago, Green Acres. Green Acres? Okay, um, Greg. Brad, have you got one? It was a popular show a lot longer ago than that. What about Green Pastures? Green Pastures, yes, indeed. Okay, Richard? Well, I'll tell you what we like to eat at home, green beans. Green beans, okay. Green Acres, Very Green Pastures, show. and green beans. green beans. Do you want one of those, or is there, you may have another idea? You have a quizzical look on your face. Yes, I do. Um, a green Giant. Green yeah. Giant. Green Giant. The audience seems to agree with you. Green Giant is what she wants. Let's find out what she got up there. We'll begin down at the bottom as we usually do as we seek the Green Giant and reveal the $100 response. Green Berets. Oh, we had, they had a warring crowd yeah. that day. Right? <laughs> Let's see if the Green Giant is under the $250 number. Yes, it is indeed. Congratulations to you. Very good. All right. What, what do you got out there? What do you think is under the big one? Green Acres. Green Acres. Green Acres. How come you didn't say that if you think it's there? All right, Earl, slide it. Beans. Oh. oh. You were wrong. That was an old group. You were wrong. Now, listen. You've won. What's that? They didn't get one no. right. Not one no, right. Not How old was that astounding? People? You know, that's never happened before, Ira. Never. Well, we are so green with envy. Yes. <laughs> that one. All right, now listen, you've won the $250, which means that the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $2,500. We're going to see now how much more you're going to win with your next audience match. Slide it, Earl. Yay. Lawrence oh, Blank. Yeah. Okay. Number five, 250 and 100. Let's see what we've got over here. Okay, Richard, we'll give you another chance. Green beans. <laughs> Green beans. Just in the nick of time. Take it as a wonderful Miss Lawrence Awelka. Yeah, Lawrence Awelka. Okay. Fanny? Fanny? What about that? Uh, 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 Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> One more. Okay, Charles? Charles, it's tough to be a number three. Not when you have... really, Charles. <laughs> Charles is getting an idea. I see the light bulb lighting over his head. <laughs> Lord Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> it just came to him like that. Okay, there they are. Lawrence Olivier, Lawrence Welk, and Lawrence of Arabia. You want any of those? Lawrence Welk. You want Lawrence Welk? A wonderful Sisters. It's hardly possible that Lawrence Welk would be hiding under the $100. He's such an affluent person, but yes. we must reveal it nevertheless, so slide okay, it in. Lawrence of Arabia is there. That's that may so be a good success. omen. Fanny gave you that one. Let's see if Lawrence Welk is under the $250 number. Lawrence Olivier, that's two out of three. Our celebrities are doing much better now. All right. Here we go with the $500 response. Yeah! Richard gave you. Okay. 
Yeah. You got another five hundred dollars. We multiply by that by ten, makes five thousand dollars. Add that to the previous twenty-five hundred. You got a pot of seven thousand five hundred dollars. You're going to shoot for now. To collect it, you've got to match one of them exactly, and you've got to name one now. Richard. She's named you. She's right. named you, pointing right. the finger right at you, Richard. All right, stand on the adhesive tape in case you cut your finger where we've got it right there. We can bandage you up there. Yeah. Oh, really? Are you nervous? Yeah. No, just take a deep breath now. Get your ESP and empathy going over to Richard Dawson so you can get that $7,500. It reads as follows. Battle of the blank. Battle of the blank. Think hard now. All right, he's finished. Now, Arlene, you have to give us an answer which will match his. What do you say to that? Battle of the... Bulge? Battle of the bulge. <laughs> She's looking at Richard's face to see a sign of an affirmative sign or a negative sign. There were a lot. There were a lot. What were some of the others? I Battle couldn't think of, of anything. Sexes. Battle of the sexes. Oh, that's a good one. Battle of the, world. Battle of the republic. Yeah. Of the ball. Oh! Of the ball. She says, I haven't earned that much money in five years. She's won $8,250. Hope you'll join us next week for more <laughs> celebrities and more big cash prizes on Match Game PM. Goodbye. Some suggestions. Two winter summer concentrate with a spatula silicone silicate formula fights winter freeze up, summer boil overs, and rust and corrosion in all seasons. And Bardall's new fuel system treatment, the gasoline additive to help keep your entire fuel system clean from gas tank to carburetor, you'll feel the difference. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production. Get ready to match the stars from the Rockford File, Joe Santos, Brent Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, from Angie Donna Pascal, Bill Daly, and Patty Newcastle, as we play the star-studded big money match game PM. And now, here's the star of match game PM, Gene Rayburn. There's a ham bone in every lot, isn't there? And we have our quota, don't we? 
But I thank you for joining us here on Match Game PM. We're going to have a good time tonight because the Lunatic Asylum has been opened again. Well, <laughs> now, down, <laughs> would you join me in welcoming Bill Paddock <laughs> and Desiree Tillman? How do you do? Welcome. Want to find out a little bit about each of you? Let's begin with you, Desiree. I'm a dental student at UCLA School of Dentistry. Yeah. I have a few hobbies, and tennis is one of them. And my parents are in the audience, and they have, we have friends from out of town. They're visiting us. You play tennis? Little. Have you played a lot? Not this summer, no. I've been working. I bet you're good. I think okay. so. Okay. Good luck to you here. <laughs> Bill, tell us about yourself. Well, I live in Huntington Beach, California. I'm married. Oh, the bus I don't know whether they're happy about Huntington Beach or whether uh, you're married. Uh, I'm married, uh, have a brand new baby daughter, and I'm a racquetball fanatic. Racquetball? Right. It's a very fast game. Sometimes too fast. Yeah, it is indeed. Okay, good luck to both of you. Here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three opportunities to match as many of our stars as you can, and the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner, and that person will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $20,000. Desiree wants B. Desiree wants a B. And it says, at the wedding, the bride was so fat. Instead of singing, here comes the bride, they sang, here comes the blank. <laughs> That's how fat she was. All right, ready, Patty. Desiree, at the wedding, the bride was so fat. Instead of singing, Here Comes the Bride, they sang, Here Comes the... Blimp. Blimp. <laughs> that was a good one. Here Comes the Blimp. I liked it, but I said, Here Comes the Bridal Carriage. Here Comes the Bridal Carriage. <laughs> you cannot wipe the smile off his face, no matter how you try <laughs> What I'll do you say? Very careful booing an Italian. Right. <laughs> You're gonna get rid of. He's not no, a hey, Ma, help out, will you? Your I, mother here? That's right. right Where's there. your mother? Yeah. Raise your hand. Oh, hey, 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 la bella donna. La donna bella. Five women just raised their hand. <laughs> all five of those girls. Instead of singing, no, no. Here Comes a Bride, they sang, Here enough. Comes a Blank. I want all of you to think carefully about this before you say anything. Because we all know, if here comes the tide. Here comes the tide. Now, in all fairness to you, and you if know I've never that, been fair I'm to you, deep he's been encouraging them to boo. <laughs> they know I oh. you, you know, when Brett you. was born yes. in Portland that the original name on the birth certificate was Forget It. <laughs> <laughs> because. The, mo the mother wanted the name like our lovely uh, contestant, Desiree. Yes. And she said, well, if I have a daughter, it should be Desiree. And the father came into the maternity ward, took one look at the baby and said, forget it. And so forget it was the name instead of Desiree. And naturally, I matched. That's why I took all this time to talk about it. Yes, it out. is. At the wedding, the bride was so fat, instead of singing, here comes the bride, they sang, here comes the... Well, I... I thought it would sound good in the song, Here Comes the Blubber, but it... Ah, hit it with a lamp! Oh. Here comes the blubber, that's terrible. Well, here it comes, the... I don't know. All right. What do you got there? El Blimpo? El Blimpo. I had some press right here. I just took my buckles off. I have to be gay. I, I didn't get the question. You didn't understand it? Well, yeah, but I couldn't think of anything original. Hippo. Here comes the hippo. Why, well, anything large would have been satisfactory there. Now, Bill, let's see what we have me. for you. Harriet's job... Harriet's job is to stamp shipping instructions on boxes. Yeah. Yesterday, she sat down on her big rubber stamp, and now she's got blank stamped on her. <laughs> No, you don't mean. You know what you mean. I know what I mean. Yeah, but it's I know what you mean. There's a, I can't. Come over here. Okay. It's not that. They forgive me on the show. Draws showing. 
Oh. I'm going to be a regular on this show from now on. He likes me. Uh, <laughs> oh. He had a phrase that he couldn't think of. Answers. Okay, here we go. Harriet's job is to stamp shipping instructions on boxes. Yesterday, she sat down on her big rubber stamp. Now she's got blank stamped on her. Fragile, handle with care. Fragile, handle with care. <laughs> Fragile, handle with care. What do you say? I went with the old uh, Elvis thing. Return to sender, no known address. Return to sender, no known address. All right, oh, that's, that's one thing. Wonderful. All of those things that you'd find in, you know, shipping rooms or postal departments, what do you say? Don't get testing cranky, you just know, just up because you've got a white shirt on. I said, handle with care, darling. Handle with care, okay. I said, wide load. Wide load. Well, I've seen those. Uh, okay, Donna. Donna, she sat on her big rubber stamp. Now she's got blank stamped on her. What do you say? I have to redeem myself for my last answer. Fragile, handle with care. Fragile, handle with care. Okay. That's two. Yeah. Handle with care. Handle Thank with you, care. Three. These were all my choices plus the one in the slot. They're all wrong. You betcha. Do not fold, spindle, or mutilate. <laughs> okay. So, at the end of round one, it's three to two in his favor. Round two coming up, but first this for you. Here we go. Ready. Round two coming up. Build your head. You can go first. I'll take A again. A it is for you, sir. Hey, did you hear the story about the two Egyptians? Uh-uh. No, what happened? Well, no, here it is. Story, you heard that story? <laughs> no, well, I'll tell you another one. Okay. Uh, one said, who was that mummy I saw you with last night? And the other said, that was no mummy. That was my blank. <laughs> you don't play, you don't play, and you don't play. I, I want to play. You don't play. Joe, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Well, Joe. <laughs> It's a story about the two Egyptians. One, was, uh, one said, who was that mummy I saw you with last night? The other one said, that was no mummy. That was my blank. My wife. My wife. <laughs> okay, Joe, what'd you say? I said, that was my dada. My dada. <laughs> that was no mummy. That was my daddy. I said, that's Look how my sad. uncle. He just raps that way. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Can we stop him? And I just think it's thrilling mm -hmm. that you, you don't get the recognition you deserve I as know. an actor. No, it's true. So I would like to say it's a thrill to be with a very fine actress. Most people don't know her as a fine actress. And I think it's wonderful that Patty Duke is on our show. <laughs> He really hooked That's on that one. Uh, That's a hook. Out, we set it up. Yeah, okay. And naturally, we Yes. Yeah. You have. I match the contest. Okay. <laughs> You'll pick up another one. He's got four. And Patty. What? Who was that mummy I saw you with last night? That was uh, no mummy. That was my... Daddy. Daddy. Mummy and daddy. Little joke there, you I, see, I Bill. I thought that's okay. Be now, Daisy Ray, let's see what we have for you in your round two question. The Here's musician the said. Who said? The musician. Thank you. <laughs> now I know why they call Doc Severance and Doc. When I tried out for his band, instead of asking me to perform, Doc asked me to blank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daisy Ray. The musician said. Now I know why they call Doc Severance and Doc. When I tried out for his band, instead of asking me to perform, Doc asked me to... Lie down. What? Lie down. Lie down. <laughs> well, that's one lie thing a doctor down. would ask you to do, lie down on the close. examination table. Close. What did you say? Well, it's close. Operate. Doc asked me to operate. Yeah. All right. Why? <laughs> Your mother's sneering at you, 
Joe. That's all right. <laughs> all right. No, she isn't. She's all. She's in your corner. I, I remove my garments and cough. <laughs> remove my garments and cough. You're okay. in the army, Mr. Jones. That's enough of that. Okay, Donna. Take off my clothes. Take off my clothes. Well, you know him too, don't you? <laughs> All right, Patty. It's finally happened. I wanted to be a semi-regular. I am, and I've obviously been hanging around Brett far too long. Strip, Strip and cough. Strip and cough. So, now, it's four to two at this moment. In favor of Bill, we go to round three. No, they can write again. What is this? Final round, and Bill, again, you'll go first. I'll stick with eight. Eight is? All right. Joe and Patty are the only two who play, because okay, the others were Joey, all matched in the previous it. rounds. Ready? David said... David, he's back? My wife is like my feet. Like She's my feet. blank. <laughs> Put it in the slot, Joe. All right. David said, my wife is like my feet. Yeah. She's flat. 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 What did he say? He said flat, Joe. Well, it's good I didn't use that one. I use that one. Yeah. That one talking about. That gives him five. What do we got from you, young lady? <coughs> She's flat and smelly. <laughs> yeah. Now, Daisy Ray, you have one shot at it here. Let's see now. The best you can do is tie, so that means you have to match all four stars. Dumb Dora is so dumb. How dumb is she? When she got married, it took her a month to figure out how to turn on her blank. <laughs> right. All right. Dumb Dora is so dumb when she got married, it took her a month to figure out how to turn on her... Husband. What the fuck? Perfect answer she came up with. Husband. Why don't you go to somebody else? <laughs> go to me. I got it. I said oven. Oven. Oh, oh, that means Bill wins again. What the rest of you have? Husband. Husband. Doorknob. Husband. Doorknob. Okay. Come on down here, Bill. And stand on that little blue dot. And we will play. Books will be coming your way from that game PM. Thank you, Daisy Ray Tillman. Goodbye. And I will have a message for America. And we'll come back and see how much money he wins. Here we go for the big dough. You ready? So. All right. We're going to have two audience matches for you here. Everything you win will be multiplied by 10. And that'll be the final dollar figure you will be playing for. Okay. We uh, polled the studio audience and we said, write down your best answer to this. Mad as blank. Got it. Mad as blank. Now, if you give us the answer that they wrote down most often, you get $500. For matching their second most popular answer, $250. And then for matching the third, $100. Three of the six stars will assist you, but don't choose a star who is averting your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brett? Uh, what Charles is, mad as a hatter. Uh, Patty? Mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Uh, Charles? He wasn't going to hell. Mad as Sylvia. <laughs> Mad as Sylvia? Right, and if you knew Sylvia, she was plenty mad. <laughs> mad as Sylvia. It's, a, it's an Australian term. <laughs> mad as Sylvia? Not even an operatic aria or no, anything like that? you could say uh, Insano di Silvaia if you want. Oh, sure. So you have Mad as a Hatter. Mad as Sylvia. Go with Mad that. as Sylvia and <laughs> Mad as Hell. Now, you can choose one of those or give us one of your own. No, I'll go with Mad as Hell. Mad as Hell. Okay. Let's find out if it's up there. And if so, where? We'll begin with the $100 number. Mad as a Hatter is a good response. 
Ah. All right, let's see if Matt is hell is under the two hundred and fifty dollar. Matt, <laughs> Matt is a hornet. Oh, Any side bets, Chuck? Matt is a hornet? Sylvia right. is under there, green I know it. Sylvia, yeah. no. Matt is a green hornet. We'll it's not going to be up there no too. matter how you Sylvia bleed or dry. It ain't going to be there. Sylvia. Slide the big one. Yeah. Matt is hell. I wanted him to look pretty. Oh, you straighten him out, yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but I fixed the uh, jacket. I Now, listen, you got the $500. means at least you'll play for us 10 times that amount or $5,000. However, you got one more audience match to go. And let's see how you do with this one. Love of blank. Oh, boy. All right. Love of Remember, just the ones who have a gleam in their eyes. <laughs> Patty, again, please. Love of life. Yeah. Love of life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I got it. Joe? Love of money. Oh, no. Love of go. money. And Brett? Listen. Love of God. Okay, love of God, now, love of money. why is that not getting a reaction? I want these people yeah. screaming. I do too. It's too late. I would have gone with, of course, love of Sylvia. <laughs> oh, dear. So you have love of God, love of money, and love of life. Again, a choice. One of your own or one Go of those. Love of life. <laughs> love of life. When you applaud this close to my eardrums, it hurts like hell. Okay, down here. <laughs> Thank that you. So okay. Love of life is what he wants. Let's see if he gets it. May we see the bottom one, please? Love of Mike. Oh, for the love of That's Mike. For the love of Mike. husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over the next one. Love That's of money. Lo Here it comes, baby. All right, yeah, got two out of the three Cover there. Up. Love of life. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. He doesn't care about the money. He wants to kiss her again. I'm the over here. All right, listen. Uh, five hundred dollars multiplied by ten, another five thousand added to the previous means you've got a pot of ten thousand dollars you're playing for. However, if you get a lucky spin of the star wheel, you will play for twenty thousand oh. dollars. Stand up there. Good luck. Let's all root for a double for old Bill here. Have a go at it. Now, but Bill, it's not oh, don't Bill, it's, it's nothing, nothing to be nervous about. It's I'm only $20,000. <laughs> His whole life is the at stake here. Yes. No. Well, we haven't asked, it, haven't yet, asked it yet. It's nothing to be oh. nervous about, Bill. Oh, you can fine. do it. You can do it. Go, okay. baby. It Go, just baby. means you everything to him. That's all, Bill. Can I kiss him if he wins, though? Yes, you can kiss me if I lose. <laughs> if he doesn't win, Bill, he has to go to prison. You know that, don't you? <laughs> okay, here we go. Good luck to you. Now, don't help, because you may be giving a rotten answer. Heads blank. That's H-E-A-D-S blank. Heads blank. Okay. Now, if you give us the answer that Bill has on his card, we give you $20,000. What do you say? Heads or tails? Up. Bill, he said his second choice was heads up, but he said his, ah, his answer is heads or tails. I'm going to get kissed by a man!
Congratulations to Bill Paddock with $21,000. Gene Rayburn, join us next week for Match Game PM. Goodbye. Some contestants will receive a Caravel watch from Bulova. has 17 jewels and automatically displays the D&D. Caravel by Bulova, the inexpensive watch by store sell. And Turtle Wax, the world's largest... Sarsers and trail mixes are something good under the sun, sun giant snacks. And polyglycoat protection for your car. Heat activated formula with penetrace protects. Polyglycoat available at new car dealers everywhere. This is Gunny Olson speaking for Match Game PM. Goodson, Bill Todman production. From the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty White, as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM, Gene Raver. Johnny Olson, thank you, friends. I thank you. You're okay, and you're okay. What an elegant-looking bunch you are. Holy! Let me just get a look at you. Aren't you beautiful? We're all off to McDonald's later, so could we get on with it? Oh, all right, let's get on with it. Let's say hello to Kathy O'Dell and Harry Marr. We'd like to welcome the both of you. Want to find out a little bit about each of you? Harry, we'll begin with you, sir. Well, I'm a retired officer, Army officer, and uh, for the last six years, uh, I've been with the Los Angeles Unified School District as an administrator of the Junior ROTC program. Okay. Whose Army were you in, Harry? <laughs> United States Army. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Good luck to you, Harry. Now, here's your opponent, Kathy O'Dell. Where are you from and all that, Kathy? I'm from Solvang, which is a beautiful little Danish town just north of Santa Barbara. Oh, really? How do you spell that? S-O-L-V-A-N-G. Solvang. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Solvang. Yes, I'm all afraid. It's really pretty. 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 It's really What else? I'm Mary. Yep. And I have one baby son, Christopher, who's nine months old. That's a beautiful name. You're a beautiful okay. lady. May I point out to each of you that here on Match Game PM, you'll have an opportunity, three opportunities, as a matter of fact, to match as many of those in back of me as you possibly can. And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner, and we'll go on to play that big money super match which can pay off over $10,000. So let's get on with it. Here we go. Harry Marr, you may have A or B, sir. I'll take A. All right, we're off and running. This is it. Oh, you too much. You really are with your fan and all it's, that. Well, darling, it's the nighttime show. You have to wear your gloves, carry oh, your fan, all of that. Dear right, darling? All right, here it is. Gladys says... What was said, that madam's name? Oh, Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Gladys said, when I had my appendix taken out, yeah. my surgeon was a magician. He pulled my appendix out of my blank. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Here we go. Over here to Harry Ma. I'll give it to you one more time, Harry. Gladys said, when I had my appendix taken out, my surgeon was a magician. He pulled my appendix out of my blank. Hat. You got the idea. That ain't bad. That's okay. You pulled it right out of my hat. What'd you say, Bill? I heard people out there actually booing that answer. Well, boo it again, because I said hat. That's right. <laughs> Harry's very happy about that. What do you say, dear? <laughs> Madam Butterfly? <laughs> Where do you get rabbits? Out of a hat. Certainly, my leghorn hat. My leghorn hat. <laughs> I try and keep in tune yeah. what I'm wearing. Lady, you is some classy broad. She got class. <laughs> yeah, a classy broad if I ever seen one. What do you say, Chuck? Now I bet Meryl O'Brien is going to kill herself when she sees that. <laughs> I said... Meryl O'Brien. I said hat. Hat. <laughs> Harry, you got three. This is most unusual for a first-round question that we get that many matches. Now... Well, they happen to be brilliant because a magician put, takes it out always from there, and I said hat, too. Did you say hat, too? <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'll stick it in your hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unusual. You gonna break the magic spell? Are you kidding? Uh, you know that's Never. what I love about sitting in this seat. Yeah, because you're a. Yeah. Richard said there were no cards on the night show, and I wish that were true, and I wouldn't have to show this. But you've seen them with cards. Which I said out of your ear because well, I. Sure. Don't know. Well, you're not this oh no! Now you leave that girl alone. You're right. Yes. She's well, you're okay. Right, you're right. Right. Okay. So that's five. Harry, I must say to you. That is most unusual to get that many in the first round. Now, Kathy, you go to work. Good luck to you. Here we go. Shirley said, Yeah. My new husband is so inexperienced. Uh oh. No, no, no. I don't want any of that half hearted stuff there. Well, very Either you do it. Yeah, that's right. You're so inexperienced. You just uh, do it rotten. That's, <laughs> so you have to get, have another chance a little later on. Shirley said, not with this one, another question. Shirley said, my new husband is so inexperienced. On our honeymoon, he brought along blank. <laughs> Shirley said, my new husband is so inexperienced. On our honeymoon, he brought along blank. <laughs> my book is filled, my dad's book is all filled. I don't have another place. Surely they got to get it. Yes, he's in Atlanta, and I don't know who let him in. <laughs> don't they have that clinic open on today? <laughs> L.A. has free clinics. You can walk in on any corner, walk into one, take an help. <laughs> First of all, get rid of the pearls, then the curls, then the blood. Why did he leave her alone? No, they're all trying to be Gaborish, and they're not making it. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Writing something now. Okay, here we go. Shirley said, my new husband is so inexperienced. On our honeymoon, he brought along... Masters and Johnson. Ah, Ooh. very good. Hey, now there's a very imaginative <laughs> answer. But do any you of them have it? when you hear one. I think that's a terrific answer. What do you say? I say it would have been very crowded if Master <laughs> Yes, that's right. He didn't bring them, but he brought along their book. A how-to how book. book. Yes. They did write a book, didn't they? What do you say? No, I feel that he, he was so inexperienced that he didn't bring along a how-to book. He didn't know what the hell he was supposed to do. He just brought along a book. Oh, I see. That would be inexperienced. Chuck? In keeping with the answers from Madame Dubarry and the country singer, I said my mother, his mother. His mother. Your mother. Your mother. Your father. Wait till Dr. Freud hears about Charles' slip of the tongue. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. I, well, Dr. Freud better turn around and listen to me, too, because I said his mother. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he said my mother. Oh, yeah. your mother. Well, no, he's not mine. <laughs> his mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know you're talking about today. 
Okay. Yes, no. <laughs> no, no, no. None of us can speak the English language, can we, Richard? No, we do have an album coming out <laughs> explaining a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> I said Dr. Freud's mommy. Dr. Freud's mommy. Yeah, I cut out. You brought along mommy. What did you say, my dear? He brought along his coach. Oh, it's his coach. His coach. Oh. Oh. Is that yes. a coach for it? Yes. Well, so there we are. Into round I'm one, five to nothing, favor of Harry. Round two comes up later, but first this. Okay, here we go. Bing. Now, Harry, you're ahead, so we'll ask you to go first. You may have A or B. I'll take B. You want B? Okay, yeah. you got it. Here it is, B. <laughs> Who plays? Betty. Here it is. Now think about this. The baker said, I just divorced my wife because she never really loved me. She only married me for my blank. Oh. Okay, Harry. The baker said, I just divorced my wife because she never really loved me. She only married me for my blank. Alvin. I'm sorry. Listen, Harry, when you left the army, did they give you a pension? <laughs> You may need it. All right. Before Betty. we go on, may I ask a question? What is your question? Was he in the Second World War? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Betty. He said oven. There is no reason to ridicule this gentleman. I mean, many a girl has gotten married for a little oven. You know, that's... <laughs> say she was only interested in my buns, but I didn't. I said, my dough. My dough! <laughs> so you got a shot at it. Anything's possible. All right, Kathy, listen carefully now. Here we go. Snow White said... You know who Snow White yes, was? Yes, yes. She's speaking. Yes. She says... Why did you pick on me? I would know Snow White. Very, very good. You're the only one on the panel who would. Snow White said... <laughs> There's something funny about Prince Charming. He looks like a prince, but he blanks like a frog. He looks like a prince, but he blanks like a frog. Are you ready, Kathy? Here we go. Snow White said, there's something funny about Prince Charming. He looks like a prince, but he blanks like a frog. Kisses? He kisses like a frog. All right, Bill Anderson. Oh, I, you remember the old game Leapfrog? I almost said leaps, but I said kisses. Kisses. Oh, you got one, Kathy. Brett? That man has his thumb on the pulse of America. <laughs> There's no question about it. Because I said croaks. Croaks. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. I'm just beginning to talk. If Fanny's on the show, I talk like Fanny. If Ava's on the show, I talk like Fanny. Right. <laughs> Charles. I hope Marcel Marceau comes on. <laughs> Croaks. Croaks. Girl is looking for a little kiss, Ava. I always like that the most. It kisses a lot. Kisses. Kiss is a very good word. So it's five to two at this time. Richard, little kiss for the lady. Why not? Five to three now. Betty, here. If you won't kiss her, will you kiss me? Pretty, you'll turn into a princess. There you go. There we go. See, you're catching up. There. Now that's round two. Now we go to round three. Harry, you're still ahead, five to four, and we'll ask you to go first again. I'll take B again. B again. Mm -hmm. All right, another shot at it. Are you ready for this one? Why now we you? all know. It's only a Betty. It's just so come over here because it's such a cute, intimate shot and you can plug her diamonds in the back again. Yes. <laughs> hey, uh, this is very interesting. She's got a, a beautiful gold belt and a big diamond right in back there. She I doesn't like to be ostentatious. What's that? I don't want to see Gas where I'm gun. going. I want right. to see where I've been. Oh. Here. <laughs> I, I will whisper me. in your ear. <laughs> no. Now, we all know King Kong is the world's largest monkey, right? Right. 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 Yes. Well, K uh, Kong just got a job <laughs> on the street corner. He works with the world's largest blank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he's got his eyes wide open. All right. Harry, we all know that King Kong is the world's largest monkey. Well, Kong just got a job on the street corner. 
He works with the world's largest blank. Uh, police department. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Harry, you started out great. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Is he teaching our children? He's teaching our children, right. Uh, not much. Yes. Well, all right, now, watch this, Harry. She came up with a really marvelous answer, a darling answer. Show and tell, Miss Betty. Not necessarily this time. <laughs> no, this is a good Incidentally, one. Incidentally, King Kong, I think, was an ape, wasn't he? He wasn't yes. a monkey. Right. But who's counting? Uh, nobody's um, perfect. With the world's largest organ grinder. Yeah. Uh, You got it now, right? Now, Kathy, you know what you have to do? Match one to tie and two to win. It's a very close game here. Let's see what happens. Who plays? Brett and Charles. Oh, yes. <laughs> the baby was born a month late. Because instead of being delivered by the doctor, she was delivered by the blank. The baby was born a month late. The baby was born a month late because instead of being, being delivered, delivered by the by doctor, the doctor she, she was delivered by the blank. Okay? Think about that. Are you thinking about it, Kathy? All right, she's got her answer. Kathy's figured it out already. Oh, all right. The baby was born a month late because instead of being delivered by the doctor, she was delivered by the mailman. Yes, right. She came up with the answer. Don't write me any letters, Postal Office Department of the well, American. You won't get them anyway. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer over there from that little lady. You see, you look at me and you want me to have mailmen. The pressure is always on me. You're always pressuring me. That's right. I'm me. trying to make you look bad. And I always come up to it. <laughs> Had a way to go, Brett, baby. Da da da! Mailman. So Delavelle wins the game. Come on down. Got the answer. There you go. Don't go away. Harry, you really put up a great fight. It was a close game. Six to five was the score. And we thank you for being here. Something I had my chance. Uh, I blew it. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that. We've got some gifts for you, together with our thanks for being here on Match Game PM. Yeah. Tell Harry, while he's spinning off, he watched these messages. Let me hurry back and see how she does. Now, here she is. Kathy O'Dell has a chance at some really, really, really big money here. And, Kathy, we have two audience matches for you. And I want to point out that whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll multiply by 10, and that'll be the final dollar figure that you'll be playing for. Up to $10,000 here. All right, here we go. Over $10,000 if you play your cards right. We polled a studio audience in this studio, and we got their best response to this. Top of blank. Now, the answer they gave most frequently will net you $500 if you match it. If you match the second most popular answer, you get $250, and then $100 for matching the third. And three of our six celebrities are permitted to help by suggesting answers. Richard? Well, I'm sitting on top, top of the world. And a boy. I have an album coming up. Right. <laughs> Betty, uh, top of the morning. Top of the morn. And Charles. Wait a minute, darling. You may just a moment. It may come to you. <laughs> I got several. I, I know you have you. several. I'm only. Thank you for waiting. I want to thank everyone connected <laughs> with the production. <laughs> top of the. This is all careful research. Nothing off the top of my head. Top That's of my it. head. Top of my head. <laughs> I don't need that. Okay. So there they are. Top of my head. What I was. Talking. Top of the morn. Top of the and city. top of the world. Now, you may reject all and choose one of your own or give us one of those. If you, It's entirely up to you. I'm going to go with Top of the World. Yeah. Top of the World. Top of the World. Top of the World. Top of the World is what we want. Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Top of the mark. Yes. San right. Francisco. It is California, you know. That's where we are. Here we go, looking for Top of the World. May we see the $250 number? Top of Old Smokey. Oh, no. On top of Old Smokey. <laughs> all covered with... Here we go. Top of the World. You've got it. Very good. Wow-wee. 
Yeah. You've won the $500, which means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. So that's the minimum. Now we're going to see how much more you'll win with the second audience match. Slide it, please. Blank what? deal. D-E-A-L. -E Blank deal. All right, sing out, Kathy. Okay, Richard. Let's make a deal. Okay. Bill. Um, good deal. Good deal. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's not too good. <laughs> and Brett. Big deal. Big deal. Big deal, good deal, let's make a deal. You want one of those? Think about it now. Before you speak up, you may have a better one. Let's make a deal. Yeah. Let's make a deal? Yeah. All right, that's Richard's answer. We'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. We'll begin at the bottom again and reveal the $100 response. New deal. There were a lot of old folks here that day. That's right. They all remember the new deal. Let's see if let's make a deal is under the $250 number. Big deal is Brett's answer. Last chance oh, for let's it. make a deal. Good. Slide it, Earl. Yeah. Very good. Congratulations. Now... Yeah. Another $500 multiplied by 10 is 5,000. Added to your previous 5,000, you're shooting for a pot of $10,000. Oh, boy. I hope you get it. But before you get it, you got to match one celebrity there. You have to pick one. Richard. Okay, Richard. Here we go. That's right. Face me. I'll get it. It's worth 10,000. Good luck to you. Think carefully now. Get your mental telepathy flowing toward Richard Dawson. A pound of blank. A pound of blank. All right. She just is talking to herself here, and she says, there are too many. But you have to try and think of the answer that Dawson would have written on that card. Now, if you come up with the same answer, you get $10,000. A pound of... Flesh. Flesh. Hey. Why did you say that? I don't know. It's mm -hmm. the first thing that came to my mind. Well, that's a way to play this game. Trust your first instinct. I hope he did the same. Kathy's so excited she had to sit down here. She's got $11,000. She's very happy. Tune in Match Game PM next week when we'll give away a lot more money, we hope, and we'll have more beautiful people as these are. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. Get ready to match the stars, Nipsey Russell, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Ethel Merman, from Family Feud, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg, as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM, Gene Rayburn. Thank you, John. 
Thank you, friend. Nice of you to join us here on Nat Game PM. We're going to have a good time. A Hello, celebrity. Hello. Hi. Would you join me in greeting our two players, Becky Roddy Why and Bob not? Bixler? Now, before we begin, we'd like to find out a little bit about each of you. Bob, we'll begin with you. Tell us anything you care to about your life, All your right. aspirations, your hopes, your dreams. <laughs> I'm from Fountain Valley, and I have a wife and three children, and I'm five foot twenty-two. <laughs> and of what? Break down six ten. Six ten. Six ten. Oh. Are you six ten? Are you really six ten? Really, stand up for a second, Bob. You are six ten. Oh. Boy, when I ask him, do you want A or B, he can have anything he wants. I mean. <laughs> and both. Ask him to fix that line. Wow. How tall are you, Becky? Uh, so, I don't, you don't know how tall you are? Five, five and a half. How about that? Really? Yeah, I think. Right okay. now it's un uncertain. <laughs> Where do you live? Corpus Christi, Texas. Corpus Christi. Yeah. Right down there at the tip of Texas. Way down at the bottom of the state. Yeah. You Forever vacationing one. here? Well, let's say that I don't have a job, so I thought I'd come out here and seek my fortune. All right. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thanks. Uh, may I point out to each of you here that on Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of our beautiful people as you possibly can. The one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner, and that person will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which pays off over $10,000. Good luck to both of you. Bob, A or B? I'll try B. Bob Bixler wants B. The passenger said to the stewardess, Yuck, bleh. this airline food is terrible. And the stewardess said, We haven't served any food yet, sir. You're eating the blank. <laughs> the passenger said to the steward, Yuck, this airline food is terrible. And the stewardess said, we haven't served any food yet, sir. You're eating the blank. What about that little courtesy bag they give you? The courtesy kids? bag. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> he said the little courtesy bag they give you. He's cute. Yeah, he's that's tall, a but polite he's cute. way to put it. He is cute. Yeah. <laughs> and he's big. Yeah. Well, cute and is I not the right word. I want you to know word. if anything starts any trouble, I'm on your side, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't served any food yet. No. You're eating the seat cushion. Good answer. <laughs> seat cushion is a possibility. Well, his wasn't bad. Seat cushion is good, too. It's a wonderful answer. He's a wonderful man. I wouldn't dream of not uh, matching, matching him. him. The bag you will later use to get rid of the food. <laughs> There's one. All right. <coughs> the seat in front of you. <laughs> seat in front of you. I was a little late with the cue. I, I see. It's all right. Okay. Bob Bixler is looking for the courtesy bag, a marvelous euphemism. The pillow. The pillow. Another good answer. Anything that you find around your seat, I suppose, would be good, yes. right, Richard? Well, I'm sorry. I, I copied the pillow. The pillow. It was a nightlight. You copied from her. Yep. I really. Did. <laughs> it's a standoff. <laughs> Fanny, what have you got there? He was very delicate and said the courtesy bag. I think it's uh, lovely. very well put. In the South, and if you're particularly if you're afraid of flying, you say the throw up. Becky, you ready? As this is it. Here it is. Bernie is the world's greatest salesman. He once sold a bra to blank. <laughs> Remember, uh, first-round questions? There are a lot of good answers for first-round questions. Becky. Bernie is the world's greatest salesman. He once sold a bra to blank. Twiggy. Twiggy. She says Twiggy. Twiggy, you remember who Twiggy? The greatest salesman, as you know, was my Uncle George. What about Uncle George? He worked in a department store. A woman came in to buy a suit to bury her dead husband. He sold her a suit with two pairs of pants. <laughs> Twiggy. Some salesman, all right. One for Becky. A two-pant suit. Well, Twiggy always wore a minus A cup, but I said it. Really <laughs> terrific salesman if he could sell a bride to Joe Namath. That would be a salesman. <laughs> yeah. Twiggy! Twiggy it is. 
I wonder if she's still that way. I haven't seen a yeah, picture of her. She put on weight, I but was she... with her quite recently. Oh, really? She oh. looks marvelous. She's, uh... Everything's just turning out n- fine. No <laughs> kidding. No, honestly. She did put on weight. Yeah. Very shady. She did put yeah, on, she did on some weight. How but, wonderful for but, all concerned. But she yeah. was flat-chested when I said Twiggy. You said Twiggy? Yeah. All right, now you got three, three, two score. Well, she's a very nice girl. She is, yes. Sweet, sweet lady. lady. Twiggy. There it is. Four for her. Uh oh. Hi, precious. Yes, darling. No, Twiggy gained a little weight. She wasn't happy. Thin people are not happy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy. Though. Well, look at this. We've only done one round already. It's five to two. You're both very good there. You'll have plenty of time to catch up. Now we've got this for you. This is not a serving tray for food. <laughs> this is the box containing the home version of the match game, which each and every one of you will receive whether you want it or not. There it is. Okay, now we go to round two. And Becky, since you're ahead, we're going to ask you to go first. All right, how about B? B? All right. Who plays? Brett plays. Brett is the only one. That's true. Flora has gained so much weight, she now needs a giant shoehorn to wedge herself into her blank. (laughs) Hi, hi. Hello, darling. Needs a giant shoehorn to wedge herself into her blank. You did it. Bye, Joe. She did it, Becky. Flora has gained so much weight, she now needs a giant shoehorn to wedge herself into her blank. Girdle. Yeah. Girdle. <laughs> Can you still wear those? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she said girdle. No, no, this was, oh, uh, she was really fat. I mean, you can get girdles in any size, but oh. you can't stretch a car. Oh, a car. <laughs> That's true. You cannot stretch a car, Becky. Okay, that leaves you... Bob with A. Is that all right I'll, with you? I'll take A. You sure? <laughs> Positive. Because we can give you B if we want, you know. But... I didn't like that one. All right. Mary said, mm-hmm. I'm not saying my boyfriend is a thief, but after he kisses me, I count my blanks. I don't play because I'm at... Ryan, you and Fanny do not play. Big Bob. After he kisses me, I count my blanks. Uh, There's a lot more than kissing and hugging going on. They've been going steady for three and a half years, but this is not a lecture tour. Bob, Mary said, I'm not saying my boyfriend is a thief, but after he kisses me, I count my blanks. Uh, BB, big boobs. Oh. (laughs) Really? Well, he's... uh, that's another euphemism. First, he said BBs, and oh. then stands for big boobs there. You what see, you... I thought it was one of the look, ma, no hands kind of kissing. Uh, I said, I count my teeth. Teeth. Okay. Make up your mind. <laughs> what do you got oh, there? Teeth. teeth. See? Did that cross your mind at all, Bob? No, not at all. You didn't think of teeth there. What have you got there, Ethel? Well, I thought that he may want to go further, so she counts her blessings. Oh. That's great. <clears throat> That's nice. Sweet thought, isn't it? it? Certainly is. I said lips. Lips. Count your lips. <laughs> He'd be there. Okay. There it is. The score remains unchanged. Five to two. Becky, you're still ahead, so we're going to ask you to go first. I think I'll go with A. I. 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 <laughs> I. Now, Becky and all of the attendants, here's what to do when the party's over. One, thank the host or hostess. Two, take the lampshade off your head. Three, get your blank out of the punch bowl. (laughs) All right, she's just about ready. And I'll read it slowly while she's writing. Here's what to do when the party's over, Becky. One, thank the host or hostess. Two, take the lampshade off your head. Three, get your blank out of the punch bowl. <laughs> uh, my original thought was head. Head. I mean, no, oh, come on. <laughs> get your head out of the punch bowl. Oh. But... She said. Stop. Hey. 
<laughs> some of you are, and some of you aren't in favor of the whole idea. What do no, you say? No, they're not schizophrenic. They're just plain old fickle. <laughs> fickle. Yeah. I said hubby or beau or lover or paramour of the moment. Okay. <laughs> A whole nother body, according to her, was in that. Here we go. Bob, now here's what you have to do. You have to match three to tie and four to win. Everybody plays again except Brett and Fanny. Brenda said, my new husband, the cowboy, the cowboy, isn't very genteel. On our wedding night, he came to bed with his blanks on. Okay. <laughs> now, this is it, Bob. Brenda said, my new husband, the cowboy, isn't very genteel. On our wedding night, he came to bed with his blanks on. Spurs, I hope. Spurs. Spurs it is, Nipsey. Well, you know, a cowboy is a man of action. When he says giddy up, he means let's see some movement. Spur. Spur. Five to three. Charles. I said boots. Boots. Okay. Now, Bob, you got to match everyone else to stay in the game and achieve a tie. I, I meant to say spurs, and I said stirrups. Oh, I'm sorry. It says stirrups there, so that means Becky wins the game. Richard had spurs. So well, here we go. Becky. Well, if you would, please, we'll say goodbye to Bob Dixler. It was a pleasure My to have you on our program. We're going to send lots of gifts to you. Well, some so. Adler elevator shoes. I need them. We've got some <laughs> wonderful things like that. Stand up one more time, would you? <laughs> Holy <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> Always wanted to meet a man I could look up to. Thank you, Bob Dixler. Right now. There he goes. Man Mountain Dean. Now I got a message or two for you. Come back and see how much money she wins. Okay. Oh boy, here we are with Becky Roddy, who's going to try for the big money now. Now, at this moment, uh, she has a chance to win eleven thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. That's it. She could win eleven thousand. If she goes all the way here, she could. Well, I'll check well I don't know about that. <laughs> what I mean is... She doesn't look well, like I don't that know what I mean. Girl. She completes the process. <laughs> How can she win 11? I thought you could only well, win no, 10. Well, no, we got two audience... Well, here, let me explain it okay. to you now. I Here's want to chip goes. in a couple of dollars if <laughs> oh, thank it goes you. all the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, Richard, no, that's not what we had in mind. I mean in the game here. Well, that's see. what I'm talking no. about. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, all right. Life's a game, old boy. Well, life it is. Okay. Now, let me explain to you, Fanny. Here's the way it is. We see we have two audience matches here. Right. You see. Yeah. And then whatever she wins in that audience match is multiplied by 10. Right. And then that will be the final dollar amount that she will be playing for in the head-to-head. -head. 500, 500 on the first one. You right, that's five. That by 10. That's 5,000. Yeah. Now the next time, you want another 500. Games? Right, that's another 5,000. So she would be playing for 10. Yeah, but then, you see, she gets to keep the 500. 500 she wins each time, that's times 11, two. That's $11,000. Well, yeah, has to go to a funeral. She's What's, wearing black. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd got? like to know if I could be a contestant. Yeah. <laughs> no, you cannot be a contestant. It's against the rules here. Here we go now. We poll the studio audience. I'd like to thank you from the bottom. Of my heart. As well you should. We poll the studio audience. We said, write down your best answer to this. <laughs> Blank the bed. Now. If you match the answer they get, well, I explained all that. $500 for their top answer, $250 for matching the second most popular answer they wrote down, and $100 for matching the third. Now, three of these six people going to help you, as they say in Corpus Christi, Roddy. Hep. Going to help uh, you. Fanny. 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 Okay. Good Texas girl. Make the bed. Wow. Make the bed. Many Richard. Ricardo. If you spill a drink. You, you wet the bed. Oh. <laughs> it's still a good sure. yeah. You always drink in bed, Richard. Yeah, well, I, I have to. Well, warm milk and things like that. Well, whatever's fair, yeah, but I the see. traffic will allow. Yeah, okay. All right. Charles. 
The princess and the bed. <laughs> what? No, that isn't even an what? answer. What? Uh, it's a play. That's the princess and, and the P. Whoops. Well. <laughs> I think uh, it's about wedding the bed. Uh, uh, Charles, uh, you really want to say that? James. That wasn't the accurate James title the of it. Is that stinks. Was that the accurate title? I thought it was the one. The All Princess right. and the Bed. It's an adorable story. It's sure. coming out in, in soft. Get that wasn't that made into Once Upon a Mattress, I think. All right. Those are the three. Princess in the Bed, Wet the Bed, and Make the Bed are the three. At this time, you have the option of choosing one of those or giving us one of your own. I originally thought of Make the Bed. Mike. 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 Yeah. Mike the Bed. Okay. Mike the Bed. They don't agree with you. We'll go over here and find out if it's up there, and if so, where. We'll begin at the bottom and reveal a $100 response. Get into the bed. Uh -huh. I'd like to chip in a couple of dollars. No, no, thank you. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Ever had one of those days when everything goes wrong? Everything is going wrong. Right? I wish You've I had You've never heard that phrase. That's why you didn't choose that, right? Okay. Let's go to the next one, please. Wet the bed. No. Oh. You think? Expensive. What's that? Make the beds up there. That's it is it. up there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is it we up go. there? And they boo you. Make the bed. Do you believe it's up there? Yeah. You really believe it's up there? Y'all are very fickle out there. You booed me before. I won't That's stand right. for it. They booed, they booed you. you. Now, anyway, you won the $500. They booed you. Now, that means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. At this time, Becky, we're going to see how much more you win with our second audience match. Go. The Flying Blank. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brett. Uh, I would like to say that as she gets more excited, she gets more Texan. Have you noticed? Yes, that's right. But thank Sorry. heavens it hasn't affected my speech. <laughs> I say, what about the flying nun? Nun? What kind of accent is that? Flying noon. <laughs> Nipsey. I meant N O O N. Uh, mm. Nipsey. I have two thoughts. Shall we try the flying Dutchman? The flying Dutchman. Mm -hmm. They're fleeing to Hollander. Uh, Richard. Oh, oh, flying tigers. Yeah. The flying tigers. So those are the three, Dutchman, nun, and tigers. What do you say now? The nun, flying nun. You want the flying nun? Yeah. Okay, they're with you. Yeah, dollar Let's go over there and look for that flying nun. May we see the $100 number? The flying trapeze. That's the Floats daring young the man on the flying trapeze. For the greatest trapeze. of ease. Yes, $250 if you please. Huh, sir? Kind of a goofy. Where are our celebrities' answers? Oh, all the Star Wars and Third Encounters, and we still never thought of it. Well, this is really a surprise. I hope it's going to be up there for you. Brett's answer, the flying nun. Okay, go. Yeah! Very good. That's one that Brett gave you. Now, Becky. You've won another $500 multiplied by 10. Another $5,000 added to the previous fives gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for, and you know what you have to do to collect. Yeah, Richard. Got, got to match got Richard. To. Now, this has to be an exact match. You understand that, okay? Good luck to you. It's worth $10,000 to this little lady. And this is what it says. Made in blank. Made in blank. All right, he's finished. Now, Becky, give us the answer that Richard has written on the card. If you do it, you get $10,000. It's got to be made in Japan. Yeah. Made in Japan. <laughs> Richard, she says made in Japan. I was thinking of pretty babies. Made, made in, in heaven. Is... Nope, Japan. <laughs> Now we got a little business with America. 
Y'all were grand. Thank you. Just grand. Uh, 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 thank we we'll look you. forward to seeing Ethel Merman's book called Merman. And you had something, uh, a mission that you had to do here? What was yes, it? I can't go back to Corpus Christi unless I get four kisses from Richard. Who? My mother, my sister, myself, and a sales girl when I told her I was coming here. Hell, I deliver. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's enough. You rascal. You do your job. You really you know <laughs> Join us next time for Match Game PM. We'll have another bunch of wonderful people like these and a ton of money to give away here. I'm Gene Rayburn. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game PM. A Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production.